I guess everybody can hear me. Thank you very much, my people. I appreciate you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you all. Please help us to share and like. This is another wonderful day today, 2nd of April, 2023. Yes, happy Sunday to you all. How are you guys doing today? Press the like button, help us to share, and let's talk about the things that's affecting you and I. Yes, I can see a couple of people right there already on the comment session. You know, I... Okay, yes, you guys can hear me. That's wonderful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And God, I go bless you now. Uh, yes, uh, today will be a very, very deep discussion. A deep discussion. Yes, uh, there's a lot of plotting here and there, but let's talk about it. Uh, let me quickly acknowledge the people. That's why you see that I have to quickly come show my face to acknowledge people right on the comment section. Because when it get packed, it's always difficult for me. Paco Barry saying good evening to you. Thanks for joining us. Obia Julio, I can see you right there. Mother of all money, the Aspora. Good evening to you, mommy. Good evening to every one of you. Mark, your boys right there with us. Good evening to you, Sabovo Kongai, Mr. Justin Emmanuel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my good people. I appreciate you all. Help us to share and like. Sam Sky, I can see you there. Uh, Kingsley Obona, thank you very much for joining us. Good evening to you. Flourish Osazele. Thanks for joining us, Madam Bella Naomi. Thanks very much for joining us. Good evening to you. Uh, I can see Sandra Moses. Thank you very much for joining us. Please do your part. Share, like, share, and like. Uh, Mary Ojo, thanks for joining us. I can see um, Edward Eguavon. Uh, Mary Ojo, thank you, thank you, thank you, my people. Happy Sunday to you. Oh, Carolina Mokaro, please help us to share and like. Good evening to you. Philip Kings TV, I can see you right there. Good evening to you. Um, more people are right there. Black Voices TV, good evening to you. Thanks for joining us. Happy Sunday to you all. Joshua Aya, I can see you. Joseph Isere, I can see you. Nick Oko Ogu, thank you very much for joining us. Tina, hello. Uh, Chris Amenike Obi, God bless you all my people. Faith Andrew, thank you, thank you. Cynthia Oboyumi, thank you very much. Amaka E, thank you very much. Faith Andrew, once again, good evening to every one of you, my people. Ephrata Catfish from Nigeria. Thank you very much, madam, for joining us. God bless you. Bright Strasser, I can see you right there. Good evening to you. Moses Cousin, I can see you. David Uba, I can see you. Joseph, Mr. Joseph OG, thank you very much, my people. Ambrose, AGK, thank you. Kelly Kensey, God sent sent. Um, please do your part by sharing. Is there one go? Joy Terry, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, my people. Right, uh, I have more people right there. I have a double or Karadulu. Thanks for joining us. I have Maui, Ezra, Mus Musa, Osiohe. Ah, your name is not easy and it's long. Good evening to you. Thanks for joining us. I go learn that properly. Don't worry. Joy Antonio, I can see you right there. Thank you very much. Good evening to you, all my good people. Uh, Discussion Channel TV, can see you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. A lot of Nigeria, a lot of Nigeria, I don't miss you. I don't see you for like two days now. Good to see you here today. God bless you. Okay, uh, I can see Gentleman Edo TV. First of all, good evening to you all, my good people. I appreciate you. Abu Azi, good to see you. Thank you very much for joining us. Let's talk. Yes, let's talk. Good evening to you. Obey phone, I see you right there. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much, my people. Favor, faith, yes. Now, God bless you now. Yes, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Help us to share and like, share and like, share and like. You know, Ushina, Usulo, I see you as well. Nelly, I see you as well. Yes, um, I'm going to post out a link now and I take a quick break so we can get on with it, with this. You know, depend on how this broadcast will go today, we might, we might stay here for a very, very long time. You know, let's talk, my people. I appreciate you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Meanwhile, uh, before I go for this break, let me post out a link, and then I can go for a break. Click on the link. We only have 10 spots. Uh, one is taken, and there's only nine available right now. So please click on it. Join us here, and let's talk. And I also want to let people know, if you know you could not get to the screen, continue to try. Sometimes other people leave. You can pick uh, their spots. But we cannot really remove somebody for anybody to come in. I want you guys to understand that. Thank you very much for your understanding. Okay, a link has been posted. Click on it. Join us here and let's talk. Okay, meanwhile, I'll quickly go for a break now before we have our people uh, with us on screen. God bless you. That is all. I know they do competition with anybody. If I offend you, forgive me. 
Show me love, oh. Go de biza biza. Kama habara walo ni nu ife kon akombi. I don't get to competition with anybody. If I offend you, forgive me. Show me love, oh. I go show you love, oh. But I know they do competition with any boss. Uh, thank you very much, my people. We are back again. Uh, please, I can see we have a couple of likes already, but the share, we only have seven shares. It's not good at all. It's not good, to be honest. We already have about 83 likes. Uh, continue to press on the like and share. And um, yeah, so that we can hit more visibility as well. Our voices need to go far. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I have a couple of people in the backstage already. Please, everybody stay mute. Let me start accepting people to the screen right now. I'm muting you. Please don't unmute yourself, except you want to speak to me or to us. Okay. Um, everybody stay mute, stay mute, stay mute, stay mute. Um, thank you. Thank you. I think the screen is filled up already. Um, I'll check that now. Let me see. Yeah, the screen is filled up already. Okay, thank you very much, my people. I appreciate you all for your time with us. Uh, please help us to share and like, share and like. Let's talk about the things that's affecting us. But meanwhile, uh, before we move on, I would like us to see to this. Um, yes, I can see more of you right there on the comment section. Thanks for joining us. I uh, appreciate every one of you. Welcome to the broadcast um good evening good evening good evening to all of you right there good morning good afternoon good evening to you all i can say some people your internet is not stable right now i'm so sorry uh, uh, uh magnus suraka we appreciate you right there thank you very much my people for your time with us i can see uh many of you right there with us thank you thank you thank you thank you please continue to share we currently have 62 shares already which is a good thing thank you and the likes we have uh, 129 likes and uh, we have about 536 people watching us. You know, we are still streaming on one platform right now. So as we listen to uh, Dr. Uh, Aruna Goro, then other platform will be included as well. Thank you. Thank you. Please help us to share and like, share and like. 
you know, I appreciate every one of you more people. Let's quickly listen to what uh, Dr. Aruna Guru have to say here over everything that is currently going on in Nigeria. I appreciate every one of you. Thank you. Friends, hello, friends. I'm sure you're doing great. This is your friend, Dr. Haruna Goro, right here somewhere in the bush. You don't want to know where I am right now. But, I, but I'm telling you, we're looking forward to seeing the birth of a new Nigeria. We can't continue with these rogues, these thieves, these connivers, these charlatans, that all they know is how to steal and steal and steal and impoverish the poor where people have used uh, poverty as a weapon, where people have used illiteracy as a weapon, keeping the people down. They come back to them only once in four years or in eight years and give them maggi, give them wrappers, give them tubers of yam just to again take over the reign of power for another four years. These people are heartless. These people are evil and wicked. If we are waiting for them, they will never let go of this grip on power that they have. And that's why you and I must not relent. Obedience, Nigerians, don't relent. We are taking our mandate back because you can see the whole nation, nobody is celebrating. Where have you ever heard that? And then we are told that Tinubu had how many millions of votes? And so where are the millions of Nigerians that actually voted for him? Why are they not celebrating? So now we've got people that went out on the street, peaceful protesters asking that they want true democracy because this charlatan called Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, a man that should have been intelligent, making so many fake promises. But for the benefit of a doubt, for a while, each time I saw his body language, the times he was making those promises, I think he actually genuinely meant to ensure a free, fair, and credible election. But you know, as they say, that money blows anyone's judgment. Money, the love of money is the root of all evils. He must have been bribed. And now, after getting the money, how will he turn back? Because they're going to tell him, well, you got the money. We're going to spill the beans out. And that's why he's quiet. He can't do anything. And that's why we must stand up and take our mandate back. Now, we know, uh, we know Peter will be and... Atiku, we know Peter will be an article. They have gone to court seeking for justice. But you know how sometimes the courts are. But then we believe that this time around, our justice system will do the right thing and ensure that this stolen mandate is restored back to the people. So Nigerians, let's not relent. Let's not give up. Let's be optimistic because our mandate is coming back to us because we're not going to have another four years of this tyrannic, wicked reign of APC. <laughs> to make matters worse, how are we going to have a drug baron, a drug dealer, a drug trafficker, somebody that cannot be trusted, a person that is fake, a person that lies on everything, lies about his age, lies about where he went to school, lie about everything, lie, lie, lie. We cannot have such a person as, uh, as president over this nation. And you know what they are trying to do? They're trying to push forward quickly so that they can inaugurate him on the 29th of May. But that's why some people are already calling for maybe an interim government. I don't support interim government. For me, they should check how the votes were. Because if they can check and really see so many of these votes are fake. Tinubu didn't get this kind of votes that are being ascribed to him. So that's why I want the judiciary to do the correct thing, do the right thing, check the way the voting was done on the 25th of February. Go back to the original result. That's what will make this thing yeah, the, this, that's what will bring out the clarity or the truth of what exactly happened. So Nigerians, let's keep on believing. 
Let's keep on trusting. Let's do what we need to do. And I'm telling you, we are taking our nation back from these political thieves and these political scavengers. They've had enough and enough is enough. And I, I was uh, uh, listening to uh, the DSS uh, coming out and saying that people should not incite violence and all that. But I'm telling you, the, these protesters that have been out, they've never done anything violent. The people that are known for violence are the same people from the ruling party, sponsored by the ruling party. What happened in Lagos? What happened in many other places? People bringing tribalism, bringing religion, and anything that they know they've used in the past, that's exactly what they're using now. So DSS, go after Olumo, MC Olumo. Go after the, go after Jagaban, go after Tinubu that said, snatch it. He said this long before time, before the election. Why are you not going after him? I don't know. DSS, you're not supposed to be partisan. You're not supposed to be political. You are supposed to bring uh, peace and order in the nation to ensure there is security. So why would you go after innocent people that all they are asking and demanding is that there should be justice? That's all they are looking for. People like us, this is what we've been calling for. I'm not a person that is into politics, but because of what is happening in Nigeria, I became interested and I'm so, you know, touched in my heart and I'm not happy about what's going on. That's why I'm calling upon the judiciary to do the right thing. And it, it, I don't know what to say about President Buhari. I said there's no president. Now you promise that you want to leave a legacy as you, uh, you, you, you are, are, are at the end of your service. Is that what you call legacy? See what has happened? You said you want a free, fair, and credible election, and with what has happened, and he's been mute, saying nothing. But I know God is delivering us from Buhari, delivering us from PDP, delivering us from APC, delivering us from all those political scavengers. Wherever you are hiding, your end has come. Evil will not go beyond this season because the people have risen up to take their nation back and nobody can stop that from happening. God Almighty, the creator, has said this is now the time for the people and no one can stop the manifestation of what God has planned for this great nation, Nigeria. Well, I want you to go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel if you have not already subscribed. Uh, you see me right here in the bush, uh, somewhere here in the north. And uh, I want you to make sure that you you share this video with as many people as you can. I'm not in the studio, as you can see, right here in the bush. So, Nigerians, let's do the right thing and take our nation back from this wicked politician. Their end has come. I don't see Tinubu becoming president. Stolen mandate to allow a thief? To allow him become president? Not at all. We will not let it happen. Hear it from my mouth. You say it's a threat. It's not a threat. It's reality. It's truth. We stand on truth. But you, all you know is how to rig and steal and rob. But your end has come. It is now the time for the people. And the people are taking their nation back. Well, this is your friend and brother, Dr. Haruna Goro, right here somewhere in the bush. Love you all. God bless you, and may God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Bye-bye for now. God bless you, sir. Thank you very much uh, for coming and for passing that message to every one of us, especially in this particular time where many of us are, are losing uh, hope. Yes, we need somebody that can be able to restore our hope in this present time. Even if you see what the next level that we're going to go now over the trending audio right now concerning uh, our principal, Mr. Peter Obi and uh, uh, Bishop uh, David Oyedepo. You know, um, there are so many questions that is going on with that audio currently. So many questions. If you look at our title, you can see right there, you know, is Obi betrayed? If yes, who betrayed him? You know, who recorded the audio? Is this really his voice? Or 
is this all distraction? Even, even though it's his voice, is the audio, audio doctored, doctored? These are all the questions we are going to be asking today after we listen to this audio. Please like and share and let's do this together. Let me see if we still have space. I believe we have one more space here. In case somebody want to join us. Yeah, we have one more space. Um, you know, whenever we put it on the side like that, some people think that it's filled up already. We have one more space right there. Please, uh, let's listen to this audio quickly and tell me what you think. I understand some of you might have listened to it, but let's listen again. Let everybody listen to it again and tell me what is your take. Be, 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 be sincere, be straight. And if you think the audio violates any kind of thing, also let us know. If you think the audio is unacceptable, talk about it. If you think it's his voice or the pastor's voice, let us know. If you think the audio is doctored, we just want to hear from everybody. Let's let's watch this, or rather, listen to it quickly. Good morning, Daddy. Praise the Lord. How are you, sir? Fine, Daddy. Good morning, Daddy. Amen. In Jesus' name, we are going to get a bright result. Thank you, Daddy. When I hear this, this is your call and prayers. Daddy is very dear to me. God. And like I keep saying, if this works, you people will never regret the support. Amen. Amen. You know, we look forward to God's intervention. Thank you, Daddy. We look forward to God's intervention. Thank you, Daddy. We look forward to God's intervention. Amen, Daddy. Good daddy, I need you to speak to your the people in the Southwest. Your people in the Southwest. Anukwara. Okay, okay. I've been, I've been the in Christians, for other people. The Christians in the Southwest. Anukwara. This is a religious war. I believe that. I believe that. I believe that. You know, I, I did the release, Nigeria going forward. Yes. Uh, and I'm coming out with the second one today. Thank you, Dad. I wanted it out before uh, when they won't have any time to, <laughs> to do damage, damage control. Thank you, Dad. So, but in the name of Jesus, this project has shall Amen. Amen. You know what I said in today's one? A sickly nation like Nigeria will require a strong and healthy personality. Thank you, sir. Thank and you. I said uh, anyone who saw us, words cannot be verified, should not have access to governance, particularly in a giant economy like Nigeria. So uh, all we are doing is appealing to the wisdom and conscience of people. Thank you, Dad. To know where to go. Thank you, Daddy. But I want to assure you in the name of Jesus that Thank the result shall be favorable. Thank you, Daddy. That the result shall be favorable. Thank you, Daddy. That the result shall be favorable. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. So relax yourself. Don't be apprehensive. Thank Are you, you in Lagos or Abuja? I'm, I'm in Onitsha now. Good. So you'll be there for the election? Yes, sir. Very good. Yes, Daddy. That, that's where to be. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. That's where to be. Thank you, I, Daddy. I said all Nigerians have equal stake in this. Thank you, Daddy. Nobody Thank has you. a right to claim that he's dashing something to someone. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> we, are, we are coming out of it. Thank you, Daddy. So I don't find in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, so I say it's generally. This is okay. This is quiet. Thank and the metal bed, how are we doing? Uh, metal bed, we're okay. But in, in places like Kogi, Kwara, and Niger, is a worrisome place. Well, we'll get through to Kwara. Oh, fantastic. Uh, I, I, I went to Kwara and visited all of our father, who told me that nobody has ever come here with you, no problem. But the Christian community in Kwara, and Niger, and listen, I'm also working in um, in uh, Kogi, same way. Okay. Then I, I will target this uh, clip to them. Thank you. I will make sure they get it today. Thank you. 
Jesus. I'll be looking out for him release as well. Okay. <laughs> I feel pastors are sending it to me. Okay, okay. I'll do that. Thank you. I'll do that. God bless you. Thank you. Peace. So I'll still talk to you later today. Yeah, thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, my people. It's, um, that is the audio that is currently trending on, on social media. Um, it's trending right now on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. You know, for me, I will allow people to talk on this audio. One, was that Peter Obi and uh, the Pastor Bishop Uyedepo? If yes, then that audio, is anything wrong with it at all? Because I've tried to find anything wrong with that audio. I could not, rather than hearing a man uh, seeking blessing from a pastor. I don't know about you, but meanwhile, we have um, reactions from some Nigerians. Before we take our own reactions here, I brought rea some reactions from different part of the social media, which I would like us to go through. But before that, Kenneth Okwoko, I've also responded to this. You know, he responded to this. I would like us to uh, read his full statements. This one is from Kenneth Okwoko. I actually screenshotted this one from his uh, his page, you know, please help us to share and like, and let's do this together. Let me put this big here so that I can see properly. And uh, I'll read from here, but although I'll also leave it on the screen to see if some of you can read from there as well. But let's start from here quickly. According to Kenneth Okoko, our attention has been drawn to the publication of this audio tape of private conversation between Peter Obi and Bishop Uyedepo. It is not surprising that these political criminals are trying to spin the conversation as if Obi was making a religious statement. Firstly, the context of the conversation was aptly put by Bishop Uyedepo when he said, all Nigerians have equal stake in this nation, nobody has the right to claim that he is dashing something to someone. His Excellency, Mr. Peter Obi, was simply urging the bishop to help him push this message of equal stake of Nigerians in the Nigerian project to his people and Christendom because the politicians of the other party is carrying on this campaign as if it is a religious war. To drive home this point, he informed him that he visited the traditional ruler of Ofa, the Olofa of Ofa, who is a Muslim, but who advised Obi to get the support of Oyedepo and be assured of his own support. No politician has ever visited the Olofa of Ofa. I continue. Okay, let me put the continuation right there on the screen as well. That is it. But I'll read from here. It is clear to everybody that the APC political party that has a, a presidential candidate, vice presidential candidate, senate president, speaker of the House of Representatives, deputy speaker of the House of Representatives, national chairman of the party, all from one real, uh, religion. At a time, the CJN is a Muslim is the party that has declared religious war on Nigerians. And we must all rise up together to fight this unconstitutional act of religious intolerance of other religions by APC. I went around with Obi on campaign train and never saw him discriminate against any religion. Of course, he can't because his vice is a Muslim unlike APC. I resigned from APC because of their religious intolerance. Nigerians should disregard any insinuation 
of religious bigots about this tape. Okay, so everything I just read is what I put right there on the screen. But people have responded. So let's take on people's response from here. We have the first uh, response here is that there's absolutely nothing wrong with this phone conversation. Did they expect Obi not to converse for vote via all means possible? These people go soon commot clot, enter road. They are wasting their time trying to discredit Obi. They got nothing on him. The more they plot, the more we love him. Okay, we have another reaction here. Uh, this one say, they should go and drag those that went for Muslim Muslim ticket first. His number, his number one assurance is to get the Christians vote before fighting on how to get some Muslim support because we'll all know that the majority of Muslims will prefer voting for their Muslim candidates. Okay, I have another reaction from here. Uh, even though nothing is wrong with the conversation, why are people keen on recording their own conversations? If the recording is not done by the two parties, why should their private conversation be recorded for the public? It is very wrong and someone can be sued for this. I just know they are trying very hard to drag Obidati to the mound, but God always come true. Okay, I have another reaction from here. This one is quite long. I decided to bring it here, but let me quickly take on it. Did we not see someone who had a meeting and told them to do anything to make him win, including snatchy ballot buses? Did these same people not rent bishop? Did they not use tout? Let's compare side by side. The despicable things they did to Ghana vote too and see if they can stand it. My principal is very decent man. Lastly, it is both a tribal and religious war because that's what that other party turned it into. If not, why will why will vice president and president be a Muslim? Why did we hear people like MC Oluomo test Igbo to stay at home and nothing was done? They declared the war religion and tribal and they want us to sit and wash and do nothing. Abi, is this country owned by only Muslim? Lastly, nothing wrong with this video. Ma had to do what he had to do to Ghana or the votes. These people truly would soon remove clothes and start dancing naked on the streets because they are trying too much. Okay, okay, let me go for this as well. As you can see right there, APC has put this case from tribal problem to religious problem just to create confusion and get away with the ringy of elections. They will fail woefully as usual. Okay, I have another one here. I have a couple, I, I deliberately brought a couple here, a couple of uh, reactions. Then somebody asking Kenneth Okoko, as a member of the Winner family for so many years, I should know the voice of my papa. This is not Bishop Oyedepo's voice. They tried, but they didn't get it right. And if it is not Oyedepo's voice, then definitely that wouldn't be Paul's voice too. Okay. Let's move on, my people. Be patient with us. Then another one tag Kenneth again. Kenneth Okoko, did you confirm this from your principal before posting uh, posting this audio, defending and agreeing to this, Peter has just denied this is this. So why did you post it? Let's be very very careful. Make we not go the implicate innocent man. All right, another one is here. How did they get the record call? APC with cheap propaganda between theirs. Nothing wrong with this conversation, please. Why? Another question similar. Who even recorded it? Then I have this one from Tokenet. 
Kenneth Kokoko, you put a private conversation of two hundred men in the public. It is improper, sir. Okay. Um, the question is, how did this phone conversation get recorded and sent to the public? Are our telecom companies compromised too? Is a question. So the last one, this is the last one. Muslim, Muslim ticket. In fact, these people are restless. It shows there is fire on the mountain. In fact, Obi is a clean man. It's obvious they have searched tirelessly to find one thing to dent his image, but nothing was found. They didn't drag article enter probe. Obi, I stand and rested. Okay, that is all the reactions right there from all the platforms. But I would like course to also get our own reactions. What is your take on this? Do you, like I said before, if you listen to that audio, I just want to hear from the people. Please help us to share and like this broadcast. Um, oh, I was having someone in the backstage by the Rita. Sorry for keeping it for that long. Okay, we just lost somebody as well from the screen. Yes, uh, we still have one spot, I guess. Let me see. Yeah, we have one more spot to go. But meanwhile, okay, I think it's filled up now. Somebody just came in back again. Okay, meanwhile, I would like us to talk on this, my people. This is very, very important. Um, there's other question I was asking. Do you think this is another distraction? Because these people, they have a way of distracting Nigerians. So let's talk. I'd like to hear from the first person today. But before I hear from the first person, I will take one minute break for some of you to press on that like button again and share. God bless you. You are the pillar that holds my life. You are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. Okay, uh, thank you very much, my people. I appreciate every one of you. Thanks for your time with us. I can see my software is a bit slow right now for a reason I don't know. Uh, I just noticed that, but I guess you guys can hear me. If you can hear me, um, I think we'll sort this out once the first person is talking to us. Thank you very much for every one of you right there on the comment section. Continue to press on the like button and help us to share. Also, remember, we have a dollar sign right there. I appreciate if anybody can buy us a coffee. God bless you all. I encourage what we do here, coming out every day to talk about the things that's affecting us. It's not very easy. The only thing that can keep us moving is encouragement, either financially, verbally, uh, sharing, liking, anyhow, any means of encouragement is encouragement. You know, that's why when your son fails for school, he come house, not bitter. You know, check why he fail, encourage him, tell him, say, next time, if he go back to the exam, he go pass. You see, I'm saying go really pass. But if you beat him, he go go, he go, go fail again. So that's my belief. Thank you very much, my people. Share and like, and let's hear from our panelists. Okay, uh, the first person we have here today is Mr. Chooks Obiboise. I don't know whether or not another person anyway, maybe you lost your uh, your sport, but meanwhile, uh, the first person I have right here at the moment, if you've been logged out, you will start all over again. That's how it works here. So, Mr. Chuk, so big wizard, good evening to you, sir. Thanks for joining us. Please talk to us. What's your take on what we showcased so far? Mr. Chuk, are you there? 
Can anybody hear me? Hello. Yes, yes, we, can hear you. yes we can hear you, sir. Yeah. Okay. okay, that means Mr. Schultz is not here. Okay, let me move on to the next person then. Okay, Mr. Chooks, you are not here. If the next person finished talking and you're not available, we will remove you so that somebody else can take that spot. But meanwhile, let me hear from the next person. Um, my, my system is slow for a reason I don't know. Just bear with me, my people. Okay, the next person we have here is Eze Wango. Eze Wango, good evening to you, sir. Thanks for joining us. Uh, please talk to us. What's your take so far? Is it one go? You're not available as well. If you guys can hear me, that means you can't hear the people I'm calling, right? We are hearing but, you. Yes, we, are, we, are, we are hearing you. We are hearing, I'm hearing you. Let me use my own. I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you. Okay, I've called two persons. They are not responding. So that means they are not here. So I'll remove them temporarily for now. So that's, okay, let me move on to Mr. Edwin. Mr. Edwin, uh, you are the third person on panel. Uh, before you finish, I, hopefully we can have these people back. If not, you guys on the backstage, be, please be patient with us. We'll come back to you. Thank you, sir. Good evening once again. Happy Sunday. To, please talk Happy to Happy Sunday to you, fellow panelists. Thank you very much. Comment session, I greet all of you. Depends on your time situation. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I've had this audio since before now, and uh, I saw it to be funny. First of all, most, first of all, most, whoever that recorded this thing should know nobody have right to video tap anybody or voice tap anybody. You see, Nigeria is a, such a lawless society that people, you know, do things with impunity. They don't care what it is. Now, the DSS issue of interim government is dying down. Now, they are now resurrecting with a different one entirely again. We are no fools. We know what's happening. Tunubu statement. The Northern leaders, when they make comment to say, this is a Muslim brother we have to stand for. What is different from exactly what we just had from the tape, number one. And that does not really mean, and it has not been proven, that that, was, or that that video was authentic, or the voice was authentic. Peter Obi is alive. And the way he was talking like somebody was jittering. I mean, there was no life. There was no life in that voice. The life of incitement. The life of seriousness of what we know it will be to be. That that video was too slow. It was too slow. We should understand it very, very well. So blackmailing people just to accept the situation is what I see there. The Nigeria should I mean most of these people that is in the government should be ashamed of themselves. Mr. Buari, as of today, as of today, ninety thousand pulling boot or 9,000 pulling boot results are still not been loaded into IRF. And I will tell you categorically, these are these are, these are are uh, doctored results sheets they tempered that they are finding difficult now to load. You are not seeing it from that perspective. It's not giving you people concern. If somebody's voice is what is now, uh, I mean, trading around in the whole nation, in the whole world, but the result of what is bringing Nigeria and building the, the, the spirit of division, eating hard into us like, like, like a cancer, nobody is addressing it. That's not what we want to hear now. This is too cheap. It's too cheap to fool people. Now, if he says it, because I, I'm not giving him, I mean, benefit of that. If even he says it, for you taking Muslim, Muslim tickets and pairing them together, are you not telling the Christians they are nowhere to be? The speaker of the house of our of, 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 of house of state is not Muslim. The IG of police, what is he? Just name them the service chiefs. 
So when somebody now tell you this boy lets a fight against Christianity, if only it is true that this voice belongs to him and belongs to uh, I mean, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the bishop, what is wrong? Is this worse than Tunubu said? Go get it, snatch it, hit them, beat them. Is that not worse than even this one you are saying? Gentlemen, as they want to start playing this one, let us pair it all together with what Tunubu was saying. We have to pair the two videos together and then now let us know what is really damaging in Nigeria. Whose character is questionable? I don't understand. I don't understand. Election tribunal, you people want to block the whole of these things. You came out with DSS, so that people will not demonstrate. But you people have forgotten. Nigeria Constitution says election tribunal must give verdict before swearing in. It's there. But you people don't observe it. You don't you don't you don't care about it. You are not concerned with that. The constitution declared it. Election tribunal must give verdict before swearing in. But you put now and block it. You use almost four or five weeks to block uh, the, the lawyers from collecting information and collecting evidence. Now they finally collected it. The, your your your, your ran away from Nigeria. These ones are not concerning to you. These are shameless set of human beings. And this, these are people who want to now take over this country to rule for another four to eight years. Or they are going to bring a different manner from heaven. If he is for Nigeria as a president, he wouldn't have been doing all these things because the hatred and the gap of hatred built and the, 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 the religious speech and the divided spirit they are trying to infuse into Nigerian society right now. I'm ashamed to even say I'm a Nigerian. In the Nigerian community, I'm ashamed. Because this is just like the gathering, the gathering of lunatics. Come together, collect yourselves, try to impose it on the people. Otherwise, you go from one evil perpetual planning. Somebody said last five days ago and said they will make if not Tunubu, they will make Nigeria a head to govern. Gentlemen, that is even a bomb share. It's a bomb share by saying if not Tunubu, Nigeria will be made a head for somebody to govern. What else do you bring one from a gentleman? Who's not pulling the, the stream yet now for fight? I mean, it's, it's so painful and so disheartening. APC, the selected rotten eggs of Nigeria, your character, your art, your attitude, and your exhibition is disgusting, shameful, and it's alarming. I hate for now. Thank you. Mr. Nadewash, are you there? Hello? Is anybody hearing me? Yeah, we can hear I'm, you. I'm, I'm, hearing, I'm hearing you, my brother. I know, I, I told you four days ago, you should, you should control the system. It's like they've hacked the system. It's like they've hacked the system. No, they, can, they, they cannot hack the Nigeria system. Don't use those words, sir. They don't. don't, don't. They, okay. can, they can't it's hack okay. Nigeria it's system. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. If, if when when you know better, then uh, I'm happy also. But I'm disturbed the way this thing is going on and out. That's it. Don't worry, sir. Don't worry. Thank you. Okay. All right. Um, let me call on the next person. Um, I would like to let me see, Mr. Shooks, are you available now? Okay, Mr. Shooks, you're still not available. Okay, uh, let me see. Is it one go? Um yeah, are you yes, yeah, I'm, I'm back. I was logged out. Okay, sir. Okay, good evening to you. Please talk to us. Yeah, Thank yeah you. good evening, everybody. Good evening, uh, uh, the, all the panelists. 
I'm, I'm sorry, I was logged out. I tried to log back in, but uh, I couldn't, but now I'm able to. Yeah, uh, let's uh, touch base on the one that I had. Uh, I think the first uh, one was, uh, what was the first one that you mentioned? The first, uh, was it the um, obese? Uh, oh, no, Araka, Araka, yeah. Oraka, Oraka yeah, and yeah, uh, Dr. Yeah, yeah. And Dr. Uh, Haruna. Uh, Haruna, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, as far as um, uh, that, uh, what, uh, what DSS is talking about, um, everybody knows that DSS, um, I, I, I'm, well, I have always known that they work for the government. They don't work for the people. Uh, the people are the, uh, the people they're supposed to work for. But unfortunately, all the um, agencies, uh, security agencies in Nigeria, not just the DSS, I think they are working for the government, the ruling party, because they never work for us. Um, how can you say that somebody is trying to scuttle the uh, inauguration, somebody who is, doesn't have power? Is is it's just laughable. It's very it's just laughable. It's not possible. They all these things are propaganda that they are putting up to make people think otherwise. That you know, or give them the the right to go and um, start arresting innocent uh, people or uh, their opponents. That's all they're trying to do. Uh, if you if you look at um, when uh, Daddy Ahmed made that uh, 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 had that interview with um, Arise News, they all start. Uh, writing DSS to go and arrest uh, Dari Ahmed and Ubi and all that and all that. But if you look at that, all, all the time that um, Femi uh, Fani Kayode is writing all kind of trash and uh, Onanuga and uh, uh, Leke and uh, Kiyamo and all these kind of people talking all kinds of uh, inflammatory, making all kinds of inflammatory statements and annoying things that can incite people to start doing things. They didn't do anything. They didn't, they didn't want the people. That tells you who they're working for. That's what makes me very angry about the government because this government is not for us. Um, yesterday, when I was listening, Theobald made mention that um, not I think it wasn't yesterday; it was on Friday that uh, the the government, the Nigeria, has been captured. Yes, he, what he said is fine. It's true. Nigeria has been captured by these evil people, and they just um, use their gun and uh, guns to, to intimidate anybody who wants to oppose them, so that they can continue to steal. It's not really that they're doing anything for the people. They're not, we already know they're not working for us. They're just uh, a thief in disguise of the government to, you know, to um, rob all of us. So what um, like Araka was saying is not far from the truth. These people, they have hijacked our government. Um, look at the video. Let, let, that brings me back to the videotape of OB, um, uh, what OB, OB uh, 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 secret videotape, even if it was him. I didn't see anything wrong in what he said. Is it a religious war that we have when somebody go there and uh, get uh, uh, a nominate a Muslim Muslim ticket? Is it a religious war? So I don't see anything. He didn't say he was. He wasn't talking to him to go and rig the election for him or try to incite any kind of violence. He wasn't doing that. I was saying to oh, uh, you know, mobilize your people to come and vote for me because yeah, well, it's, it's just another war of campaigning. I don't see anything wrong with that. If, if Tinubu is saying the same thing, uh, let the uh, people um, call his uh, mosque or whatever and tell the mosque to mobilize people to vote for, for him rather than inciting people to stop people from voting or create chaos so people can run away. You know, he, 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 that's what he did. He was asking people to vote for him and people voted for him. What's wrong with that? At least he didn't force people to vote for him. Obi wasn't asking people, uh, uh, telling the uh, uh, pastor to force people to vote for him. He was only uh, soliciting for their votes. So I don't see anything wrong with that. So this government that we have, unfortunately, um, I pray that Obi will get his mandate back. But uh, like Tinubu said, in, uh, when he went to Chatham House, uh, he's not something, uh, power is not something in Alagata and grab it and whatever it is, you know. That's what he meant, that's, that's what he meant. But, to grab the, uh, 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 capture the government by any means, by crooks uh, or any kind of crook, crooked way. It doesn't matter as long as he's in power so they can continue to siphon uh, uh, the front of Nigeria and do whatever they want. You know, and when we talk, they want they said, oh, it's violent. It's, it's, all that time, Oluomo and, and the clicks were making noise. Where was the DSS? I, I watched the interview 
uh, on Arise News when a Lagos Commissioner of, of Police was being uh, uh, interviewed and he said, okay, we investigate it. And I think it was Rufa. I said, what are you investigating? The people are there. You know them. They show their face. So what are you investigating? Why don't you invite them? Question them. You know? So they, they, they will come up with all those kind of uh, things to, to, to make us feel they are working for us. But we are no fools. We know they are not working for us. The DSS, the Army, the police, the Air Force, the, the Navy, they are all working for the branch of APC. We know that. So my brothers, what, um, uh, 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 I don't see anything that um, Obi said that is wrong. And what Haruna said and uh, uh, other people said, I didn't quite get what Haruna said, but I, you know, that was when my phone got nothing. But if you say the same thing, we all agree that this government is satanic, like uh, that Niger Watch says all the time. That's very satanic. They're not for us. And if, if we can do every, anything as long as we're within the law to get our uh, mandate back, we will do that. They are just so desperate for my liking. Kai, I know. They are. Very, very desperate. And they don't care about you or, or me or anybody else. Or the, look at, have you ever read this, uh, the tweet of uh, Femi Fanny Kai? All kinds of crap he's writing. That guy, that guy, that guy is very annoying. Every time I read his tweet, I wonder, and he's always cursing. He doesn't know how to talk. You know, he's a good writer. I give it to him. But he writes, the, he writes trash. He writes completely writes trash. And he has no dignity anywhere. He doesn't have respect for himself or anybody else. And he thinks he's a, so a good writer will write to steal your heart and steal your mind. Yes, yes, yes. But it is that, you know those people he's working with? Do you think they trust him? They can never trust him. They don't trust him. Now he's talking about the, the North and the Southwest are forming a bond. A bond. Do, does he remember when he did handshake across the Niger in Enugu? He said, "Oh, handshake across the Niger, the south, the southwest, and 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 the, and the southeast. We all we all together. Well, let's work together to you know." To, he did that. He forgot all about that. Now he he's going to go and say, "Oh, north and the southwest. How many southwest people are with him?" Obviously, the good southwestern people that I know don't even take him as anything. They don't even care about him. You know. He, he's, he's with the North, not the whole Southwest. The people of Southwest that I know, I have a lot of Yoruba friends, they, they don't even, even when I, when I was talking about, any time I mention him, they say, don't talk about a guy. The you Southwest don't even like him. That's one thing you don't understand. Let him go and talk to the reputable Southwest. Let me see how many people he will convince to go with him. So um, to bring, let me let other people talk, but uh, we should keep on pushing. By grace of God, we'll get our mandate back. This is what I draw my question. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. All Thank right. You. Um, Mr. Chooks, Ubi Boise, are you there now? For Mr. Chooks, Ubi Boise, be like saying I travel, now you your travel. So um, let's, let me hear from Philip Kings. Philip Kings, thanks very much for joining us. Good evening to you. Please talk to us. Thank you very much, uh, Ninja Watch. I want to thank the panelists. I want to thank everyone. In the comment section, our viewers that is watching along the uh, across the globe, I want to thank you all for having this patience to wait. Though we came a little bit late, uh, but uh, we want to say thank you for being patient. This is the we are all addicted to Niger Watch, like as I will always say, mm -hmm. I'm addicted to Niger Watch. When I don't drink Niger Watch, I don't sleep Niger Watch. Then I must tell you, I cannot work. So that thank is you. it. So I really want to thank you, Nigeria Watch, for bringing all the information to us. In thank regard you. to the video that is trending online, I listened to the video that was some four hours ago when I woke up. Yeah. And uh, I really see, for my own opinion, uh, it could be dotted uh, because we are, in the, we are in the industrial revolution era where we can, they can do anything with uh, your voice. So exactly. somebody can be talking through other um, mm -hmm. sorts of devices while being translated to your voice so those things can happen like what our our first speaker said that the voice was not really live it was so it was so slow you know and also it could also be uh, a re video a re um, audio that uh, what he said maybe it has been linked by any other but my 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 take on this is that i don't really see anything wrong in this um, in this uh, voice and audio. Exactly. Because, 
because what he was trying to use, he was trying to, it's called vote in a uh, vote uh, 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 campaigning, you know, he was trying to sell to your family, yes, to, to your to your Christian brother, because he is a Christian, and he have always said it repeatedly that I am a Christian. I believe in the Christian faith. So I don't really see anybody or see him saying something like that. That uh, please, we should try and talk to our people, let them understand what is happening, let them vote for me. This is really what every good leader must do. Every good leader that have the interests of the people must do this because you will not ignore your people. That is the truth. That is the fact. And for Kenneth Okonkwo to react, I think he's too fast to, that is in my own opinion, to come to react on his Twitter page on these issues because he would have lived for the, for our, 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 our um, Mr. Obi. I'm very Let's, happy for addressing and, that. I just wanted yes, to and seek And seek, first of all, his opinion because I'm asking, did you anytime make any Call like this, or what happened? What because happened? It's obvious Before, that can I can yeah. call reacted without not talking to Peter. Yes, Obi. yes, because that was will, wrong. Yeah, because you will surprise that tomorrow Peter Obi will come out and make a speech that will be even a little bit because we have people who are very intellectual. They can read your statement even when you are not going direct. They will tell you, look at what you mean, and it's truth. It's facts. That is it. So it's really, really wrong. Honestly, for my own opinion, it is wrong. Without his concept, if you make that tweet. It's really wrong. And uh, also, these are poli we are in a political propaganda era. This era where we are, it is a propaganda. You must bring these APC people, they are bringing anything to distract Nigeria, to see Peter Obi as a kind of a, a naive somebody, a naive person in the eyes of the people. You understand? But this is somebody that I've said, this is somebody that I've speaking, in fact, that has spoke to the heart of Nigeria. That is why Nigeria accepted him. So no matter the kind of propaganda they will bring or they will cook in order to convince people, I think Nigeria will not listen to them. Nigeria now one way that they face. Once they say now this one, now this one, that is Nigeria for you. And for the for the for those of the people that are thinking look, Nigeria just don't forget, they don't forget that they enjoy themselves. No, they're not they enjoy themselves. Look, there is fire cooking. The people heart are boiling. They just they wait for the trigger to be an explode. So that is it. That is it. So me, I believe that uh, we, we as a family, we must continue to stand on the truth. We must continue to stand on the truth, and we need what we need. We need, um, we need people that will give us confidence in this struggle. People that we that will give us mind, as in that we that we that we that will make us to understand that look. Whatever we are seeing in the media, it's not, it's not right, it's not, it's not all that are true. Because something like this will be trending, like what our brother said. But what Femi Kayode, what the Muslim people, what they said, what Tinibu said, those ones are not trending. They are not trending, but they are looking for things just to, to distract Nigeria so that tomorrow we will not be saying, no, uh, Peter Obi is not really for Nigeria, it's not for Nigeria. So that is my take. That is my take. I don't really have much to talk about it because this is Arab nonsense. This is Arab nonsense. And those that are listening, this is Arab news, it's going nowhere. So our mandate must be restored. Like what Nigeria, Nigeria was said, these APC people, they are satanic people. And they will do anything possible to make sure they, they still, they, they, they retain this mandate. And it's not going to work. God bless you. That's my take. Thank you very much. Let me give opportunity to other people. Thank you, my brother, Philip Kings. God bless you. I appreciate you always. Uh, yes, on the Kenneth Okoko, I spotted that as well. That okay, uh, your his, his reaction is contrary to what Mr. Peter B uh, uh, reacted. So for me, um, did he consulted Peter B before he went on social media to react to this audio? Uh, yeah, that is a big question. But maybe one or two persons might answer that later. And and two. Guys, you guys must understand that this selected uh, president, uh, whatever, you know, since they selected him, there are people that is even fighting us on social media cannot even celebrate their principal. You can't celebrate your INEC uh, uh, president elect. You cannot say you should at least what just imagine if it was Peter Obi, they announced the winner, or even tomorrow. By the special grace of God, the court comes out now to, to, to announce Peter Obi that is the rightful owner or winner 
of this presidential election, my people are going to see the way Nigerians will be popping Chape all over the world. I'm telling you. All over uh, the uh, world. Uh, Elvis, sir, let me just quickly uh, tell you something to add to what you are trying to say now. Have you noticed it now that since two days now, people have been bombarding now that where has he go to hide? They are using this video now or this voice message now to divert that question that's already trading upon them. Exactly. Exactly. You know, like I was saying, the day that we announced it will be, that's where you will know what we call organic laws. The world will be celebrating. I'm not joking. In fact, let me talk you more. Not only Nigerians that will be celebrating. You will see a lot of African countries where they will be celebrating. They will be driving their cars, their bikes. They will be mad. In fact, a lot of them will be on the street celebrating. Write today's date down. The day they will declare Peter will be the winner. I'm repeating again. Africans will be celebrating. Not just Nigerians. The video will circulate all social media platforms. But you are here watching me now. You are telling me that your INEX selects whatever is the president select, right? And you are not celebrating. I'm asking you, Oga, madam, my brother, my sister, why are you not celebrating? The same way before the election, every one of you were hiding, doing hide and seek. When they ask you who is your candidate, the next thing you say, sorry, 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 sorry. How can somebody ask you who is your candidate? You'll you be blabbing. You be automatically become a stammerer. You guys are not celebrating. Why? For the first time. You claimed that, yes, you guys won. But the, the, the situation of Nigeria right now looks like we are mourning. Which is not enough for you guys. Now you are coming up with different things. EFCC, where the attention was drawn to Peter Obi again, that was two weeks ago, to investigate Peter Obi. And the EFCC wrote on their page by saying that we have reinvestigated him again. At the moment, we have not found anything, but whenever we find anything, we will let you know. We talked about it here. <laughs> Till now. They are still investigating. Whereas the person that EFCC is supposed to focus on, they are not doing that. I've never, I don't know if, because sometimes when I speak here, especially when I'm not too sure of what I'm saying, I ask other people, if you not do hear them. But as far as I'm concerned, I've never seen Bola Ametinobu's name on EFCC pages or any kind of headline that EFCC investigating him. I've never. What is happening? Why Peter will be? I beg you people, we don't want war in Nigeria. The way you guys are going, the way you guys are going, just because of greed, you want to see a lot of people lose their lives because of greed because of greed or for you the supporters because you love your principal or he came from the same village with you I don't know your reason but I know you can lie to us. But one thing I'm sure, you cannot lie to yourself. You can't lie to yourself. You know that the satanic APC stole this mandate. You know. But you choose to congratulate them. You choose to celebrate them. Hmm. It is well. Let me move on. 
Better Nigeria. Thank you very much for joining us. Please talk to us. That's our care of the loop. Thank you very much, sir. Good evening to you. Please talk to us. We can't hear you. You need to unmute yourself. We can't hear you. We have about two or three people down on the panel that is not available. Hello, okay. hello, hello. Are you, okay. are you with me? Yeah, good are evening. Are you with me now? Okay. Yes. Please talk to good us. Evening. Good evening, everybody. I appreciate all that we have been seeing. And, we, and by the grace of God, our mandate will be got it. No, Without we try anything, God will give us our mandate in Jesus' name. Now, um, concerning the DSS statement, I want to say that we should not take DSS statement seriously because they see that they have, they themselves have seen that they have made a mess of themselves because the whole country has, and everybody has roundly condemned them for coming out with what they said. Because what they are saying doesn't even make sense. Because you are telling us that uh, there's a thief that is coming to steal you. Or are you, so, are you supposed to you know, arrest the thief? So that's, you know, that DSS issue, thank God it is dead. <clears throat> now, concerning this audio, if it is true that it is, because I don't want to argue that it is true or it's not true, because already Kenan Okonko has come out to say that you know, maybe it's a piece uh, statement, but it doesn't say anything wrong in it. And that is my own talking point, too. Even if the audio is true, releasing the audio now is not relevant. Why do I say so? Because it does not change anything. Because if it is true, you know, that that audio was sent, it doesn't change anything because election has been done. This kind of audio can only be relevant and can, can only make sense, you know, on the minds of people when election has not, has not taken place. So I don't see anything, I don't see anything they want to achieve by that. Then also, the audio, even if it is released now, like I said, doesn't have any effect on the election. And we have to ask ourselves what came out, what they are saying came out in the audio, what they are trying to pinpoint is that they said it's religious war, religious war. Can we ask ourselves that what, what audios and pronouncements that the APC people have made before and during the election? Is it not even worse than religious war? I've not declared religious war already. So what are we talking about? And then, if you are saying that you went to beg for voice of Christians, what is wrong with it? Shall we saw a video of where, where a, a goat was being slaughtered a night before the election for some Wolu in Lagos State, where they were praying. Were they doing that one to God? So that is the question. So, so if somebody is now begging that, uh, if it's not saying people are now, you know, it's now asking for Christian, uh, Christian votes. I don't see anything wrong in that because what do you want? The, what do you want him to do? In the way he's facing a Muslim Muslim ticket. So, try to do this now. I just see that they want to distract us. Then, for crying out loud, what is the purpose of releasing this audio now? Because, number one, do they intend it to change the judicial appraiser of this case? I guess it cannot. Because the next stage we are in now is, is, the, is, the, is the judicial process. So, and I'm sure when they want to, when they are judging the case, they won't, what, the, what will be said to anybody before the election is not what they're looking at. So I don't know the purpose of this thing. That's number one. Then number two, is this so? As they try to sway the minds of Nigerians, I'm sure it cannot. It cannot change anything now. It cannot change anything because anything they want to change now is to, you know, if anything they want to change is to change the ju judicial process. And that is why I thought they came up with the DSS matter 
so that maybe they will make arrests, they will do this, they will do that. But what I'm saying, it doesn't make sense. Then also, I want to also say that concerning this tape, because, you know, if they are claiming religious war, what is already going on now in Nigeria, in the political and administrative scene in Nigeria, you know, is it not worse than, you know, is it not worse than religious war? Where, you know, all the appointments now, they are lopsided in favor of the Muslims. As somebody has said, tell me who is who in Nigeria today that is not a Muslim whether in the executive, whether in the legislature, whether in the police, whether in the customs, whether in the immigrant, anywhere, they are all Muslims. So what are we talking about? So if, if you're now, so if you're now calling somebody, accusing somebody of, you know, saying that this is a religious war, they have, the, they have declared the war already. So, so what I want to say is that we should not be afraid of what they are saying. It doesn't make sense. Like somebody said, maybe they want to use one to distract us. Yesterday, it was somebody that was arrested in the airplane, who was, who was crying obedient, obedient, only for somebody now to say that it was APC, because they see that that one has not worked. Is this one they want to do now? So this one does not make sense. Then also, I want to round up by saying that for a probing mind, for a probing mind, somebody who, if you want to probe the actual, you know, the actual background or mindset of the people that release this audio, me, to me, this audio is even an indirect admittance of obese victory. Because what they are saying now is that in this audio, what they are saying is that Obi won the election by the support of Christians. That's what they are saying. If you want to actually say, you know, because that's the only thing you can achieve, you know, that uh, Obi ran for all the churches. And that's why they gave him, that's why they won the election. So that's what they are saying. So to me, I don't think anything serious in this uh, in this propaganda they're trying to do. Peter Abish should remain focused and this propaganda will not work. Any propaganda will not work. So let us continue to, you know, hammer on how we can affect the judiciary, how we can make them, you know, do right. So, so I yield back for now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. All right. Um, please stay mute. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, Guys, please, can you help us to share and like this broadcast? Share and like. Please mute yourself. Mute yourself. Somebody. Uh, Better Nigeria, please. Thank you. All right, guys, can you help us to share and like? Press the like button. God bless you all. Uh, let us quickly listen to um, the next person here, which is uh, Mr. Alex. Mr. Alex, uh, talk to us, my brother. Good evening to you. Yes, thank you, Mr. Najawash. Thank you for, for being a dependable media kamakaze. Thank you. I want to thank everybody on the on the platform, on the panelist list, those on the comment session. I salute you. I salute your consistency and your faithfulness. I I want to say something. They didn't see the emergence of Mr. Peter Obi coming. They didn't see it coming. They didn't believe in this escalation of obese uh, popularity. At the time, they said there were just four, four people, <coughs> excuse me, tweeting in the room. No, I, I sense desperation. Looking at that adventitious uh, video of the guy in in the plane, <clears throat> excuse me, the guy in the plane that uttered that short drama. Do you want to take a, a break? Yeah, 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 I don't know what's going on. I, I don't mind them, I will talk. They don't, they don't want me to talk today. If you combine the, the guy's video and this audio coming up, you know that they are looking for ways. They've gone through EFCC, they've gone through drug dealings, they've gone through everything. They didn't see anything against this man. So they switched to damaging character assassination. They switched to telephone conversation. They contacted MTN and GLOW. If it is real, even if it is real, and so what? Nigeria have been under a religious war. The brother was killed. Is that not a religious war? Because she tweeted that she, she is in school to read, not to go to any Muslim group. That's what she said. 
That's what she said. That's a religious word. Churches were burned down. According to Reverend Coca, when he went to America, more than 120,000 churches were burned down under Buhari's government. Hundreds of thousands of Christians were killed. And we've already forgotten that. So, so this is my problem with Nigerians. Most Nigerians, they have memory, short memory syndrome. Or what church massacre? Who was who? Who was behind it? If not the federal government? I don't understand. The kidnapping going on nationwide. Who is who is giving them AK-47? AK-47 is not a gun for poor man or poor criminals. The parasitic and the pre, the prepender political class of Nigeria, they didn't see the emergence of this surging political circle, the obesity obesity. Now they know that the evidence before them are gargantua, they are artificial, they are too conspicuous to be ignored. In fact, they are imponderable. There's no escape routes for this legal WrestleMania. It's going to be very dicey for them. It's a precarious situation for them. And they know. Do you think they have forgotten or they've rested from the ongoing investigation about obese personality? They found nothing against this man. A man came out to say, if you cannot vote this party, we will kill you or go home. The, man, the video is everywhere. Go home. Or you will die. That's what the man said. DSS said that. Tunubu before election said, steal it. Snatch it. Run away with it. Will Obi say that and still be walking scot free? Nigeria has been kidnapped by a gang of senseless criminals who call themselves DSS, who call themselves presidency, who call themselves army generals. And Obi is wrestling to release this woman called Nigeria, from the hands of these people. The rope they use in Thai Nigeria are loosening through the personality and character and the, you know, and the personal antecedents, the where with that of Mr. Peter Obi and Ahmed Dati and the Obi Dati movements. They didn't see him coming. Who would have thought five years ago they would have met a political parazesos like him? A political colossus. He has carried out a political holocaust on these political criminals. Election time. APC as a party, as a ruling party, could not show us what they've done. Normally in every country, a ruling party will have big, giant screen on political platforms to showcase all their achievements as a means of campaign to project another candidate. That is only in Nigeria they don't do that. What have they done apart from killings, wiping out of citizens, burning of churches, kidnapping and collecting money for ransom? I mean, as a ransom, shutting down the uh, uh, shutting down schools as to strike, putting the citizens in penury and squalor, declaring everybody personal non grata, plunging us in a state of quagmire, anomie, state of pisma disma. The day of reckoning has come, election period. They are devising all sorts of devices against the lost anointed. If he says it's, it's a religious war, it's not bad. How do you justify the burning of churches in a church in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a country that has most, both Muslim and Christians? A man was preaching in Abuja. He was murdered in cold blood. There's no investigation. We have Muslims living in a dust state, living, living in a, a data state. How many have we killed? They come here, they get married, they have children, they even marry our sisters sometimes. We don't disturb them. When there's a little political tension, they take, they just become animals. They take it to religion and start killing human beings. And we have a DSS, and we have a military, and we have a police system that are docile, that are lopsided that are copy hand to these men and women who are wicked. If Obi was the president, you know, um, elect, will he be missing by now? DSS should be ashamed of themselves. They, as I dare to say, DSS has become a criminal gang, a criminal organization. 
because they've 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 abdicated their their their, their duties and and now they are not guiding thugs and people with drug history it's only nigeria dss and professors are working as bodyguards as election riggers for drug peddlers and criminals for thugs if I talk to my pastor to let me talk to people in another state and I declare the situation of the country to him, how does that make me a personal non grata? Tomorrow night they will come with something else. Oh, Peter, I'll be slept with a prostitute. Because they will come to that. They will come to that. These are the games they do in Nigeria. We've not, well, oh my God. When I start talking, people say I talk too much. Alex, just, just, in the just imagine within 48 hours. The guy that, that that disrupted the flight happens within 48 hours, included with this audio. These guys are doing everything possible to bring this man down. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. I'm talking from the doctor's point of view, like in my own profession. I've diagnosed this. I've hypothesized. I've taken it to my lab, in my political lab. It's just start making sense to come out and give you a result. That some people are just running at a scatter. They know that the whole world is crying. The first time in the Nigerian political history, even, even if it's a military takeover, people refuse to rejoice. There were military takeovers that, that people rejoice in this country. When it comes to a political, you know, democratic transition, people did not rejoice. Do you know the countries that, that a few countries, Nicaragua, Nic Nicaragua, Cuba, countries with drug barons and drug history, he quickly called their drug barons to make sure their political elite they make a statement. Yesterday, I saw Nicaragua and Cuba co congratulating Tinubu because that is the major destination of drugs. Go and do your research. These are drug peddling nations. With respect to Chicavera and uh, Fidel Castro. Gentlemen and ladies, don't be misguided. Don't be perturbed. Don't be in the state of Iki Aga. Everything is intact. We have evidence. The matter is in court. The constitution must be followed. DSS just keep fooling themselves. They've become, they've shown to the whole world that they are a criminal gang. A whole DSS that could go to another country. They call them secret police to go and kidnap a freedom fighter. And now they can they cannot dictate who kid a citizen brought the light and set her ablaze. I have never seen that. A, a country, shame on you, Vice President Osimbajo. You are a Christian who's supposed to stand the way Muslims are standing with their criminals. But you've become also part of the criminality. You didn't say a word about that word. But that killing of that innocent girl. It could have been your daughter, Mr. V Christian Professor, Vice President, my food. Nigeria is a secular state. It's not a Muslim country. And it will never be a Muslim country. If, if you cannot hear it, go, go on. Just go and sleep. The Pope, under Abacha's regime. You know, we forget history a lot. The Pope visited Nigeria twice. It, 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 it is never done. The Pope visit a country just once in their tenor. But he was made to visit Nigeria twice. Why? Because Abata was planning something bad and the world body got, got information. They only sent the Pope to come and appeal to him that the Vatican have a, a, a large number of Catholic faithfuls in Nigeria, especially in the eastern part, that, that Abata should also release political prisoners. If you think that the world body is not listening to what, and they are not observing what is going on in Nigeria, you are sleeping. Forget about the corruption going on. It was not up to three months after the second visit, Abacha was gone. By hook or by crook. He was gone. So those in power should be careful. Should be, these people that are working with Tito still oiled to their country, when they turn their back against you, it's in two minutes, they don't care. Guys, these are just uh, uh, just another, you know, another, um, you know, something cooked up to create a political, a political phantasmagoria, just to make us jitter.
just to make us scared. They know they failed. They failed in every area. They failed in elections. They failed with beavers. They failed with uploading. They failed with thuggery. They failed with, as we speak. MC Oluwama is still working scot free. He's still working scot free. DSS is, DSS is blind to that. A man that said, come and vote here or you go home if you're not voting for a particular party. DSS can, can never see that. They cannot call him and question him. They are looking for Obi. They are, they are looking for one, one, one mistake from Obi. Wisdom is, wisdom is from God. I like the way Obi is carrying himself. They, 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 I mean, I don't, that DSS body should be scrapped and, and a new body should be set up in the next government. Hopefully, Peter Obi takes his mandate back. So I would like to leave it here, gentlemen and ladies. Don't be picked up. These are just gimmies, schemies. They are just a, a set of miscants having the political class on their side to tell lies on social media. It's a, it's a lot of drama going on. So get ready. Carry your popcorn. Sit down and enjoy this ride. Obi will get his mandate back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, my brother, Mr. Alex. Thanks for saying it, I read. Um Okay, uh, let me hear from the next person here. Uh, some of our panelists are not here today. I would like, Mr. CM, if you're hearing me, we really want to hear your part on this um, topic, please. And um, Ginger Breadman, if you're hearing me, I understand the, the screen is filled up, but try to make your way here. Anyhow, you can do that. That would be nice. You know, I really want to give everybody the opportunity to talk today and call us. You know, I'm going to prioritize you as well today. I want everybody to add their view on this because I can see on the comment section, a couple of you were already uh, asking if you can call in. Of course, you can, but not this moment. Let me uh, call in at least two or three persons from the panel. Then I'll give priorities as well to the callers. God bless you. Oh, yeah, woman. Thank you very much uh, for joining us. Good evening to you, sir. Please talk to us. Are you there? Can you hear me? Yeah, hello, sir. Okay, good. I can hear you now. Wonderful. Good evening uh, once well, again. Please I talk to us. I want to deliberate on this uh, uh, voice uh, audio from uh, our from our president, uh, Mr. Peter Obi, and the. Uh, a man that I call my papa, uh, David Oyedepo. I think these two voices, is very clear and very obvious that these two voices are dotted. They are not real, you know. These are just one of the things they are trying to use to cause distraction to the movement that is going on already. And uh, I think one of their ways you know, to to carry out their plans towards our our president, Mr. Peter Obi, because there are plans of arresting him that is going on here and there. I think they are just looking for a way for something to hold as as a reason why he's being arrested. But it will not it will not work for them. That will not work for them, anyways. So the the truth about it is that this this whole audio is is fake and is rubbish to me. Then concerning uh, Kenneth who make uh, who make that, that the comment that we all saw earlier, I think maybe maybe he he didn't think it right maybe to ask. Uh, as in to ask uh, Mr. Peter Obi before coming out with that uh, that kind of response, or maybe on his own, he was just trying to, you know, quickly block. They are very, very, very fake. According to the first uh, the first speaker who said they. The voice, there is no life in that voice. Truly, there is no life. Oh. Nothing. Although they are they try to they try to make it a very tiny voice with the way of our as in with the same way of from our, our uh, as our president. But still on still, there's a very big mistake there. But no matter what they did, no.
We can't hear you. We lost you. We, 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 something uh, is wrong with the so called This so-called DSS and the uh, EFCC or whatsoever, Nigeria, uh, any 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 kind of uniform person person in Nigeria. I don't think these people know what they are doing because we have had several things about this so-called Jagaban that is really required to be investigated, including the person he picked as a running mate, which is the Shetima. That I, I think I have had several, several, uh, several, I think if I should call it accusation against him, that several people have bring out so many proof how they have been seeing him with those uh, so-called uh, um, a group of people in Nigeria that is tormenting everywhere, the, the Boko Haram. People have been, you know, but yet these people, these so-called ESCC or DSS, they are not even... They are not even taking all those news for as in for as in that's I don't know what to say. They don't even take them serious. These people are supposed to be under investigation by now, but nobody is talking about them. Everybody is just focusing on Obi, looking for what he will do. Okay, I think you have situation with your audio. You keep believe me, you huh? every every organization going on in Nigeria. These me? people call APC. These people call APC. Every organization going on in Nigeria right now, they are the one controlling me. They are the one in charge. Everybody, every organization is under there. This so-called DSS, EFCC, fire the police, the army. Everybody are under this so this so-called APC people. Because they, they do things and get away with it. They do things and get away with it. Yet when anybody speaks, people come to uh, as in, you know to tell to tell the world the truth. They say DSS after you. Now look at Rofai getting different threats because he's the only journalist in Nigeria that is speaking the truth, that is giving these people bomba to bomba the way it is. That's just all I have to say for now. Because if I if I just want to say some certain things with the way I'm angry, I might go against 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 the law. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Oye. Thank you. Thanks for your submission as well. Uh, please stay mute. All right. Uh, let me move on to the next person, guys. Please uh, press the like button right there and help us to share. We currently have three twenty four. Can we take the likes to at least four hundred, please? Is possible? Help us to do that. God bless you all. Okay, let me hear from uh, Init TV. Init TV, thank you very much, sir. Good evening to you. Thanks for your patience. Talk to us, sir. Hello. Hello, sir. Ah, uh, Malga. Ah, good evening. Was, good evening, sir. I, I greet the panelists, dear, and of course, the viewers. Uh, first of all, I was not surprised because I think the the last time I came on your show, I said we should prepare for the worst. Why? Because APC is like a dying horse. It go kick. It go struggle. And that is the stage it is now. For example... I read some few days back that INEC contracted eight senior advocates of Nigeria for APC in the oncoming case. This is INEC that is supposed to be independent. They go contract senior advocates for APC. Why? Because they are fully aware that both of them will be dragged down. So they are trying to protect their own side. Then on this video of a team, like I said before, I was expecting things like this. I don't know if it is their voice or if it's not their voice. But let us assume, say yes, not their voice. Was there anything that Peter Obi have not said? The only thing we say, we say, this is war. Now, only that in which I also feel it was doctored. Maybe he said they are taking this thing as if it is war. They're not caught it, so just say this is war. Even Peter Obi has said that if he comes in, 
he is going to launch war on power because we they generate i think 15 megawatts which he has said it's very poor so 5000 5, okay 5 okay okay 5000 so to use the the word war it not really means say not to go fight it, it, it has to show the the gravity of how we have pushed this religious issue because of APC2, where he bring out mostly, mostly tickets. A, a lot of preachers have said that is a slap to the Christian faith. Uh -huh. So that is that. And do you even know that even the Labour Party chairman was also, they almost pushed him out a set of people from his ward came out and and said he is no longer albeit he has been suspended from his ward at the end of the day it was resolved that they have no power to suspend the labor chairman so that is to tell you that these people are preparing to go all lengths to to try as much as possible to drag labor and Peter Obi down. Why? Because this is my own opinion. There is no way our father, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, can be the president of Nigeria. Why? His image has been damaged. And that is why they are now looking for a way out, which led to them planning the interim government. Now the APC and the government in power, now they, they plan that interim. You understand? Even I spoke to somebody yesterday who said that even this drug, even this cash skews, was all prepared or planned so that when after the election of a team it will be difficult for nigerians to to make the the nsax protest again so but there we are surprised that even peter obi is asking everybody to be calm so the waiting me i want try begs those who are for labors and the obedience movement this is the time we should all come together because they will use tribal religion and say corrupt or not corrupt to push their agenda which is to disrupt labor is a case of Solomon and the two women who says that if I if I cannot have this child, then you shouldn't. And that is exactly what APC is doing. If Tinubu is not good enough to be the president, then Peter Obi should not be. So that is what they are doing. So I will also say we should expect more. Which even I I heard that the 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 protest that is going to be held in Washington D.C. on this seventh, why the obedience are preparing, APC are also preparing too. They will come at the same time, same venue. So so that is to show the desperation. This one of people where. It has been a claim that they won, and yet they are putting up such a fight. So you should know that they are desperate and they will do anything. Just like somebody talk, I would not be surprised tomorrow when they come and say, now so they catch Peter will be in an uncompromising situation. They are out to do everything that they can 
we should just pray and be intelligent enough to pursue our goals and be focused. Uh, that is all I have, sir. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Um, Thank you. Uh, for your submission. I appreciate you. Thank you, sir. Um, okay. I can see on the comment section, some of you are saying that that voice is uh, is fake and all that. That's fine. Uh, time, you know, I will soon call you now to come and tell us what you what you think. I'll put the phone number out soon. But let's hear from Give Us a Mandate first. Give Us a Mandate, my brother. Good evening to you. Please talk to us. Are you there? Give us a mandate. Are you there? All right. Uh, Mr. T, it looks like you are not also there. You know, this is one thing that we must work on. Okay, let's hear from Mr. Ike. Mr. Ike, sir, good evening to you. Please talk to us. Good evening to you. Um, good afternoon from here, brother Elvis and the people in the panel and those in the comment section. Thank you. Let's say Sunday for everybody. Um, listen, if ABC, if they are not happy with what they hear, they should go and hug a electric pole, you know, uh, whether the voices are true or whether the voices are not true, it doesn't, it doesn't change anything. We cannot be cowed by ABC and their propagandists to fall into their traps. We know already that they can go at any event, and Peter Obi knows that they will go at any event. So he is prepared. We are prepared. We are not moved by all this. Um, religious war in Nigeria has been in existence since 1960. The killing of Deborah in Sokoto, what was it? Was it not a religious war? The killing of Christians in Kaduna, in Southern Kaduna and Kaduna in general, it was is it not is it not religious war? The killings of the, the Christians in, in Kaduna, is it not religious war? The killings in Benue State, is it not religious war? We have been we have been living in a in a religious war for since 1960. So what is different? What is what is so special about the conversation if it is true or not? Who cares? I'm only appealing to our obedience worldwide never to fall into ABC trap. Because these people are trying to hang on on anything, anything that they can hold. Because they know that the net, the fish net that level party spread, there is no escape route for ABC and the Bolatinungu in this present election 2023. So they, they are doing everything humanly possible. They are looking for anything. You know, we are prepared for the worst. But this is not, you know, something that we have to give a sleep over. You know, religious war has been in Nigeria for all this for since 1960. So what is what the heck is all about what uh, of conversation between Peter B and the Bishop of Yedapo? Who started the religious war? ABC. They went and choose Muslim Muslim, and they made it very clear that the reason for choosing a Muslim Muslim was that is the only way they can win election. Even with that, they didn't win election. So the religious war has started. It has been there for years. So what did Obi or Nyadepo say that is something that we are not going to sleep? No, they are trying to take your minds away from the real thing. Let us not be diverted to their to their cheap gimmicks. You know, we are in for it. We are prepared for it. We know what is coming. More is going to come, like the last speaker said. We know we, we know the people. We know the terrain. We know the terrain that we are in. Listen, they are losing, they are losing the grip. They are losing the grip of their satanic foundation. They are losing it. This man is not saying anything. Peter B is not saying anything. But there is, there is tension, there is, there is fire in the mountain in political camp of Nigerian politicians. He's not saying anything. He's not going to the press every day. He's not making any statement. He's not, he's not doing anything. If they said, go to court, and we have gone to court. So why all this, why all this drama? Why all this, you know, all this 
all this crazy stuff that is going on. They're not even smart. They're not even intelligent in what they're trying to do. The picture they're trying to paint against Peter Obi and Labour Party and the Obedient Movement. It's not going to stick. You know, so the religious war has been in existence in Nigeria. Quota, what, do you, what do you understand by quota system that has been operated in Nigeria for so many years? They will make Mr. Elvis Minister of Telecommunication. And they will use a Muslim Hausa man as, as Minister of State in Telecommunication. Why? In order to make sure that Elvis does not do what he can do. They use him to sabotage the effort. And after one year or two years, he will become the Minister of, of Communication. This is the game in Nigeria. We are all Nigerians. We live in Nigeria. We know this game. The quota system has been there. The religious quota system has been existing in Nigeria since 1960. So what the heck is LBC trying to let us know now? They're only trying to divert our attentions. The people that need to be arrested are still walking free on the street. Is it an innocent man you want to go and arrest? Let them try it. Let anybody in Nigeria try to go and arrest people. They will understand that they will understand that they, they, Nigeria is going to become a different country in the next 24 hours. They don't know what they are dealing with. They don't know what they are dealing with. This is the last straw of the political elite in Nigeria. Their days has come to an end. And there is no stopping this movement. They will leave. Whether they like it or not, it doesn't matter how many months it took. They have lost grip of Nigerian political space. And that is what is going to happen. So if anybody is trying to, they want to divert our attention, they want to make you, you lose track, you lose your concentration, you lose your program, you lose your planning about the events of tomorrow, next week, and whatever program we are, we can never fall. We can never fall to their programs and plan. We are too smart. Obedient people are too intelligent people. We are not... We are not just anybody. Obedient movement is not just people. So, obedient worldwide, we are not going to lose any sleep about it. I was just, before you called me, I was just looking at the Facebook. I saw the service of Bojeda for today. He was making comment about this. You know, so, this thing. Don't, don't, there's not, there's not, you know, these people, these people are just, they're just wasting their time. They cannot stop a moving train. You can never stop a moving train. You know, let me tell you, it, there is nothing they can do. Whom the Lord has anointed, no man can cause. But there is nothing anybody can do. The religious war has been in Nigeria for so many years. It's not today. You go to offices. You, if you are not a Muslim, you don't get you don't get a contract. You don't get the job. You are not into the ministry. As long as you are not a Muslim, you don't get it, even though you are more qualified. The least they can give you, they make you a subordinate to an illiterate Muslim man or woman who doesn't know anything about that job, but he will use you or they will use you to make that man to perform his duty. This has been this is the system in Nigeria. Are we are we strangers in Nigeria? This is what is happening in the in the federal ministry, in everywhere. A Christian who knows the job doesn't get the job. But an illiterate, an illiterate Muslim man or woman who doesn't know that job, but because he's a Muslim, they give him the job and they use you who knows that job to make sure that you are the person who is doing the 99% of the job. Why that illiterate is taking the glory? This is the Nigeria we live in. Are we, are we strangers to Nigeria? No, we are not. So we know this. The religious war has been in Nigeria for so many years. What is so special? What? What, what was even that that Peter Obi and uh, Dr. Bishop Oyedepo was com their conversation? What is it all about? I don't understand that. And I was hearing somebody was mentioning Kenneth Okonkwo. What did he say? Because I didn't follow the program. Did he come on television to defend that award? Please, if anybody can tell me before I conclude. Maybe she can hear me. Hello. Can what anybody hear? Yes, okay. are you here? Uh, um, thank you, you, you. I okay. was talking. Uh, are you, are you on? 
No, no, no. I'm trying to ask you a question. You somebody were talking about Kenny Tokongo. What did he did he come to the television to defend that or what? No, no, no. He wrote it on his platform. He wrote it on his platform defending the audio. And it, it, although I read it from the beginning of this broadcast, it, the way he was defending the audio shows that it's Peter Obi, but that but APC is only trying to 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 do some uh to, to bring it out to or rather to, to destroy his image. But the question here is that why must you come on air to, to defend Peter Obi and accept the audio, even when Peter Obi have, have, have denied the audio? That's, the that, 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 that's why I asked the question. I, I think if he has done something like that, I'm telling you that if it is not if it is not from Labour Party or Peter Obi, watch it in the next 72 hours, they will fire him. I'm because telling you. That was wrong, and very truth, wrong. And the truth, and the truth now is that Duran, Duran Onifade, the spokesperson of Peter Obi himself, has yes. denied has denied it. Okay. It's on it's on Twitter. Okay. Okay. So what what what, what that's why I asked the question. The thing is this. Um let let's we wait in the next 24, 72 hours and see if there is any comment that will come from the camp of Bishop Onyedebo or from Mr. Peter Obi. But I am telling you, all of us knowing who our principal is, if Kenneth Okongo has gone to the to the to the his Twitter account to defend this this particular this particular conversation that doesn't need anybody to defend, I am telling you that his career in obedience has, 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 is, is over. Because I don't see anything you are going to, I don't see what you even need to defend. What are you defending? Defending more than what. What has been cost to Nigerians since February 2023, since February 25, till now, greater than what Lucio Olumo and Fanika Yode and uh, the rest of them has done to Nigerians? Who will even give Kenneth Okongo the audacity to go and defend this? What are you defending? Thank you, Yunusa, even denied it. Thank you, Yunusa, the spokesman of APC. The chief spokesman has denied it before him. Okay, I I I, so, I rest my case here. Yeah, what I'm trying to say that the obedient never you be distracted. But this because this thing has no, it doesn't have any basis. Yeah, it doesn't hold any water. It's not more than what we have seen in Nigeria. Thousands and millions of Nigerians that have been killed because of religious problem in the whole of the in the whole of the north. The border was murdered in a in a, in a broad daylight. What has is it not about religion? Somebody was beheaded in Kadu so many years ago. Was it not because of religion? Why should we continue to be apologetic? Why should Christians in Nigeria continue to, to live a life of apologizing every time? Because we believe that our, our faith is, is peace. Even the true Muslims, they preach peace. It's only a few clowns in that community that is causing the problem we have in Nigeria today. So if anybody is talking about religious war, we have been in religious war for since 1960. Since from the time I grew up to become a man, we have been fighting a religious war in Nigeria. So Mr. Ike. From today. Mr. Ike, sir, my, my concern here, sorry that I'm diverting, but all is still relatable, is that do we now, if you check the first title on the screen, is OB betrayed? I wrote that. It's right there on the screen. Yes, I saw it. Yes, I'm not beginning to think very deep. Do we not have people inside the same obedient in the name of obedient or rather a spokesperson that is already being compromised? Because at this particular moment now, Tinubu don't buy everybody finish. I'm telling you, Tinubu don't buy almost everybody finish. So do we not have people in the name of spokesperson, obedient, or whatever a supporter of Peter will be that is still with us, but they are already working with with the opposition. That's why I tell you that in the next seventy-two hours we are going to hear what is actually on the ground. Remember what happened on the flight yesterday? You see that in the car to came out yesterday, they discovered who that person is. It's not yes. that they So, yes. so listen, we know we know what we know what is coming to us. That's why we are prepared. Brother Elvis, every one of us know what is coming to the obedient and this movement and our and our mandate for and our, our mandate. We know what is going to come. You know the people you are dealing with. 
They are dealing with you, you, you give them the best name ever. These are the satanic people that have been the problem of Nigeria. People who don't see anything bad when it favors them. But when it don't favor them, they begin to tell you about one Nigeria. Look, for how long shall we continue to that, you know, to pander to these criminals? The time is over. So if there is any saboteur, if there is a planted agent in obedient movement, even in the high ranking of obedient and obese group and Labour Party, I am telling you that within 72 hours tomorrow, we are going to know what, what is what. Because we have everything you can think about. In regardless, regardless of whatever, uh, for example, if, if anybody can go to Kenneth Okoko's um, uh, Instagram, Instagram page right now, you will see a lot of comments there on the page. People asking him to drop the audio. Why must you bring this audio to a public space? Uh, what is your aim? Uh, even though your right up looks like you're defending Peter Obi, but did you get permission from Peter Obi before you uploaded this audio exactly. in a public place? Exactly. It's there. It's, I'm not the one saying it is there. Go exactly. there now. Anybody is there. He's, he did not delete it. People be asking him to delete it since yesterday. He's there on his Sorry. page. Sorry, Niger Watch. Are you saying it's the one that started the the audio? Are you is that what I'm saying? Yeah, it's the one that is the one that that that, that started that, it. That I don't know if I saw time. the audio it first. Be, it can be. No, it can Pardon? be. It can be the one that first of all no, 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 I don't audio. know. I don't know who started it. Niger Watch was Niger Watch he was responding after the first time came after he came out for the first time. Yeah, that's what I'm he saying. Was he was responding, but he, but he never confirmed Obi before he responded. It was already on air. I'm not interested who started it. My stand is, before you came on air to respond, did you contact your principal? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, we agree with you, brother Elvis. That's why I'm telling you that if he has done that in his Twitter account, and if there is no, if there is no, you know, you know, on knowledge of Mr. Peter Obi, our principal, Kenneth Okonkwo days are gone in the Labour Party and the Obedient Movement. Because he has, he, this, this has nothing, there is no sentiment in this. Anybody who become, who become a conspirator, anybody who become a saboteur in a movement, movement, we are not going to spare that person. Not that we're going to do anything, but that person's political career or his future career would be gone forever in Nigeria. So, uh, I, I, I reserve what I'm going to say now. Until let's watch from that. Uh, Elvis, you have more information more than me. Let's wait from that 72 hours and see if there is nothing coming out from Bishop Oyede Bagam and from our principal's camp. And let's watch what happens according to what you said. God bless you. I leave it for now. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate you. Um, thanks for uh, your submission. Uh, to, to clarify all this, uh, for some of you who is asking, I, I don't, to be honest, I only got to see the audio through Kenneth Okoko, but I don't know how it got out or who posted it first. I, I don't know, you know. So this is the time here. Uh, uh, let me put this on the screen. This is the time Kenneth Okoko posted it. You can see I just 20 hours ago. You know, our attention has been drawn to this. For him to use the word our attention, uh, I was thinking maybe him and uh, our principal, they don't talk already. You know, he tagged Peter Obi several times and all that. And you can see about 812 comments there. Uh, some of the comments right there are asking him, one, they're asking him to delete it. Then two, they are also asking him if he got a permission from Peter Obi to post this. And some of the comments with from that 100 at 812, I also asked telling him that Peter Obi denied this. So, what is your stand now? So, for me, um, like uh, Mr. Ike just said, maybe the next 72 hours we will know where we are coming from or where we are going. But for now, for me, I cannot be distracted. I don't know what is happening. Um, I will urge everybody, consecrated, obedient, right there listening to me right now, or Mr. Peter will be supporter. Please don't be distracted because these people, they started with narrow redesign to distract us. They've tried with several things. Don't be distracted. You know, yes. remember, we are fighting for our future. Exactly. Thank you. 
We are never, we are never going to be distracted by anybody. We are ready for their, we are ready for their, for their, for their machineries. We are ready for their nuclear weapons. We are ready for them. Nigeria, watch tomorrow. Definitely give us pictures. Say, Peter, I'll be go carry a shower very soon. Yes, sir, now, All yes, sorts of things. Yes, now, that's now, the next thing. Yes, now, that's yes. the next. Yes, now. <laughs> oh, they will say cocaine. They, yes. they see cocaine for a bag. Yes, now. Now, 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 watch for for your WhatsApp. Check something there, please. Thank you, sir. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll check it right away now, sir. You know, uh, uh, before I move on to the next person, I'm even happy that you just mentioned uh, about the cocaine. Everybody saw this video, uh, although I cannot really use the word everybody, but some of us saw this video uh, uh, that trained, you know, in the warehouse they found the cocaine in Lagos. You know, till now, let's watch it again. It's a short video. If Nana brother see way to and they see so this cocaine so Peter will be named the dog finish him. <laughs> You're right. Uh, they didn't open this case again, no? Never. No, the case don't close, my brother. It don't close. For Lagos. Not even now, let, now let this one you see. There was one there was one house again, there's no Tramador, one hundred and ninety seven million naira worth a Tramador. Can you imagine? Yeah, one point eight tons, one thousand eight hundred and fifty five thousand kilograms. And you could do warehouse drug, drug, proper drug lord for Lagos. There was lucky on we all, we all know who did this, we all know who's doing it. <laughs> oh. They're not talking the game, my brother, for this thing. The case yeah. died four and seventy eight million dollars. Yes, but what what I'm million. I bet somebody convert 278 million dollars for me for comment session. How much it be for Naira? 278 million dollars. How much it be for Naira? They say they, 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 it's written there now 94 billion, 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 it's a 194 no, billion naira no, for Lagos. No, they said they don't know who no, to watch. No, 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 yes, Please, what is the story behind this story? What is the story behind it? Have they concluded who is behind it? My brother, the story the behind them, I know they say they so. Keep, they find all this, they keep all this cocaine for inside this warehouse. <laughs> for Lagos. Uh, who is behind it? Maybe the story is behind them. I know that story behind them. They, they cover the story now. They cover them up. It's been almost a year now. Oh, I'm okay. Not yeah, it's not recent. Okay. My brother, my brother, might yeah. tell you that a cocaine that worth 194 billion naira. One drop for listen. Remember, say money, money where they give I neck. Now almost uh, how much they give I neck? It cannot be 400 billion. Almost. Yes, yes. 194 billion they find for Lagos. The case that you're close and we don't hear anything we have again for this case. Chapter close now. Only us, in hey. fact, as we they talk about them again now, they're not they happy. As we they play this video now, they're not gonna like them. Hmm. Yeah. Now, wow, yeah. listen, listen, five, five tons of raw cocaine. We have some concealed of field in this. Who was arrested? Who was seeking to court? Who owns it? Listen. 
listen, listen, listen. Well, listen to what this man is talking about. Um, 1.855 tons of raw cocaine. Raw cocaine. Some concealed filled in these 10 boxes and the others shipped in in those drums. I'm sure you if you convert that to Nigerian Naira, you are talking of over 194 billion Naira. 200 billion. And the men you find behind there, they are members of an international syndicate that the agency has been on their trail since 2018. And just lo and behold, a few days, by the grace of God, we were able to track them down to this building. This building, the man, please, I'm not talking to you. This building, it looks unoccupied, but then it's a warehouse for this international cartel. And we're glad that this has brought an end to the operation. That's um, the much you can take except you want to get some clarity. Do you know that information? Okay. Okay. I said from my stream right there, you have um, 69 year old Soji Jibril, an indigenous of Oyo, I mean, but on your state. Next to him is Emmanuel Shuku, 65 year old um, native of Ekulubia, an Anabra state. Then next to him is Wasil Akinade, 53, from Ibadan, also on your state. The man in yellow, Sunday, Ogunta Lure, 53, from Okutikupa, Ondo State. And the man, the Jamaican there is Kevin Smith, 42-year-old native of Kingston in Jamaica. That's indicates you should give um, the NGLA thumbs up because to be able to get to this place, this is a secluded estate in this part of Lagos, you would know that that must have taken a lot of work. With the support, we have to acknowledge the support of um, our foreign counterpart, that's the American uh, Drug Enforcement. All right. Um, information reaching me that, you know, in February 23rd, 2021, this man that was talking just now, his name is called Femi Baba Femi. You know, is the director of media and advocacy for NDELA. You know, he was removed from office after this after this information. You know, this muscle. You know, he was removed. You know, and two, to tomorrow, uh, there's we we don't know the outcome. What happened with this uh drug? We don't know what it happened. And for me, if you ask me, what me think what happened to this uh cocaine? So I will tell you, say the return up give to the original owner. <laughs> that's exactly. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no joke. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Because the, the people where they cash for you our international airport every time. Who they give the drug inside Nigeria? Very sad. Okay. My God. Anyway, let's move on to the next person here. Um uh I think I should take calls. Please bear with me. Let me take calls. I'm sorry. You know, some people have been trying to call in since and some of you that was asking for number, the number is on the screen right now. Call in. Let me hear from every one of you quickly. I want to take uh, at least ten calls. Then we take it from here. You know, let's see the first person that is calling in now, which is uh, Madam Nena. Thank you very much for calling in. Good evening to you, Madam. Please talk to us. Turn down your device, please. I, I, I did already. I just did. I just did. But you're supposed to be on the screen now, Madam. Where? What, what did, they, know, what did I, they do for food? I came out from by the time I came back from church, the screen is already full. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. By the time I came back from church, the place is already full. Yeah, so I just want to I don't know how far you guys have done already, but I know you're talking about the audio recording. Yeah. Okay, so you see that audio recording, eh? Yeah. You Peter be had a conversation with you, you know, from what I get, but it, some part, some some reasonable part of that conversation was removed. You understand? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because they didn't really explain the part because yes, I was I just saw something, you know. Um 
I think it what brought about that conversation. I think there was a place that PW was something like um 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 saying something about the Muslim Muslim ticket. That was what brought about the conversation. The Muslim Muslim ticket. Then PW now made a I said now they are making it look as if it's a religious war. So they cut off that part and kept only the part that said religious war. So they took out. I, I saw the whole the transcription of the entire message of the entire um conversation somewhere, you know. And then you know. So you see this this whole thing is money. We, we one thing we have to understand that we are in the period of propaganda. Mm -hmm. and we are in the era of propaganda. So this is all about propaganda. And like you say, your title said was people be betrayed. Yes, he was. Because from, from what I'm trying, I'm trying to make a little bit of an investigation on this. I think the person that betrayed him is is from what I am getting, we start to be um to be verified, is one Alhambra guy who knows who paid him. Hmm. He was able to like get the thing. So and then they took out a whole lot from the conversations. There's some part of the conversation. You know, one thing anybody that knows Peter B, hmm? yeah. anybody that knows Peter B will know that that man is not a careless talker. Peter B is not a man that talks carelessly. That man is a, a man that he he cannot he doesn't talk carelessly. That is just the truth about it. So a lot of a lot of about the conversation, a lot, a great number of parts of that conversation was cut out, and they did like a lot of cut and join to put what they want to put out there. This is an era of propaganda. That's one thing we have to understand. So that is just what is playing out here. That like uh, the man that was talking, he said, well, "Let's wait tomorrow next, and and we will see the real thing. The, we will see the truth about this thing." But what we heard is not the whole conversation. And what we heard is not how the whole thing started. They cut out the Muslim Muslim ticket part of it. They cut out a whole bunch of things. They just did okay. cut and join. Okay, before you go, uh, sorry, let me quickly put it on. What is your take that mm. Kenneth Okoko, uh, one of the spokespersons for Mr. Peter Obi, came on yeah. air to address it without probably the consent of the uh, of Mr. Peter Obi because Mr. Peter Obi did not accept this audio. But Kenneth Okoko accepted it that that is Mr. Peter Obi. What's your take on that? Um, I, my, my take on that is that he, he's too he's too forward. I don't know who has, has sent him because when this, this is a very sensitive issue. I don't know why he was too quick to come out and make any comment about it. Mm -hmm. This is not this is not the kind of thing I expect someone like uh, Kenneth Okoko to do. Before you have a such a conversation, there are people that this thing involves. You need to sit down and talk with them and then understand where this whole thing because what he's saying that people can just take it as oh yes they accepted it that's what their boss said blah 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 it's unfortunate that uh, kenneth Ogoko had to come out to make that thing as quick as he did i totally condemn it because there are some things you don't just put out there okay like, and very, and very and and uh according to other information we are getting now uh from our followers here saying that because i believe some of them watched mr uh, uh, bishop Oyedepo today and uh, they said uh -huh. he, 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 he denies that there's no such discussion between him and Peter Obi. Now, Kenneth Okoko yeah, came yeah. to confirm all of them yeah. that they, they talked. That's that's my concern. No, the, 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 point, the point the point is this. The point is this. You know, from what I am getting, you know, it just like as me and you they talk now. Somebody mm. that just want to just just want to cross Wahala will take out what brought about our conversation. And they may just pick one part of the conversation. You understand? Okay, but this one, this was a private conversation. Are you telling me our telecom have been compromised as well? I don't know how it leaked. I don't know what it is. But the, but the bottom line is that from, from every indication, there is possibility there was a conversation. But... A, a whole lot of parts of the conversation was taken out. There was a, there's a lot of cut and join in the conversation. That's why you therefore can comfortably tell you I did not have such a conversation with people because what that audio tape represented was not whatever thing conversation that he had probably might have had. I'm just saying probably the whole thing is still under you know okay. trying to get the real thing. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank probably you. Probably might not be the real thing that happened between the two of them. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Let me let me listen to All orders right. right here. All right. Uh, thank you, Mr. Igbe. Thanks for calling in. Please talk to us. Hello. Hello. Good evening to you. Thank you very much for calling in. Please talk to us. Good evening, Mr. Major Walsh. Thank, thank, evening, thank you, my brother. Panelists. Good evening, everybody in the comment session. Good evening, Nigerians. And good evening, the obedience family movement. You see, I just want to make it briefly, my brother, that... Uh, you know, we are wise right from the one. I will still remain wise. We never, we never, we never be that fool. You know, 
I will never be that uh, kind of people that we need to see things that we are. You understand me? If we see are just distracting us one way or the other, just try to distract us, you know, just try to making us, you know, commenting on things that is not relevant so that before we do all these things, it will be arrived May 29th, they, they will swear they are, they are, they are, they are tenable in. You understand me? Yeah. To my own, in this, um, Topic here today, my brother, to my own. I, I don't. If you see what you know, the way first statement of a of a person of a Kenneth Okonkwo, he said, he said, "Our." And you read it more than more than twice. That our notice. When when you say our notice, I'll be draw to this. How many? How many? How many notice. of the day that hour? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. See, just like let me tell you something. Just like as you are right now. You know, a move a family like this. If I am presenting you, or if I am if I am with this family, and something is happening, and one or two, three people among this family have known, we become our. Are you getting it now? It doesn't really compose that we will go straight to you first. That is how it works, you know. Just that's that what I'm saying. How many people included in, in that hour? Because it's not him alone. Problem. Our attention have been drawn yeah. to this. Is Peter will be included yes. there? Yes. When time goes on, we will know. When time goes on, we know. And I want to say something categorically. That there is nothing new, just like what that my uncle, what uncle just said. There's nothing new between this thing that will be just according to them. Me, and I'm not going to, I'm not saying anything that, you know, that I will defend here. If for eventual said Obi was the one who had this communication with uh, with uh, Oyedipo. What is wrong? Obi did not say anything wrong. Or rather, Oyedipo say anything wrong. Right from the one. But the Muslim Muslim ticket has already proved proved that yes, the Christian uh, communities have been put aside. We have no matter. Are you getting it now? As of assembly, that, that is what the uh, was stated in the Twitter handle that we just bring out to our notice. Are you getting it now? It, uh, there is nothing wrong here. But they are just want to distract us so that we just keep on busy talking about things before we know the date we come here. Just like what that man who was shouting obedient. Listen, when I see that obedient, obedient uh, 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 in the train, I mean uh, in the flight, I told my wife, I said, listen, this person that is shouting obedient will not be, not be obedient members. Obedient members okay. is not shot like this. There is no, there is no kudo, there is no a uh, 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 tool of obedient. If, when obedient child, you must have obedient family, obedient movement. This one was saying obedient, obedient. I told her, I said, she said, okay. And to come today, we found that this man was an NPC, strong NPC supporters. They come to this uh, 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 drug uh, uh, video that you just showed us right now. That is how you function in Nigeria. You see what is happening there in that drug issue is to tell you that the people in charge of this drug. That we just see right now. They are the politicians, they are the top leaders of the country. You see where those guys are just feel comfortable because they know that they are not taking them to anywhere because they are down on the top and they, they, are, they, are, they are involved. You understand me? Okay. Now? So that matter and I'll be swept under the carpet. So no, nothing, no, nothing will come out of, out of it. So let us be calm, let us be keep on focus because these people know that. The court will decide. They see the power in the court. That the court is is very difficult for the court to to take side, and the court will go straight to their judge to their to okay. their judgment. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, my brother. Hello, my brother. You don't also be surprised if they sense it that they will cancel the election. They will start to destroy Obi's image right now, awaiting the, the cancellation of this election. It's another yeah, way out why, because the judges must have told them. Well, I is good to go. Yeah, but that's why we all are here, sir, to defend him. You cannot just be destroying somebody's name without no concrete evidence. You know, um, meanwhile, uh, we have Omo Yeskona on the phone. Hello, good evening to you, Omo Yeskona. Thanks for calling in. Please talk to us. Good evening, Mr. Elvis, everyone on the panel. Um, so just really quickly, um, allegedly, uh, the Agbado camp paid the Nigerian uh, uh, communications um what's it called, commission, mm -hmm. some money. You gave them some money so that they can hack into Mr. Peter Obi's um, um, uh, conversations, oh. allegedly. Mm. That's on the one hand. And then the way I see, uh, what's his name, 
the explanation, because I read the explanation that Kenneth Okonkwo gave, mm -hmm. and Kenneth Okonkwo in a bit to explain, he, he shared the video from the original person that, sh that actually made the uh, video available okay. on the Twitter space. So he was explaining that the context of that conversation does not even hold water. In this, and I'm summarizing here, I'm not quoting him verbatim, that this, you know, that you, and I think that some a caller and someone on the panel alluded to where he was talking about, you know, um, to avoid something about war. It wasn't in that context. So that's what he was just breaking it down. No, 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 I, no, no, no. Let me read it. Let me quickly read the headline for you, for you to get that. So that our attention has been drawn to the publication of this of the audio tape of private conversation between private conversation between be, uh, 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 Mr. Peter Obi and Bishop Oyedipo, it is not surprising that these political criminals are trying to spin the conversation as if Obi was making a religious statement. That first paragraph already admitted that it was 100% Peter Obi and Oyedipo that was talking. But he's saying that they want to spin it differently to hurt Peter Obi. Right. Now, the question now right. is, did you yeah. confirm from Oye Dikbo or Peter Obi before you came on air to, to admit right. that these two were involved on this? Now, Oye Dikbo said mm -hmm. there was no conversation like that at all. Peter Obi said right. there was no conversation like that at all. Now, mm -hmm. uh, 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 Kenneth Okwoko admitted that it was Peter Obi and Oye Dikbo, but Satanic APC is trying to spin it around. I don't know if you get it. So that's the problem right now. So it. who gave the right. permission, you know, to Kenneth Okwoko right. to publish this? That's that's the questionable part right. now. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's fair enough. He has to answer that part of it, and it does make sense why people would be upset and you know ask him the question of did you get the consent? You know, I based on that first paragraph, I get it. I understand. I know that everybody is very, very uh, emotional right now. But having said all of this, when we're talking about this whole conversation, to me, it's so insignificant that we're expending a lot of energy on it. But since we have to talk about it, as we are talking about it, can we also pari pasu? Bring up, I'm trying to be like Alex now. <laughs> I'm dropping big, big grammar now. So bring up, <laughs> the crimes that the Agbado party have committed. The fact that they paid bill, uh, uh, millions or uh, billions of dollars to the INEC chairman, who's talking about that? The fact that MC Oluomo came and threatened and actually carried out the threat, what is happening with that? The fact that they've been threatening obedience all over the place and nobody is doing that. Why don't we, yes, as we talk about the fact that he, you know, allegedly, that fake video, because as far as I'm concerned, it was doctored, to be honest, because they have technology now that they can take they can take people's voices and put it together as though they're having a conversation. That is is a, is, is what they're using to do, do damage to people these days. So that video most likely was doctored. It's simple. And okay. they had the, they're trying to get, they're trying to find dirt on Peter B and they're not gonna find it. So when we're talking about Peter Obi and this tape, let's also loud, we should put more focus on all the crimes that Agbado Party is doing and not so much on what just happened. I do not care if they like, let them say they have picture of, uh, of our daddy, daddy wa on top of all in any, on, on top of different women. Guess what? On this rock, now in my stand, Anything where they like, anyhow, their propaganda machine wants to do it. If they like, let them release nude pictures and fake it and say, on Peter Obi, we stand. He's still daddy, whether they like it or not. That's okay, we die here. We go nowhere. Yes, Thank you, Madam Moye. For the crimes. Yeah? No, no. Alex is uh, uh, appreciating you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's put emphasis on about those crimes. And let's, or let's talk about it, but let's call out all the sins that they've been committing. Because when Indicato came, I don't know if you played the video of Indicato. Yeah, yesterday we did. 
Oh, okay. You know, so guess what? Let's be calling, let's be calling them because the blessing that they forget because they know they've lost the election. They are grasping at straws. That's why they're oh, yes, Connor. Please, let me let me uh, let me add to what you are saying. If they like, let them release Obisa's tape. We the more obedient we die here. Oh, yeah, we go nowhere. <laughs> we must go, we must get our mandate. <laughs> Mammy, no care if they like me, they take pictures, say, see him for a year or more. Eh, okay, now so we like him on this mandate. We start, let's loud their sins, let's talk about what happened, but let's increase the vote because even I say that they, they know they hear what let's start to do, bring out all their fields, all the Muslim Muslim ticket, the fact that they slaughtered people in our war. Who, what have they done about it? Agado is on. slaughtering his people for the benefit of the Fulani agenda. He's slaughtering his people, sacrificing his people so that he can be president. He's silenced with all the crimes that the Fulani headsmen are committing on Nigerians. Because of that, there'll be so much kidnapping, so much killing in the West. Let's talk about that. Since they want to go there, let's take it all the way there. Thank you very much. Thank Mr. you. Niger thank, thank you. Thank, thank you so you, much. Darling. Thank you. God bless yes. you. Thank you. All right. Uh, we have uh, our brother here, uh, Mr. F.A. Mr. F.A., are you there with us? Please talk to us. Good evening to you. Yeah. Good evening, Nigerians. Good evening, the panelists. And good evening, the viewers like me. I greet everybody. Hello, Nigel, can you hear me? Would they hear you, my brother? Talk to us, talk to us. Uh, uh, bros, I beg, I wish I want to tell you, I beg. Uh, can I talk to na na I would like to like us. I beg, I did. Move just because you'll be like, the way you also be now. Because you know, you know, one of the struggle with Obides, you understand, like that was. Because uh, uh, Clement Okonko, we know the fact. Since all those who are the fight with the fight to this struggle. Because we don't want to PC company problem at our means. You understand? Know, we just like taking matter easily. You understand? Know, mm -hmm. Because anything made them pretty smart down, obedience is gone. I'm telling you, just like the way you be so. You are one of the strong uh, 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 obedience uh, 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 supporter. You understand? Know, so you you are one of the best obedience uh, supporter. You the feel me so. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So I beg more, more just take it because this man they try and it is is for long now. I've been doing a great a great job. More just take it matter easy because because APC and uh, and all of the they get they get plan. You understand? So when they not come succeed, I beg more okay. just take it matter easy. You are right. Thank you. That sir. that that Thank one. In fact, this will come make so much sense. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. Hello. Yeah. Good evening to you. Your name and where you're calling us from. See, I'm calling from Italy. I'm Nosa Omorodi. Thank you, sir. Uh, Thank my you, brother, sir. Uh, there's something that I've just heard now concerning uh, the the propaganda, uh, Peter Obi and uh, Oyedipo. All these things, you are too big to listen to all those all those things. Understand me? Anything that is happening this time around, you know that it's a thing that they want to use to to bring uh, Peter Obi that. After all, we know what you, you know the fight you are fighting. People must be against the fight you are fighting. So all these things just commonalize it, and instead of you to put it on every exercise on it all the every time, so it's not fair. People will be taking advantage advantage of it. Please, Mr. Elvis. Okay, so we shouldn't we shouldn't should discuss it, every, right? Mm, I know, but do you know you are a fighter? Do you know that you are you are you are you are, you are a power to the po to the to the to the poverino in uh, in Nigeria? You give them power to be in obedience move this time around. If not this your platform, myself, I'm not a particular to any 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 political something. Since when I started listening to to your platform, there I my mind, you know, I just concentrate to say, ah God, is this a person that holds this platform to leave this platform? without money and you continue to emphasize on everything that is going wrong in Nigeria, please. Okay, sir. Don't but be, one thing you must don't, understand, don't the reason why we must discuss this, sir, you know, we cannot allow everything to slide. These people, 48 hours ago, they brought out a lunatic 
to create chaos inside the flight. And the man was at the same time calling on obedient, obedient, obedient. We need to debunk these things. Now, within the 48 hour space, they came out with this audio of a thing. Our principal denied it. Oh, yeah, the board denied it. So we need to also deny it here. If I if I pay deaf ear to it, it's not nice. I know, I, I know, Mr. Elvis, but when you emphasize it on a uh, little, then you leave the rest and they are sick. You know, just face what you are doing. You know, all this thing that is going on, and these are blackmailing. I just love one more year for what he just said. This is what I was about to say before. You know, you know, Keneto Konko, I know that man is, uh, is um, he's just like you. You understand me? And you are, you, you, you hold the night. You, Another you thing the, about Keneto Konko, right? now is that who knows because he needs to come out who knows if his account was also hacked that's another area we should be expecting exactly yeah of course of course it's possible i know, I know. you know money, money is the root of all evil you know there are some people who love money no matter what they say like this man i call uh call this avocado uh avocado what i don't know what they call him that's a useless like father lord hack have mercy on me you know that speaker that uh that, that speaker of apc you know that man have been fighting to Nubu for years but definitely for money issue he switched to his own okay way. thank you, you know, sir. I, so with this reason, I know you must surely, you must surely reason with us. for Thank all you. these things we are doing now. We are doing it for the benefit of Nigeria. But whoever black male will be, that person will never find he will find himself to blame in the sight of God. Thank Honestly you. speaking, God bless you, like this, this man will find himself to blame. Thank all you. I want to, why I just called. Something is going to happen between 20 to 29. The Nigeria will shock the whole Nigeria. Thank you. Thank you, sir. you. God bless you, sir. Thank yeah. you. If I have to address this, please, my people, you guys should get this right. I don't have anything against Kenneth Kokwa. In fact, I have private conversation with Kenneth Kokwa. But we need to say it how it is. You get me? For example, if I did not talk about this audio now, some of you will blame me that. Oh, Niger Watch is just one way supporting Peter will be when something that looks wrong about Peter will be, don't want to talk about it. You know, at the moment now, we need to be sure first. With I promise you, in the next 48 hours, Kenneth Okoko will come out to talk about if it was the one that published that audio and why. Okay, even though he's not the first to publish it to the public, but if he published it by saying, I saw somebody. Committee earlier on that the first conversation Kenneth Koko was not admitting that uh you know listen that's it right there let me read that first conversation the first paragraph for you again maybe I'm not getting it right or you are not getting it right but let's see a lot of people are watching and we have one thousand people watching us you know one thousand thirty four people watching us across right now okay let's see. Our attention has been drawn to the publication of this audio tape of private conversation between Peter Obi and Bishop Oyedepo. It is not surprising that these political criminals are trying to spin the conversation as if Obi was making a religious statement. Spin. Sir, you are defending that first paragraph. You, everybody go school now, you know. They are trying to spin the conversation. It means you have admitted that at least, or for the first place, there was conversation. Uh, uh, Bishop Oyedipo said there was no conversation. Mr. Peter Obi said there was no conversation. So they are trying to spin the conversation, the conversation, the conversation. Get that right. The conversation. As if Obi was making a religious statement. So in that first paragraph, except I'm the only one getting it wrong because one particular person in the comment section is saying that no, they cannot to up right. He have already, he, you know, uh, uh, admitted. Uh, 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 sir, listen to me. Yes, sir. You know, in most cases, when you have your trusted lieutenant, I know this is a very sensitive time for a, a Labour Party. When you have your trusted lieutenant, at times you tell him there are some sensitive things you know I cannot do. Once it comes in, you you should know you know I cannot do it. 
then you should respond. The only place where we are having pause here now, or where I will say let us pause, is for him to say they and we. That we he, he has used, it, it has been a multiple years. That is what he's trying to tell us. So, for what we will do, please, let us focus on how to I mean, continue to debunk what these satanic people are bringing. Papa didn't say, uh, our principal never said, and never discussed anything. Let us debunk on that one, and let's leave the remaining one for labor and uh, 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 being a Kenneth to come up with the nearest within the next for data, like you said. Let's give him that uh, benefit of that to he hear from him later. Please, let's continue with our okay. other important conversation. All right, please. Uh, yeah. my, my, my concern here, my concern here is that one, uh, our attention have been drawn to this. I would like to know how many people included in that hour, in quote, how many people inside that hour. Uh, Elvis. Elvis, can I say something? Elvis, if I may come in, you know, okay. Patricia speaking. Hold on, hold on, Mother Patricia. Hold on, hold on. Let uh, Mr. I quickly say this. I'll come oh. to you. Mr. I, you wanted to say something. Go ahead. Yeah, um, do you know why? Do you know why B2B will say do you know why B2B and your Yodobo will deny this? Because based on what the call of the first lady that called told you, if there was a conversation that took place between these two two honorable gentlemen and there was something that was taken out of that conversation legally they will tell you they will deny that they will deny the conversation because it now becomes a legal matter you understand what i'm trying to say yeah. so if this conversation took place but on this audio now if the big camp and the other people camp discover that from their conversation a lot of things was taken away there was no way they could they, they are going to take they could have, they will accept that this day that that conversation took place because now it becomes a legal matter because you are taking something out of context so they cannot they cannot claim ownership of that but when the whole when the whole component of that conversation is fixed together they can claim now that that, that was their conversation because by then the truth will be revealed but as it is okay. right now we don't know the beginning and the end of that and conversation the end. yes exactly okay and if i have to respond to what mother rita just said right now to me uh in the next 48 hours, we will know if Kenneth Coco's account was hacked because normally he shouldn't, if there was no go ahead from Mr. Peter Obi, he shouldn't have responded to that audio at all. And meanwhile, the reason why I'm thinking that his account was hacked because a couple of messages, sorry, a couple of responses from that for, for that audio on his page are saying that he should bring down that audio and he's not responding to any of them. That means there's every probability that that account was hacked. Remember, Kenneth Tokoko have put in, in a lot of efforts, you know, in throughout this campaign. You know, one, we would we will not be happy if they are trying to use him against us. Two, I'm not sure Kenneth Tokoko can open his eyes and fight against us. But we are human beings. We don't know. But let's wait for the next 48 or 72 hours to know the in-depth of this whole scenario. But let me pick one or two calls and come to Mother Patricia quickly. Hello, good evening to you, your name, and where you're calling us from. Hello? Hello, good evening. Good evening, madam. Talk to us, your name, and where you're calling from. Uh, this is Oluchi. I'm calling from Ireland. Thank you, Madam Oli. She talked to us quickly. Okay, so number one, I think that that conversation that uh, uh, that it, it, that is being spoken about now, yeah. there's no point dragging it. Like, th there's nothing there. That like, it, 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 there's nothing. There's nothing there. It's it's baseless. It's good that you're talking about it because the uh, opposition wants to make a case for me, but they know there's nothing. To, there's no case to make. And again, the fact that uh, Kenneth Okonkwo has replied, I don't say anything wrong with what Kenneth Okonkwo did. In fact, I, in fact, I applaud him. He did excellent. I don't, yeah, you might say, oh, he shouldn't have responded without really talking to Peter before. I mean, Tunubu's cap, nobody hears from Tunubu. Tunubu can't even talk anything reasonable. And they go ahead and make up things for him and say he said, and they, they just... But that is why, that, that is why they have a very high... 
a high bad reputation today. Hello? I said that is why Tinubu camp have high buy reputable status. Yeah, I know that's why he has a bad yeah, yeah but, but we don't want to be in that position. Tinubu. Like he's our he's our he's one of our main soldiers. We don't need to uh, like uh, castigate or die try to open up and try to say maybe they should remove him or add him. No, 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 no. What he did was excellent. If there was a conversation, he tried to defend it. He wanted to be, I think he wanted to be on top of the game. Like because these people want to use it to spoil our base, although they can't. They like, cannot there's they can bring up about Obi that can make us change our mind or begin to think. I've heard a lot of things and there's, my mind is not shaking. Thank so you. I think that they're just, they're just, what I feel is that they know, in my spirit, I believe that that election will be cancelled. That's the best thing the judges will do. They will cancel it. That's if they don't want to hand over or demand it to be because if they do, they might have also a chaos. So they, they know that that election will be cancelled. Thank you, so now that they're, Thank you, madam. They will not be doing any campaign, campaign. So they need to spoil obese uh, image so that they can reduce obese supporters. But they are wasting their time because even the people that voted them, mistakenly or foolishly voted them, will be voting Obi this time around. And those that stupidly wasted their votes with that people will bring it back to Obi. So we're going to win them with more than we did before. So what they're doing is just um, damage cause. They're trying to see how they can discredit Obi and spoil people's mind. Tomorrow they'll bring out another thing and bring out more. Even the Kenyan Togo doesn't need to come and say if he said or if he didn't say. And that's I'm concerned. I'm okay with that tweet. So people might not like it. Yeah, but Thank you. yeah, it's okay. That's my own point. Thank you. Thank you very Thank you much, so much, madam. Thank, Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank yeah. you. All right. Uh, um, Ms. Tell me uh, information from you. I don't know you you have. Uh, somebody on my Facebook 48 minutes ago just post Vanguard, the Vanguard newspaper. I don't know if you have it already, maybe. Um, where he said that the, if I can read it for you, if I can read it to the panel, what Vanguard would be saying on the page. Yeah. The, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 election B2B has distanced himself from a purported audio recording of a telephone conversation between him and the presiding bishop of living faith, Bishop David Ojedepo. According to Mr. B2B, the audio recording is a product of the endless forgeries peculiar to the All Progressive Congress. All right. Uh, you know, is that one from Vanguard, sir? Yes, from Vanguard. Yes. I wish. Can you post that on the on the private chat, please? Um, let me try it uh, on on WhatsApp, right? Because I don't. I'm not too much good with the com com oh, 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 yeah, that is true. Okay, okay. I uh, I will see if I can I can search it out myself. You know. Meanwhile, let me quickly hear from Madam Patricia. Uh, I think Madam well, Patricia, are you still with us? No, Mother Patricia left. Oh no, so sad that she wanted to say something earlier on. Okay, Mother Patricia, can you just call in? I really want to hear from you. I don't know how you logged out, you know. Uh, okay, now your space nice CM tick. So <laughs> all right. No, no, Wala. I will I would like to um take only one more call, then come back to the panelists. Hello, yeah. Good evening to you. Your name and where you're calling us from. Yes, my name is Lucy. You know, I'm calling from London. Thank you, madam. Talk yeah, to us. Um, yeah, about the Toby, uh, this uh, voice message. This is a dotted message. Everybody knows Peter B, how he spoke. He's a very, very decent man. He doesn't speak stupid way like others. So these are the things we got to understand, put our consideration, not for we to go further by this. APC, they are drama queen. They do anything they want to do. I said they win election. They declare them at night, people sleeping. Just like the Bible said, you come to steal in the night, everybody's asleep. So who are you complaining to? Now, you you said you win election. You're supposed to be happy, but they are sad. You say you win election. You are easily protesting that people should congratulate you. You say you win election. And you are the one making propaganda everywhere. So one thing we got to understand about this Nigeria, and especially this one man called Jagaban, we need to forget about these people and focus on them, all the demons 
He's a drug addict. He's a drug dealer. He's a money lender. It's everything. Those hands we will need to use against them because the enemy come to steal at night, to destroy and to kill. Do they care? They don't care. All they just want to destroy. So what we need to focus and harm them, for the evidence against them, that's what we should be discussing with. Not with all this nonsense, foolish, adopted recording and so called. So we got to respect Thank it. Be, he denied that he didn't say it. So we should just forget about it. Thank you. About, uh, yeah, about uh, Koda to Konkwo. You guys know that sometimes we do things without taking permission for people. If you take permission for B before, he tweet that. If he starts the he own tweet handle, he should have said, okay, my boss, this is what we heard. So did you do it or not? And when he said no, he shouldn't have even gone to the Twitter page to do anything. So please, we know that these people are terrible, terrible people. So let us end this Thank issue you. and move on and focus on the issue of the wicked one who tried to destroy Nigeria, using us against each other. We are one. We are Nigeria. Everybody is holding one passport. So what is the difference of Yoruba? No, we have more than 200 languages in Nigeria. So we should believe that we all are Nigeria, whether they like it or not. Nigeria is one. We hold one passport for crying out loud. OK. What is the difference? Thank you. Thank you. So Thank you, my brother. God bless thank, you. Thank God you, God bless you for your good work. God Do bless you. Do you know you give a lot of people hope? A lot of people are crying that they, they lost hope for Nigeria because of your good work and the hope you have given to the less privileged and others. That's why people are still have belief in Nigeria. So keep on your good work God and forget you, about this propaganda case. Thank, thank you, you, my so brother. Much. God thank bless you. you. God bless you too, madam. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, hello. Good evening to you. Your name and where you're calling us from? Hello. Hello, madam. Good evening to you. Your hello. name and where you're calling from? Uh, good evening, bros, and thanks for all you do. Um, my name is Florence Iyoha, and I'm calling from the U.S. in Houston, Texas. Okay. Talk to us, madam. I just, yeah, I did send you some stuff, but like everybody have said, let's forget about what they are putting out there. Rather, let that not give us sleepless nights. Okay. Let's smell on their face what they have done okay hello yeah we can hear you we are listening oh okay how You're, many of us are talking you are know. you are watching me from your tv you must turn that completely off turn your tv off if possible take it to oh. the kitchen okay <laughs> off your <laughs> off off your tv <laughs> Okay, it's off. Okay, go ahead. I say thank you and all the panelists and everybody just contributing. It's, that's an awesome job you are doing, bros. Thank you. Uh, thank like you. everybody has said, let this, what they are put, doing there, not give us sleepless nights. Let's not talk about it. Rather, let us use our tech server knowledge to give them sleepless nights because they are analog politicians. Just keep spending on their face what they have done. Can you, I said to something, how much legal state is owing? They have borrowed, hmm. uh, despite the resources that, that they say they, they accumulate. So those are the things we need to be talking about, not what they are talking, because everybody knows that they are wounded lions and they can't do anything. But let's concentrate on the facts that we know, that Thank will you. continue to haunt them, and they will have sleepless nights. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, madam. God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now call us, everybody. Your whole door not big. And some people send me some stuff. Give me opportunity to check this while I give opportunity as well to my panelists. But before that, somebody on the comment section, because I use one eye, the low comment section, not everything that they see there, though. As, as Zipora O. Yes, I can see you are defending Kenneth Okoko. Same here, I'm defending him. In fact, you are defending him because he's, he's a public uh, speaker for all of us. But I want to let you know that, yes, I defend him because we talk privately almost all the time here uh on my phone let me put it like that so but one thing you must understand is this if you have been following me for so long i've said it on this my platform so many times that please if you love me show me love but when i'm doing something wrong and you are still telling me you love me you are fake <laughs> please 
I've told everybody that I've been following me for the past couple of years, and I've talked about it for the past couple of years that whenever I'm doing anything wrong, please draw my attention to it because I might not even be aware. I might not notice that I'm doing something wrong. And you are still applauding me. Naja was, Naja was, you're too good. And I'm doing something wrong. Please draw my attention to it so that I can learn. That's why I'm a human being. We are not criticizing anybody here. We are talking. We are being natural. So I want you to understand that, okay? Uh, Kenneth Okoko uh, have a reputable name, not just because he supported Peter Obi. He have built that name for years. And we almost respect that. But the question right now is that who knows if his account was hacked? We will know that in the next 48 hours. Or that's minimum, maximum 72 hours. I promise you I'll bring it here. Thank you. So let me go back to the people on the panel. Um, now, before I come to... Uh, okay, I have two people before Mr. CM. Okay, let me give opportunity for give us our mandate. We give us our mandate. I called you before, though. I don't know where you go. You need to explain yourself first where you go before you start talking. Good evening to you. Talk to us. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone, depending on your location and where you're watching from. Uh, the comment section, the panelists, um, we greet you all. Hope everyone is having a nice weekend. Um, and then believe that everyone is enjoying their, enjoying their time, getting ready for tomorrow. I mean, you still have some couple of hours to enjoy yourself. Um, Mr. Ninja Watch, hope you're doing okay. I'm good, how many, I'm how many, how many wrap of starch did you did you eat today? Now me suppose to ask you, you wait they not see. You they ask me where you go, where you go, where you go eat. <laughs> okay. I have to attend to some other things uh, quickly. But I mean, thank you for the good work that you've been doing. Um we thank appreciate you, all of good your effort and everything. Um good to be here again. Um we are still on this um on this fight, um, regardless of what APC and the um leaders um do we'll just see, keep uh, keep keeping on until the mandate is delivered to the nigerian people because the nigerian people are the owners of the mandate peter obi is only representing us as a leader he's a he's a he's a president elect he's the one that nigerian chose only that some people are trying to steal the mandate they just is a borrowed mandate which they have to return back when the time is come. So let's keep focus, let's keep pushing, let's keep driving. The mandate will be released to the rightful owner, and the all eyes on the on the judiciaries to do the right thing. Um, George, um, Olukayo Day, um, we are looking at you. So we believe that you've had in the couple of days from Nigerians and you be doing the right thing when the time comes. Um, basically, on this um, all uh, doctored, um, whether doctored audio tape or not. Um, you just said now, if you're if you're doing the wrong thing and people don't tell you, then they are not your good friend. Now, my question to you is: if if you talk to Connect Konko, maybe you don't have enough, enough time to probably talk to him before you come on here. Did you try reaching him to make some inquiry about what is going on on the doctor video? What did you get out from him? Did you reach out to him? Oh, I see this. We hear this. What can you say about this whole thing? Did you try making any of that inquiry? Mr. Evie, that's a question for you. Oh, no, 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 I didn't. Okay, so, uh, well, if you did not, then I think we ourselves should probably should not castigate or probably throw Kenneth Okonko into the fire because now we must understand that even though we have people that are obedient, you must also understand that they are Nigerian force before they are obedient. And so what Tunumbu and APC is holding is the mandate of the Nigerian people, even though in court those Nigerians are obedient. And so one thing that I, I think Indica will probably, and I'm not saying I'm, I'm perfect or maybe no more than her, but I think she would have armor on the Arise um, people that were, that were interviewing her yesterday is that, because they keep saying obedient, obedient, obedient. These are Nigerians. They, were, they are forced Nigerians before they are obedient. And so if, if any obedient, maybe go on social media to um, deal with the APC uh, street dogs, 
they have the right to do that because they are fighting for their man, they are Nigerians. And what is stolen from them is their rights, is their mandate that was stolen. And so they are forced obedient before they are Nigerian, uh, before they are, they are forced Nigerian, before they are obedient. So nobody should talk about whether one obedient is doing something. They have the right to fight for what they are fighting for. And so I, I'll bring that to Kenya to Concord now. Although we might have said, oh, maybe did he reach out to Peter or did he make inquiry? Did he find out from him? And now you're even saying that maybe make excuse for him. Maybe his, his account was even hacked. But listen, sir, the way that Kenneth O'Connor reacted may possibly be the same way we all we, we react. Because now, an average Nigerian that is behind Peter will be. You don't even want to see anything, anything that comes near that name, Peter Obi. You don't want to see any dent that comes near that name, Peter Obi. Talk more people now saying, uh, is a doctored video, is it this, is it that? I mean, if you're better than somebody, you are better than them. This man is better than Tunumbu. Better, you, 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 if you're better than somebody, you know you are better than them. So he will not even engage them in this um, Ula Balu cry that they are crying all around. APC people are just, they are crying babies. You know, when it's just like somebody, somebody they, 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 they are just all over the places trying to do like damage control, trying to still stick their neck out there. Like I said, they see have a neck. Their neck is gone already. They don't have any neck anymore. Peter Obi has, he, 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 he beats them to arms down. Labour Party beats APC arms down. PDP is even dead. So, I mean, for us, I think we should not even bother out ourselves about all of this. Uh, dog. If we talk about this thing for maybe 20, 30 minutes, I think that's, that's we should focus our attention on things that are, that are more cogent. The court case, illegitimate, illeg having illegitimate presidents, what would that do for Nigeria? When you have you have uh, two bad orange oranges and then you have one good one and they are saying oh we want to go with this bad one do they understand what that will do to their to them we should talk about uh, uh, what what are the what are the implications of, of having a bad of having a bad president or having an illegitimate president a drug lord as a pre we should talk more about that put them out there don't let this thing die then we come i don't say we should, I, i'm not saying that we should not talk about this but when, when once we talk about it, maybe for a few minutes or hours, let it go. We will see for you to, to know that obedience are intelligent. Right here on Niger Watch, things will be going on. People are making, people are doing research. People are pulling up things for you, and they are trained. That is how sophisticated the the the, the obedience are. I mean, somebody went on the plane to go mess himself and his family up. Before you know it, less than twenty four hours, his information was out there. It was the obedient that went to seek that went to fish him out and say, This guy, he doesn't, he's not one of us. It's not police, it's not one of us. Police deal with him. That is how imagine you have someone like Dr. C. M. here, you have uh, Mr. Haik here, you have uh, Yes Corner, Madam Rita here, you have uh, Mr. Mr. Edwin here, intelligent people, and then one uh, APC agro come and talk to you and say uh, they are sticking this, they are dangling this uh, nonsense before you and you are. We, we can't we can't go the away, man. We are too big than them. You have it. Do you know how many intelligence people that are that are fully obedient all over the world? All over the world. Men with with character, competence, and compassion with love. So APC, I mean, I'm a w i am mean, I was born and raised in Southwest. I'm a Southwest person. All of these that Tunumbi is playing, that's a that's that's a shy, that's it, and the APC is already they are they, they are just being child, they are being childish. They are just being charged. They are just, they are just, they are like toothless bulldog. They have been on the 25th and on the 18th. Banebo beat uh, some some Olu in Lagos. Obi beat Atiku and uh, Atiku and all of the other people. Beat Tunumbu arms down. The only thing Tunumbu could do is to go uh, to go talk to Yakubu. And Yakubu gave Tunumbu stolen mandates. And they are trying to cover up the solo mandates. They will do every. You, do you think they will just relax? They will just. They will not relax. They will do everything possible. They can even tell you that Peter will be, for example, even bring knife, want to stab him, stab CM. When we all know that it's, 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 it's a lie. If somebody is good, the man is. If the man is good, the man is good. 
if the man is bad, the man is, we know who Tunumbu is, we know who, we know who Peter Obi is. So there is just, they are two different in entirely. So my fellow brothers and sisters, Pretorius Nigerians all over the world watching us, whether the video is doctored or not doctored, I don't care about what they do. Obedience, we are, we are stuck here, here we stay until we get the mandate. It is the mandate of the world, not even the mandate of Nigerians now. Do you know how many West African people, not even only West African, all over the world, do you know how many people want Peter Obi? How many people all over the world want Peter Obi? So for me, I think we should talk more about having an illegitimate president, having a drug lord, show more of that drug case in Lagos. This one that Songulu is crying all around. Songulu, do you know that after the election, they, was supposed to, they were supposed to pay somebody 5 million naira, one of the people that we have mal, mal, malandued during NSAS. After the election, Songulu said allegedly he, would, he, would, he was not going to pay that money. He will not pay it. Because he has also stole election, he has stole a mandate like his father. So we should call this, we should call them out. Let's even talk more about even by the ball. What is happening about the case in Lagos? Because I'm not hearing I'm not even hearing. Let's not give them, let's not give them sleepless nights. Since they know how to they do how to show propaganda, we will bring out true stories. How they stole the mandate, how their father is involved in drug. How he's, how he's been holding Lagos State for, for the past 24 years, we keep showing and how he stole this election because this must not die down in the minds of Nigeria. They are trying to do all of this so that you and I can probably shift focus. No, we will not shift focus. Let's keep saying it. Let's keep bringing it to, the, to, the, to, the, to the ear, to, to the attention. What will it mean, what will it mean to you Nigerians if you have an illegitimate president, more so a drug lord, Someone that forged certificate on, on, on the real certificate of that person in, in Chicago is a female. We don't know if Tunumbu is an amorphodite. He has to come prove it, prove himself. More so, he stole, he stole a man. So for me, obedience. Let's keep focus. Let's talk more about the case in court. Let's bring this out more there. What uh, protests do we have all over the world going out? Thank you. What are we doing? Because these guys, before they throw anything, ah, obedience, research, research is everywhere. People are pulling their... Do you know how many of uh, 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 MCO Lua more information is, is out there online? All of those things are there so that they, they, can, put them, they can put them where they belong. And be, like I hear now that even UK is already is about to sanction them. They've not smelled... They are, they are about to smell the coffee, how the coffee is going to taste. So, my people, we are, for me, I believe we are doing well. The case is in court. We'll see how this whole thing pans out. There's a, there's a, there's a protest coming up in the, in the United States by the obedient movement. This one is going to happen right in front of White House. So, this is the mandate of Nigerians that this guy stole. So, he had to return it back. And we are not castigating him. It's just that he cannot be our president. A drug lord that is known to the world. He cannot be our president. It's not about tribe. It's not about religion, it's about character, it's about competence, it's about, it's about compassion, it's about capacity, it's about love. What can you do for the people? 24 years, you have held down Lagos State like a feeding bottle. You have to let it go. Now imagine if this man become a president of Nigeria. Then you and I, you may, you may, you may even pay for the air you are breathing. Let's put this more out about Tunumbu. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um... My brother, I appreciate you. Thanks for your uh, wonderful submission. I appreciate you. Thank you. All right. I would like to hear from the next person right here. Uh, who is the next person? I think it's, it's Busy Brains. Uh, yes, it's Busy Brains. Uh, Busy Brains, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, thank oh. you, thank you. Okay, uh, please join. talk to us, madam. Good evening yeah. to you. Good evening, no, Mr. Niger Watch. Honestly, kudos to you. More grace to your elbows. And may God continue to keep you and grant you more grace to do what you are doing. Thank and you, well, thank you. Amen. Good evening, my able panelists. And I've been so... Um, I, he, listening to each and every one has been very enlightening. And the panel, I mean, the comment section and all those watching or listening, good evening to you all. You see, what what is going on right now? These um, devilish people, 
They are carrying out a massive psychological operation on the Nigerian masses. What is happening now is pure propaganda in its highest form, and they are not going to relent. They are going to use every tool available within the um, propaganda sp um, sphere and try and throw it at the obedience. And what that tends to do is to target us emotionally. It will get us to react in an emotional way. And you know, when we react emotionally, we do not make the right judgment. I just want to use this opportunity to call on the obedience to be calm under this propagandist onslaught because they would keep coming with it. You understand? What they are trying to do, they're trying to create a narrative out of this um, um, doctored um, audio that is flying about. You see, what they are trying to do is like, um, as a student of mass communication, there is a word that they say, um, magic bullet theory. What they are doing right now is using, trying to identify, um, get an idea into the mind, into the psychic of the Nigerian populace against Mr. Peter Obi. We have, this is a man that has won the hearts of the people. And the only way they can target him so that he, he, we will start hating him is to target those things, those ideals about him that makes us to love him. Because what they are trying to show us is like he is a hypocrite. He's a pretender. He's not who he claims to be. But like um, Omoya and the other person said, whatever you want to, let, let us put, bring a picture of him on, a, on another woman. It is Peter will be we want no matter what is going to happen. So they are planting this idea of him being a religious bigot. And it is not going to end there. Just want to let the obedience know that they will come, there will be more onslaught on our psyche. And those onslaught on our psyche will get us to react in, 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 in emotional ways. You see, because they could, they could not get us to act in the way they've been trying to control us to act. They've gone to they've gone to hire actors, actors like you said. You called the the, the man a name. You, I I just I laughed. You said a what a, a something fool. I can't remember how you put it. The actor on the on the plane. That miserable man. They cannot get a. They cannot get us to act in the way that they expect us. So they had to go and pay somebody to go and do it because they are trying to rile us emotionally. My fellow obedience, please, if you hear this, let us do this. Whenever Fanny Kokus, that, that stupid chameleon, that was, I stammer when I'm very angry, so bear with me. <laughs> that man called FFK and his cohorts, all those pundits, those those talking, those uh, uh, attack dogs that Tinubu has got lined up on the Twitter Twitter fair or online wherever they are. Let us own them. Once they come out, yeah, with any stupid narrative, we don't even need to go and insult them or say anything. Let us use that their same page and post the crimes of their ogre. Let us post all the evil that they have done. We should not even say anything. Or if we cannot do that, let us just put LP75, LP. That is, the, that is our reaction. That should be how we should react. We should be in control of our emotions because they are trying to target us and they are going to come at it. It will be more. There will be more coming. They will do things to rile us. Look at those kind of comments that that, that uh, Amoiba comes out to spew out of his mouth. That Amoiba, whatever he's funny, whatever. When he, whenever he writes, when he reads, he, you will see my, my, I'm sure I'm not the only one. It gets me so riled up that I feel if he's in front of me, something is, somebody, one of us will land in hospital. 
So instead of doing that, it is to control that emotion and just put LP under that statement or put all the crimes that his ogre has done, the amaphrodite that he is or whatever, he, till he comes and clear his name. Whatever he says, let us put let us just be putting those things under their timeline. Let us just be posting it on their timeline. Whatever they want to say, whatever they say against our principal, we do not care. Let us just bombard them with the crimes that their principal has committed and they are committing with the with 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 with, with, with what they've done and their words that they've used. We should put it back to them. These people are evil. The question now is. Um, I know that uh, Mr. Pitt, uh, our principal has come out from what I, I've not, I've heard it from you that he's come out to debunk it. And from what um, um, uh, Mr. Ike is saying about he can debunk it if it is taken out of context or doctored. I heard somewhere that there is a, that it is a fact that, well, that the, the conversation most likely happened. However, it was not the conversation in its entirety that was put out there. It was doctored. The question now is, we know that if, if, so if, if it did happen, we know that our, doctor, our principal will not put it out there. And we know that um, Bishop Oyedepo will not put it out there. And from all understanding, it was a direct line. It was a direct call. Which means it can it is not an encrypted call, so it can easily be um, hacked. So who hacked it? It is a criminal offense. It is an offense to hack in, in people's conversation and put it out there. You understand? Which 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 comes to tell you that our principal is very clean. God bless this man because the way they are looking for dirt on him, they are looking for dirt, you know, they are looking for anything that would just stick on him, but they are struggling to find it, that they have to go to extreme lengths. And even at that, it, they are failing woefully, woefully. Anyway. I had so much to say, but I feel I just have a bit of a freeze. I hope I'll get more time later to speak. I rest my case for now. Thank you. All right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Busy Brains. Thanks for your submission. Uh, God bless you. I can see uh, we have a couple of scores. Before I come back to CM, uh, let me see if I can pick one or two calls. Hello, sir. Um, Mr. Chris, thanks for calling in. Please uh, uh, turn down your device, Mr. Chris. Talk to us. Good evening to you. And good evening. I've done that. My name is Chris. I'm calling from Dublin. Can you hear me? Yeah, very clear, sir. Go ahead. Yes. Um, to me, concerning this audio recording, I, I'm just kind of surprised the way we are taking it. For me, it's a very big celebration because all this while, I've been very, very kind of afraid that they will come up with something to tie down our principal. If this is all the best they can come up with. So we need to celebrate Peter B. Because it's not easy for somebody to go through the political atmosphere in Nigeria for eight years. And after that, he served in the other government. And all they can come up with is this gibberish and this garbage. I think we all should be celebrating. We should be celebrating these feats. This man is an extraordinary man with all the allegations that he has filed in his petition against not any other person, but a, an inex select uh, president in waiting from the ruling party with all the information, the DSS and everything, all the arsenal in their disposal. If this is the best they can come up with, come on guys, we should be celebrating. It's just one clear evidence that our principal is as clean as clean. The other thing I was even afraid, I wanted to see how Obidati is going to react. But I've looked at all his tweets. Obidati has been reacting perfectly. You read his tweet, his tweet is even better than those of us that are obedient. So in my view, we should be celebrating this. I don't know why we are taking it this way, we are taking it. 
This is the best they can come up with. It's just, they are just only doing this because they know the case against Tinubu is so much. They just want to use this to kind of persuade the minds of the people in the north. They already know that most likely the election is going to be canceled. What they are even fighting for now is that Obi should not be sworn in, but we go for a rerun. That's what they are even fighting for. They forgot that even if the rerun comes, Tinubu is not going to be qualified to take part in that rerun because the allegations the lawyers of Obi has dug up against Tinubu, the allegations are just too much. So come on, guys, let's celebrate. There's nothing to be worried about. We don't need to be dejected. It's victory. This is the best they can come up with. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chris. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. Um, Mr. CM, thanks for joining us. But before I come to you, I want to ask, uh, today, nobody bought me a coffee. What happened? Nobody. Not even one person bought me a coffee today. Is it because I didn't ask? You know, um, and for the lights. Can we take the lights further? We have, although those of you that have lights, I want to say thank you. And I know, say when it comes to lights, I'm very, very greedy. <laughs> so I don't want, I don't want to lie on this. I'm happy with the light that I'm seeing, but I want to get more. Please press on the like button. You know, we currently have 414 likes. You know, and we have 790 people watching us across. And uh, on Nigeria was alone. Let me see. 536 people watching us there so please press on the like button god bless you all thank you and uh Sorry. buy us a coffee god bless you all please hold on sir hold on i already picked a call uh, madam ellen please talk to us quickly good evening to you good evening good thank evening sir niger watch thank you madam i have talk been following the whole day and watching what is unfolding you know like i i chatted i said our daddy is excellent and full of glory so they looked for everything that they can do and they can't find nothing. But don't trust me, they will keep doing so. But not to worry. This is, um, I mean, this is just um, like a child's play. These guys are drowning. So they are looking for who to drag down with them. But unfortunately, the person they are trying to get you put potter potter on is too clean. And the guy is too clean. Maybe they, they, they just go home and sleep. The more they are trying to make, make, make a mess of it, the more they are making a mess of themselves. The more they are exposing their ignorance. The more they are exposing their, I mean, the fact that these are just, um, you know, lineup of non-entities. What do you expect? You don't expect much from that camp, the camp of APC. The same camp that, I mean, while the world is moving on, you understand why the world is moving on we are going backward please let's not dwell on this drama this is just um like a, a, a maybe a, like a primary school children putting up something for a show for their kind this is not for us this is absolutely not for us we know it is doctor whether it's doctor or not doctor who cares Thank i you. don't blood care really i don't it's just unfortunate for some days i've been timing to join the panel but i've been missing it thank you so very much the god bless panel you guys have been wonderfully well god, god bless, bless you madam you. thank you so much thank you for calling me okay uh augusty um, it always your turn right now uh before that i'll hold you again somebody just uh bought me a coffee finally finally after i don't lose my voice ah i'll do me today sir oh, god is watching is it one good thank you very much i really do appreciate this thank you thank you thank you Thank you, my people. In fact, if I don't want to lie, eh, the likes will I give you today. I'll be one play while you buy. <laughs> Where I can't see the number of the likes. I can't say, ah, this one will let me put while you put. All I can say is that I'm so grateful for that likes. Thank you. Thank you, my people. Is there one go? Thank you very much for opening the, the door of the coffee. God bless you. God bless every one of you. Mr. CM, I don't feel call you see, so make call generous for you. I don't know where you go. It's good to have you here, Mr. CM. Please talk to us. I'll meet yourself, sir. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Um, thank you, Niger Watch. Good evening, everybody. Please, all protocols duly observed. <laughs> yes, actually, it's like this is a season of propaganda, probably after election. This after the reggae, you play the blues. <laughs> Why is it that the person <laughs> who has been selected by INEC as the president is not happy? <laughs> 
<laughs> the person is not happy. He's still fighting a rear guard battle. They've said now you win. Not yes, only yes. him, his supporters are not happy. His, his supporters are not happy. So, 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 which means if they had announced Mr. Peter will be on 20, the, the day after the election, by now, oh God, so many people would have been permanently in the hospital. I don't know. You know, normally when you, if you had put in a, let me say, serious uh, amount of work, and in the end, God, the God unquote, crowned your effort with success. By now, you should be giving thanks in every every church in the land. Rather, they are running health asket are looking for something. They, they say they've defeated Peter Obi. Why are you still carrying propaganda against it? It is it's we obedient that's supposed to be carrying propaganda against them. Yet they're still true. Man, this is anyway. The thing is that uh, back to the issue. I do not, whatever I will say, I don't think I, it's only to devalue, but which I wouldn't want to devalue what uh, I listen to or you give a very good analysis, even pointed us in another direction to be able to counter what they're doing. I listen to my friend here, give us our mandate. Don't worry, we will give you your mandate. I listen to um, Brother Ike, the people that phoned, and a lot of others. So the thing is this, hmm? do you know the most important thing in this uh, propaganda? The two protagonists or the principal, Oyedek was saying, say, no, he didn't say it. He must have listened to it. So the thing is not complete. You can't own up. If you say, I am coming, that is what you said. And somebody is saying, I am, without adding coming. If they say, you said, I am, you will say, no, it's not me. If the person doubt it, take him to court. He will say, this is what I said. Then that is when the real truth will be revealed. Then you will not be forced to, to be asked, where did you get that version you are peddling around? So Peter B said no, because they've listened to it, it's not complete. They say if it's not Panadol, it can never be Panadol. So to, they, to that extent, that case is closed. They can go and forge another thing and say, I don't want to go into whether this happened, this happened. So for you, they disowned it, Peter B disowned it, case closed. After all, these are the voice they are saying, any other person, um, yeah, opinion does not matter until these are the two people that we confirm it. So that's that apart. Now I want us I want to say something. Yesterday I was at Newcastle in the northeast of England. I went to African shop just to stroll in. I was surprised the people I met there, Burundi and Kenya. So when we started discussing as African brothers, and before you know it, the moment they realized I'm from the other side, they said, ah, Say what is what is really happening in Nigeria? Why are they delaying Peter? I say why? He say ah. he say we know him in Kenya. Is he not? A, he came for Ruto. Ruto knows him. They know each other. I say who is say the name the prime minister, the president of Kenya now Ruto. He said Kalenji, and I thought he's Kikuyu. He said no. He said the Kikuyus are in charge of business and the, the whatever. But the politics in Kenya is mainly the Kalenji, the Arab Daniel Arab Moy people. So when we are talking, he said they said but Nigerian stuff. Can, don't they know that man? The man is a retired drug dealer. So many people in Kenya have been writing about it. The guy said I should have given me one one of their newspaper, The Nation, and how they analyzed Tinubu's uh, drug deal all over the street of Chi. In the 90s, I was shocked. Even Burundi was saying, the chap from Burundi. So the thing is this, eh? Nigeria is in one almighty mess. They know that this guy, this Tinubu, has got a lot of case to answer. They know it. But the theory of APC is that if they, they know they're already dead. I remember Aluwe, there's one TV program in those days when we were growing up in Lagos. You call Papi Luwe. Papi Luwe say, you know, saying be illiterate. But in a clean illiterate, the other one, Joge, is a dirty illiterate. So what the, the, the politics Tinubu is playing, APC guys, they are looking for something to stick to P2B and then claim he did all this or that, but it won't work. We all know it, it won't work. And the danger is that Tinubu is not Tinubu is going to be arrested. Because the Narco Narco International, I think one go, but it's still a developing story. I can't quote fully now. I read it somewhere. The Narco International I Agency against Narco International have published his name that is one of the people they will go against. They will expose and they are willing to bring up more details. So the guy, most Nigerians did not even know him. 
So you can now imagine because they say best of the same feather flock together. Tinubu is a Korea and Fanika Yode is a sniffer. So you see the you can imagine the amorous relationship between the two. So in all these things, I will tell our obedient, we don't need to lose sleep. We are the right cause. All these things they are doing by now, instead of them to be preparing for court case, how they are going to uh, defend their the, the fictitious figure given to them by in court, all they are interested is what to pin to P to be uh, you know, immaculate uh, stain free body, but it won't work. So having said that, let us let us sort of point ourselves in the direction that uh, we now have to dig into the and make it a, uh, and, Mr. And CM, it a debate. Mr. Here. CM, yes, uh, sorry, I have yes. to borrow from your time because you just mentioned about the court in the case. Uh, sorry, the court in the case or the case in the court? <laughs> the, case, case, case. <laughs> <laughs> the court in the case. Okay. All right, let's yeah. move on. Um, according to the information I have right now is that 15 days more, uh, yeah. Tinubu and his people have to respond to the petition of Peter Obi. You see? Now see. they are avoiding that, that Tinubu is nowhere to be found. Deliberately, nowhere to be found. So my people, I want to address you all. 15 days from now, start counting down. Yeah, that's, I have that's, uh, right here with me. 15 days, I wanted to start it with this broadcast since I forget. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, that My big brother just talked about it. 15 yeah. days from now, Tinubu, APC, and all their satanic APC people, all their members, yeah. need to respond to our petition. So it's come by tomorrow, it will be 14 days to go. Remember, Tinubu is nowhere to be found as we speak right now. We don't know where it is. So yeah. two things evolve. If Tinubu or APC or any of them, uh, Festus Kayamo or whatever, they did not respond to the court, not to us, not to channels. We will not say Festus, Festus Kayamo, not go to channels or uh, arise, respond to the court for our petition, we will sub sub submit against Tuna. If you did not respond to that, that means. If the 15 days from now elapsed, it means automatically the court will favor Peter Obi. Now, the other part is that these people don't have anything to respond back. Yes. <laughs> That's the beautiful That's part of it. When, when, you, give, when you, give an, you give a Nigerian man a Cambridge exam, you see, you know, see that, that petition now, now, now Cambridge exam now, Exactly, so, you know, so, so they so, don't have anything to respond back. No, the thing, so they, the, the thing where they pen them, be saying, Let me tell you, of all those charges, people be carry go court. No, be say, figure, a figure can be challenged the Lagos State, River State, you know, plateau, all those ones. No, be now that draw case, the thing where they don't bury. Mr. CM, can you say that's <laughs> what you said before? You said, um, Chunumbu is a Korea. Can you learn uh, again okay. to our obedient people? Can you okay, before Mr. CM responds to that, let me quickly conclude on this. My people, in case you cannot follow up with the countdown, on the 17th of April is the deadline of uh, the that? day they're supposed to respond, on the, on the, on the 17th of April. So if they did not respond by 17th of April, and if it crossed to 12 midnight to 18, Peter will be automatically win the case. Exactly. So we are waiting now. No worry. The, the whole, hello, Mr. Najawot. Hello. Hello. All of uh, INEC. INEC. INEC needs to respond to. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. INEC needs to respond yes, to. Yes. Have you responded? So they have 15 days. Uh, any kind of response uh, needs to happen between now and on the 17th of april today is second of april so we are it... about crossing to third of april he's already counting down so i wanted to pass that information to every one of you right there before okay. mr cm will move on i would like to uh quickly um i would like to quickly acknowledge those that have already spatchated me say one go thank you very much sir. god bless you as a boss sir. thank you very much god bless you uh dr alexander gomez thank you very much sir i can see you said i'm losing my voice you know, easy, sir. You know, talking, talking every day, seven days a week since since, since April 2022. Till now, I I don't air every day. You know, easy, sir. You know, so I try. I will I will take your 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 advice there. 
and see what I can do to 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 help my voice. Thank you. And Chika Udobi, my God, God bless you. I really do appreciate this. Thank you, guys. Thanks for the encouragement. Thank you. All right, uh, Mr. C, I'll make a borrow for your time. Now you quickly pick this squad. I bet not your best. Uh, okay, Mr. Okay. Kenneth, uh, thanks for calling in. Please talk to us quickly. You have one minute, sir. Good evening to you. Okay, good evening, everybody. Talk to us. Good, good evening to you. Thank you. Talk to yeah. us. Okay, my problem before I remember last year before the election, I was part of your. I was part of this channel. I always come online to have, have my own view. But what I find so much difficult about this uh, uh, analyst these days, maybe after, before the election or after the election, insultive comment and insultive comment, it comment. That is one of the things that make me it make me feel uncomfortable sometimes when I'm listening to our brothers on the panel, like what uh, uh, Mr. C.Y., when he was explaining, you don't have to insult. You don't have to insult anybody. And it's election. Election is over. What do you mean? Did you insult over. anybody? Yeah, like uh, he's a drug lord. He's a dad. He's dad. Yeah, he's a drug lord. He's a drug lord. He's a drug lord, sir. He's easy. He's a drug lord. Listen, hold on, hold on, hold on. You hold on, hold on, hold on. Is I want to I want to reiterate he's a drug lord. Do you get that? It's not an insult, it's a fact. Until they, they okay. dispute okay. the case in the courts, you know, he's a drug me, lord. Ex excuse me, Mr. Evis. Yes. Where with this hate speech? Where with it's not a hate speech. That is where you are getting it wrong. I'm not sure who you are supporting. Bola Ahmed is a drug lord. Is there? I Let them so respond to the court. Hello, 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 Okay. See, don't use pe personal. Don't talk. Don't go people into people's personal. That is what I don't like. What do you mean personal? Somebody that mm. want to be the number one person personal. in Nigeria, he want to hold the number one personal. seat. That is that is my pain. We don't have Nigeria. We don't have other country. Uh, we don't have other. So country. what are you we talking about? We shouldn't go personal. We nobody's <laughs> going personal. Did we talk about the the romance he normally have with his wife? Mr. Elvis, see. Uh, we should talk about the election. You want a drug lord to be your president? Hold on, listen. Eh? Do you want a drug lord to be your president? Ask me. Never drop on near power. We will not be where we are. Everybody, please let me let me let me ask him question. Everybody, please stay mute. Please, I sir, said, Mr. Said, Kenneth, do you Mr. want Mr. a drug? Hold on now. I'm asking you a question. Let ask me a question. I'll answer you. Do you want the drug lord to be your president? Whoever it be, so far it finds solution to Nigeria's problem. Whoever it be, Jesus, Jesus, I can't keep quiet. Mr. Elvis, Mr. Elvis, these are the problem we have. These are the people that did us. Wait, 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 my brother, listen to me very well. Hold on, sir, hold on, sir. Ask me a question, please. Go ahead. I am here in Germany when there was a circulation. It was a life and direct issue. Peter B was indicted in Pandora. Uh, Pandora oh, uh -huh. Now I know where you are coming account. from. Uh -huh, my brother. Yes. So, who, by the way, before we move so on, before we move on, who is your principal? Okay, hold on now, my lovely brother. May you hold on. It doesn't make sense. I know. Okay, okay, fine. Okay, hold on. Who is your principal? Who is your principal? Beg, tell us. Not deny who. That's also we don't take the cover up. Not sure, yes. You understand all the people you are talking about. Hmm. Was in that day, Pandora, the paper. Nobody's uh, talking about this. So how come? How come? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay, Mr. Kenneth. Mr. Kenneth. How come? Hold on now. You don't care. Mr. Mr. Kenneth. If only you they talk. If I cut down for your head, now they'll say I rude. You see, sir, they listen. May you talk. If me want talk, only you they talk. They go. Now, so APC people they behave. May you calm down. Let me ask you question as well. 
if he was indicted in Pandora, how come APC have not used yeah. it against him in the court of law? Let me tell you, Peter Obin <laughs> never, never denied that he has he has us offshore accounts. He said the account was... Yeah, but was, was the money stolen from the government, Kofa? Was the money stolen from the government? Account. Peter Obin never denied it. Okay, that okay. Mr. Mr. Kenneth, Mr. Mr. Like, Kenneth. Yeah, but the question is, did he steal the money from, the co from Nigeria? Mr. Did he steal the money from Nigeria? 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 That's the question. Did Peter Obin no. steal the money from Nigeria? Hold on, hold on, my brother. Hold on, Mr. Elvis. I don't like the way. Let me answer this guy. Let me just no, answer no, no, him. Don't, don't insult him, oh, please. Sir. No, no, not insult him. Not him. insult. Not okay, insult. Listen to me. Listen to me, my dear brother. For you to be able to contest presidency in Nigeria, you must never be involved in any case and you must never be sentenced before exactly. now. And it has been sentenced. Is that a crime that we are talking about it? And there's an official document that proves he has been sentenced about it. There's an official document that shows he has paid fine for it. it has Peter Obi have any document where he was sentenced, where he has paid fine? Can you please tell us now? Please go straight. No, Mr. Kenneth, no, no, that one. I promise him. Mr. Kenneth, if you know, if you feel answer this question, Mr. Kenneth, I'll buy you beer. And Mr. Elvis, let me let me ask him also. The Pandora that he Mona, let her talk. Mona, let her talk. My grievance is all those people on your platform, Mr. Elvis, Erdogan. All those people on your platform, CY or whatever, Alex, it's only have a We not get C we not get CY for here. We're not get anybody. My grievance is here. My grievance is here is personal attack. I hate personal attacks. Okay. I hate it. Okay. Personal attack. Okay, but the election. Okay, but you just, you just, you just attack, you just, you see, okay, you are right, you are very right, but listen, my brother, you just said your, your, your grievances, his personal attack, and you just attack Peter Obi with Pandora, uh, Situation. No, I just no, no, I just make instances. Listen to me. But the instances oh, you they make as well now. <laughs> say, not the instances we still they make. Mr. Evans, I'm, I'm I'm almost fifty. Listen to me. I'm almost I'm almost fifty. I am not a baby. But what I'm saying is, when we are talking about election, don't go. So people, so so people, so, so people senior that you that for this panel, to this sir. If you be fifty, <laughs> so people <laughs> senior you for this panel. Mr. Elvis, can I ask him a question? The only person who is not senior you now, me, oh, people senior you for this panel. Can I ask him a question, please? Uh, <laughs> can I ask him a question? 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 Mr. Kenneth, can you ask him a question? No, we're not the insult for this platform. I was I was born I was born and brought up in Lagos. Okay. They welcome everybody. Yoruba people are very loving people. Of so course. Really? Because of and yeah, we get Yoruba person where they are. Can I, Yoruba can person they panel where they attack you now. You now, say you the deceased Nigerians. I was, born, I, I was born and brought up. I was born and brought up in okay. Lagos. Yes, Yoruba, yes, Yoruba, Yoruba man. Yoruba. Now I want to ask you a question, so Mr. Kenneth. Can you hold on, sir? Okay, okay, Mr. Kenneth, Mr. Kenneth, Mr. Kenneth, Mr. Kenneth, Mr. Kenneth, Mr. Kenneth, Mr. Kenneth. Can you stay quiet for a while? People want to ask you question now. If not, I forgot cotton, but make you wait. Uh, the first question uh, from who, who? Somebody want to ask question before? Yeah, I I'm the that. one. Uh, this is um... okay. My Yoruba brother, Mister T. I bet ask him. He said, "I Lagos he grow." Go ahead. Okay, uh, Mister Kenneth. Um, greetings to you. Yeah. Well, um, you said. I mean, I'm a I'm a Southwest person, born and bred in Lagos State. Um, grew up in Lagos. I spent all of my okay. life in Lagos before I came here to the United States. Now, you said you live in Germany, right? The very first question is, the Chancellor of Germany, before that person became the, the, the Chancellor, Mr. Edwin also live in Germany. Do you know what, went, what they went through before they put that person there? That's number one question. Now, number two, you said Peter Obi's name came up in Pandora. When his name came out in Pandora, he didn't deny it. But did they tell you that he stole government money? No, they never told me to go my money. But can okay, I ask so, you a question? Okay, okay, go, go, ask go, you. No, go ahead. Ask you. Okay, Kenneth, go ahead. Okay. In in the in Nigeria constitution, when you want to become a governor, you don't have to you have to show all your belongings. You must fill it on the 
all your all on the what is the name of this uh, uh, form you have to show you have to bring out everything your hearts your houses your your account this is what i have before coming to office so when you keep off when you keep all your informations what you host your account your your account and your your your, your estate or whatever you keep it. You keep it off on the phone. My brother, a very short word. Declaration of assets. Finish. Declaration of assets. Billion. Okay, everybody, everybody, please hold on. Hold on. No, no, no. Please hold on. Hold on. Uh, Kenneth, Kenneth, I beg, hold on. I have somebody on the phone. We want to respond to Madam Rita. I beg, Kenneth, not drop. Oh, may you hold on. You know, I don't put you now for a multiple calls right now. Madam Rita, good evening to you. I beg, go ahead. Yes, good evening. Um. I'm not very happy now, and this is the reason why. Is because people like Kenneth, who are confused, and I'm not apologetic about it, come onto this show and to distort things or to distract us. Mr. Kenneth, a drug baron, Bola met him in We will continue to talk about it. If you cannot help it, go to another channel. And number two, from the way you talk, you say you're almost 50. Hello? There are people that in their 50s are even probably the same age, and I don't think you're almost 50. It's so sad that even your disposition is not even coherent. It seems that you're lacking some form of education. And I think that is why you're actually even lacking the understanding of where Peter de Rock is coming from. And I think that's why you're so you're lacking that you don't even understand the process of the Pandora and, and, and papers you were talking about. Why have they not put it on on, on in, in their paper? It's why. Why? Why are their surrogates not talking about it? Have you ever have? Can't you just think? At least get some level of education. Google is free. YouTube is free. It you know, is free. Uh, you don't pay anything. Mr. Service. Uh, Mr. Mr. Kenneth, may you hold on right? first now? You hold on. Enjoying the profit okay. of a government that is straightforward, and there you are supporting a man that is not straightforward. You are hypocritical. Okay, okay, thing. okay, Madam Rita, may you hold on. I'm, I'm ashamed of you as a Nigerian. Okay, Madam Rita, may, may you still respond? Okay, I beg, Madam, Madam, hold on. Uh, Mr. Kenneth, go ahead. Nigeria, when, when, when Kenneth is done, I want to talk to, I, I, I would like to say something, please. Okay, Thank okay, you. don't I worry. Like to say something. I may not wait, now. I only want Kenneth, now they may not wait. Kenneth, I beg, respond to that, Madam. That is said, you know, you know, uh, uh, Mandarita, I am well, I am really disappointed in her. You know, she, I can say in this yes. platform before that was last year, early last year before the election, she's I am one of our secret admirers. I like how we present our, our case. But this is me. <laughs> listen to me. I don't who need you. Okay, listen okay, may you, you know, okay, you okay, okay wait. Uh, uh, can I can I talk to Kenneth? Uh, no, may you wait now. Una body to the altar inside that panel for that side. We could not wait both sides the while away they decide first. Uh, Mr. Kenne, may you respond to what the Madarita talk now? You want to talk about admire. She don't marry you. Now married woman. Listen to me. Listen to me. Okay, go ahead now. No, so these syllable people now. Now we uh, now married woman on this national. <laughs> no, they, they, they are very tact, they are very tact, uh, tactile. T A C T I L E. Kenneth, Kenneth, go ahead, go ahead. Go I ahead. said, Madarita, Madarita, before you left Nigeria to Canada, have you have you gone to protest before in your life? Have you been to protest before? Yes. Okay. You she says, she said yes, she said yes. She says she will get evidence. No, but what got what 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 does protest got to do with what does protest got to do with a drug lord? Mr. Edis, let this guy go. He's wasting our time, please. Let let us, please, let us. No, know. don't 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 let him go. I I I I I've got some news for him. Okay, let Alex finish and then we can I continue. <laughs> But I'm in Nigeria. Kenneth, I'm in Nigeria. Let me talk to you. Okay, you want I'm in to be with Tinubu power for Nigeria. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm just okay, Nigeria. I'm in I mean, I'm in Abana. Let me respond to this guy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, you the chatting and saying she did Nigeria, she now fit up. You the chatting now with Tinubu and MC or more power now. No, 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 no. Every listing 
But you are Billy person now. You not be Billy man. You know, Kenneth, Kenneth, you be Billy man. Hold on first. You be Billy man. I am a full blooded Billy man. And that means they're chatting now with Tony Kabaka power there. No, this guy needs to go to the Oba Palace so that Oba can lay hand upon him. Can I talk to Mr. Kenneth? Okay, okay, Madarita, Madarita. Okay, man. No, 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 Madarita. No, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, Madarita. Bye, 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 bye. Okay, Kenneth. Don't worry, I don't let Madarita go because she don't the emotional now. Let you hold on. Unless one fire you with where you wait for now. We don't go let you go. They go fire you today. Hold on. You come, you, Alex, you come, with, you come with obedience then. Oh, Alex, Mr. Alex, Mr. Mr. Kenneth. Kenneth Mr. Kenneth, uh, for me, uh, I'm gonna say I'm disappointed though. Is your life even Adolf Hitler had followers? There's a church in America called Church of Satan, and people go there. So, in this time and age, a man that oversaw, he was. Overseeing the killing of our youths at Lake Itogate. Till today, we don't know what happened. They still deny it. A man that has taken Lagos to be his own. His children are in charge of different things. B board. Is uh, uh, the head of market. Okay, my question is this: How can somebody right now head Nicaragua and Cuba, the greatest drug destination in the whole world, followed by Venezuela and Colombia? They are congratulating him because the drug barons over there have already prompted the political elites to release statements just to cover up for their colleague. What will you feel that Evans the kidnapper, upon all he did, 20 years from now, he wants to be a Nigerian president or a governor somewhere? What, what kind of nation are we building? Forget about sentiment. I'm Benin. I'm not Igbo. Okay. But I'm not done, Mr. Najawash. Okay, carry on. Mr. Kenneth, I bet we answer Alex. And I'm in Benin. I'm not in Canada. I'm not in UK. Uh, Alex. Alex. I'm in Benin. I respect you. The, I, respect you the, I respect you all the time when you speak. You and Israel. Yeah, I know Israel is not on, on platform now. Like, like the way uh, Rita was barking, I think when Rita see me on the streets, or maybe on the street of Bini or street of Lagos, uh -huh. no, be, no, be the power they talk. You want you to show more like power, take kill them. Now, I am on that. Now, show more like power, you want to silence her. But, 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 you don't know who she is, too. You don't know who she is. You don't know her family, too. Okay, hold on, hold on, make an answer him. Everybody, I bet, wait. Kenneth, if you wait, wait. Why you not talk, say, you know, say, Nigerian a graveyard. Everybody, the way they talk. Say, if you yeah. see me for Nigeria, fear not. Let you talk to me. Why you not talk? Say, no, if you see me for abroad, you know, if you talk uh -huh. to me, why you go use Bini? Lawlessness. Let me they talk. So because say Nigeria a graveyard. No, wait till me be one year from you, Mr. Kenneth. No, no, no. Wait now, Mr. Kenneth. But you don't know who she is too. No, no, not talk for panel again. No, why you not talk? Can they make you wait? Ah. I, I beg, I beg, your guy, if it's, I beg, sorry, wait. let me just say something no, here. No, wait, sir. Wait, my, wait. my brother, listen to me now, uh, Kenneth. Hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. I, I greet Hold you. On, I... Hold on. Okay. Make you answer my question first. Why you not use scenario, say, if Madarita see me for Germany, fear not, let her talk to me. Why did they use graveyard? Because that's how your power, power did. I swear to my because this one will be for Germany. Oh, so if you talk like this for you, you slap him. I will, I will show her. I will show her. I swear to Almighty God, I will show her. She can't try. Like the way she was. No, okay, but for Nigeria, wait till you Nigeria, wait till you Let us go. Continue, uh, please. If for Nigeria, eh? eh for Nigeria. Eh, let me say, I didn't make math. We talk not fill up my face. People will know me. But you know, so if, you if, know if, 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 if to say that Germany is warm, if that Germany is warm, which law, which law you want to swap? Which law? Which law? So, so you don't know who be Rita. You don't say she don't fill up your face. You don't know who to swap. You'll be like, say, ask me your be now. One little auntie go call you and say, I swear for Nigeria, I don't, I don't fill up your face. You don't know who be Rita. You know where she, you know where till she, where till they are back. This guy is a spoiler. If you do like this, I'll say, I'm going to achieve this purpose. I bet all the power. 
Our discussion. Uh, wait, okay, wait, 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 can you imagine you the church you say you want to keep us for my platform? Can it? Can it? My brother, you can't do that. Okay, don't say that again, my brother. That's too far now. You can't do that now. What's that? Can you imagine? See what you talk. How can you do that? How can you say that? What part do you have to take in life? Can it? Can it? Can it? We found that. Can it? Can it? We found that word, or I will I will hang the phone on you now. Huh? Return that word. I I no, no, no. You use the word say she will be an act. That is too ex extreme. Why must you say that? You know if you be killer before people. you come up for Nigeria, must you say it here? Eh? Tell it. So you say if you see her for Nigeria, she will not be a grave. Ha, now what for you? Can it? Because that's that's it. Ned, all right, how can you say that? To let you go now. You you cross the line. My brother, you not be killer. You not be doing anything. Okay. I have to. You can't do anything. Go. You see, okay. like, please, everybody, hold on, hold on. You see, this is one of the things I talk about all the time. Many of these lunatics who who, who lives abroad, although someone like me, they're not featuring me. They know. You get the way everybody take day now. Uh -uh, if they behind media, so they talk. Uh, everybody get the way they day. No fit. I will give you address for me. That's all. The, I just talk and not the truth. But I don't want to go there. But the fact that you say if we meet for Bini, person for all day grave. That means some of Una will be killer before we manage past Morocco and enter abroad. Una see the key, they go. Fear not go let you talk, say he go day grave for abroad. But for Bini, because when I see Bini as a graveyard, it's so sad, it's so pathetic, it's so disgraceful, it's disgusting. You know, I thought it was a conversation we all were having here. Look at the extreme you went, and this is what Tinubu is building. This so you supporting him, I'm not surprised because this is what he's building. So let me pick this call. Hello, good evening to you. Please talk to us. Your name and where you calling from? Off your device, off your device, madam. Talk to us. Yes, I'm off it. Sorry, sir. Good evening. I want to quickly uh, shed more light on what that animal called Kenneth came to say here. Say, Very sad. I have reliable information that these so called lunatics that claim they live abroad that want this drug baron to become our president. Do you know why most of them want him to become president? Because they know that the man will finish the Nigerian economy. Okay, go cheap for they them. Know. So they I want mean, Naira to be won No, can you disappoint me, sir? Come, he's a That's why he... that's right. people like Kenneth are praying so hard that drug barrel will become our president, and it will never happen. All of them are they are pro, they enjoy it. Although you go, for no woman in Nigeria, they better. She no go ever wear with Tuna. She will not go ever see gold. Okay. Thank people you. are suffering in Nigeria. Thank you, madam. Right now, bro, you don't want Nigeria to be good. You don't wear with The truth of the you. matter, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, madam. The truth of the matter is, I can see my sister, Divine Cross, say I should not call him my brother. I call everybody my brother. I don't really know him. Now, this uh, media, no, I don't know his face, I don't know how he be, I don't know anything, but I was trying to be jovial, to apply comedy to him, to see if he can, be, he, he can understand. For him to use that word, it shows that even though he lives abroad... Uh, uh, Naja Walsha, Naja Walsha, let me tell you something. He should be hearing us now. You see that word he used now against this woman? Eh? Yeah, it's very sad. In Germany, that, this guy will get six months. Hold on, call her. Go, go ahead, Mr. Edwin. He might not go into jail, but he will get his most suspended sentence. This guy, what he just said now. If he's really he's living in Germany, he will get six months. Because he has a, 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 a number. There's a link to that number. Yes. I'll let him to give it to criminal police tomorrow. I tell them this is what he said. This is the time. And they will punch out that number and see and hear his voice. You know, now English you take talk You know, I believe something like that will happen. Yeah, so sometimes, that, that, sometimes, that's how you, sometimes that's how you, how, how you deal with the street dogs. Sometimes uh, that's how you, how you deal with the street really dogs. Uh, that kind that, that was, was vomiting nonsense just now. So I just want to, I was about to ask him a question. Where do we live? 
in uh, Germany. And uh, myself, I told Oju, and uh, I want just to know about that boy. And if you can be able to give me his number, please, I will be very grateful. Okay, no problem. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, I Kenneth. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. I'll publish his number on public. I want to first send him a message right now. Thank you, sir. Kenneth, you have five minutes to call and apologize. If not, your number, put them on screen. I promise you, you'll be deported. And I promise you, you will be deported. Even though you don't get Jama passport. You have five minutes to call in and apologize for that statement. You know, you promise you you threaten somebody, so you go put them for grave, you go kill them. It day on air, you can't deny it. It day on air. So you have five minutes to call in and apologize, and your number will anyway, be on air. Anyway. I promise why they give you. In fact, no man anyway. will not give you this. Uh, they do not give you five minutes to apologize. They'll just put them on air. But if you do not call in the next five minutes, your number will be on air so that who want to so, uh, prosecute so or rather persecute that particular number, they will take it from there. Thank you. So I, I've, time, I've timed it at 10.26. Okay, so maybe good. when it is 10.31, then... Uh, anyway, well, okay. let me continue. Ogasi, and please, no vex, just uh, 30 seconds. I just want to read something that just applies to exactly what has happened here. And that is where Nigeria is going, if we're not careful. There was this flyer going on. They say, first, we overlook evil. Then we permit evil. Then we legalize evil. Then we promote evil. Then we celebrate evil. Then we persecute those who still co call it evil. What Ken has done is to call and persecute us for calling and something that is not evil. Banner, since he did not call. Evil. Madam, Madam Busy, Madam Busy Briggs, okay. can you put that okay. uh, comment in the in the private chat, please? We can, exactly. we can make a fly with it. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, let me exactly. type it out. I, I can yeah, type it out. Uh, type it here. Excuse, um, let me continue. First of all, um, I think that today, that is the day we started the countdown. The day before the Washington uh, protest. Now today, I know, say yes, I'm really, my contribution to Niger Watch is well received. Because it was what I said that triggered off all this. But I'm not, uh, I'm undaunted. Like some people will say, I never even start to the grind beans. Moi moi don't they smell everywhere. Now wow. <laughs> so <laughs> I never grind the beans safe. Why I go take do akara? Everywhere don't they smell akara? When yeah, I never when, the when, beans when, when a straight dog come into the into the into the yeah. obedient den. Come on. So man. so so now now, now today I know say uh, I be somebody here. Anyway, there's a man called the uh, Lake Walesa. He was the former president of Poland. The man began his life as a trade unionist. Working uh, before I move on, please, Kenneth, your picture is with me. You just quickly remove it from your screen. I already have it. You are standing. You have two minutes left. I'm going to punish you. You must call in and apologize. If not, your picture, in fact, I'm going to say before you remove on, can you quickly remove a picture from WhatsApp? And I already have it already. So <laughs> oh, you have two minutes. You so in the via, so in, in the via. So, so, Papa, so. Papa Ike, Papa Ike, Papa Ike, I told you guys that obedience, we know how to deal with people. We, we don't make, so, we are too intelligent. So, so please, let me, let me regain my strength of thought. This man I called uh, the, 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 this, this man called the Lake no, Walesa. No, if you don't call, then I give a room now. So I've tried no, please, uh, no. friends, friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. Let me quote you, Caesar. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. So this man called Lake Walesa was a former president of Poland. During his day, he was a, a trade unionist in the Polish uh, shipbuilding yard or shipbuilding company. And he's a leader, just like Lou. Uh, is a national da silver of brazil so one day he went to lead a strike he climbed the table i mean he was speaking to talk people into going on strike i know addressing a, a rally nine polish police secret police came arrested him from there to jail so disrupted the meeting carried him straight to jail the guy stayed there for how many years i can't remember now the day they released him he called a meeting again. That same day, he climbed the table. The, the first thing he said was, 
like I was saying. So let me, so in my own case, I will say before I was interrupted, like I was saying, let me now address the issue of Pandora. This Pandora paper, I mean, is it not Pandora, pa Pandora paper or something, Pandora box or something like that, linking to P2B, Ruben Abati of Arise News interviewed him. P2B said, it is not illegal that if you are doing business anywhere as a businessman, you now want to wind up your business and you have the money, you want to put it somewhere, it's legal, you can go and put it there. It's offshore, just to earn more credit, more money for you. The most important thing is the money you put there, how did you earn it? Not where you, not why did you put it there? But the money you are putting there, how did you come about the money? He explained it in Arise News. He answered that he went on to put it in context by saying the former British Prime Minister, David Cameron, who is also a millionaire here in the UK, did it. Is Cameron standing any charge in the UK? Nobody is accusing him of anything. Peter B said it. And let me refresh the memory of those listening. At uh, Chatham House, when Peter B, after speaking at Chatham House, he was interviewed privately by maybe one, I mean, I saw the clip. They were asking him about that. He said, look, even your former prime minister put money in Pandora um, and the Pandora this thing. He said, was he charged? He said, people are just making fuse out of nothing. That what he did it, when he winded his business, he wanted to get into politics. So he put all his capital there. It's not illegal. What is illegal is if you steal money and put there. Not that you pay you salary and say, Niger, watch, you pay, you pay somebody salary and the person take it and go and put it in Pandora. It's not sick. What matters is what the money you are putting there, how do you come about it? It's as simple as that. So that settles it. Now, on the issue of uh, whether, you know, drug, uh, you know, if, if there is no career, you know, a seller and a buyer, they're always uh, the best of friends. You can imagine how Fane Kayode made a made friend with Tinubu because one is a sniffer, the other one is a supplier. So you see, in this thing, in this business of uh, Naku, what I really want people to, you know, to to underscore here is this: there are, as I'm as I'm talking now, there are thousands of people all over the world that are into drug deal, into drug business everywhere. Talk any country, there are. So many barons. It's not only Tinubu. There are so many. But the, thing I, the striking thing is that none of those barons has ever raised his or her or her hand to be the prime minister or president of their country. There are Italians that are dealing on drugs. They can never come up to say, I want to be prime minister of Italy. There are Brazilians dealing on drugs. They are not going to say, I want to be president of Brazil. The same thing in the US, in you, everywhere. So why should Nigeria own be different? That is the and that is the question I'm posing. Why? Why? So when you now see people, we, they come here and tell you, oh, I'm taking on character. What is character assassination? I'm well educated to know that. Even if you are doing anything, you give a reference. So my reference is the expose done by David Hundei. He said it there. So if I call Tunibu drug lord, I'm only quoting David Hundei. He said it. So why why take it out on me? I'm not I'm not to, you know, I'm not laying claim to originality at all. It's not original. I didn't discover it. I read the expose by David Hunde, and the guy is still explaining it as time goes on. Even if I don't want to say anything, what if I quote Peter B's charge before the that is before now before the court now the tribunal? So this uh, what is it, Ken? I don't think. The guy is just being unnecessarily incandescent with rich. I don't know whether he collected money from Tinubu. We want to justify it. Well, it's up to him. He knows the business he's doing, but you know this uh, drug business is very, very druggy. So you know they always speak like people under the influence of the thing. Now I'm coming here to come and threaten somebody. You know what? What? What uh, annoyed him was he started by saying he loved Mother Rita. <laughs> He loved Mother Rita. And the, the person you love, he said you want to put him in the grave again. What really are you talking about? The moment he said it, Niger Watch said, remember he's married. I said they are very tactile. So that that sort of putting petrol on, you know, on a burning fire. So he started messing up. All these things, this is these are their landmark. These are their trademark anyway. We should we just have to discount, you know, just set them aside and go where we're going. Tinubu can never be. 
president because everybody, like I was saying, the in the discussion I had with the Kenyan and the, the chap from Burundi, it made it made me to realize that yes, that Tinubu, Tinubu's draw case is like a nine month old pregnancy. You know, when a woman is gravid to nine months, he will tell you yes, I'm pray. He will not agree that uh, something happened, so he can't cover it anymore. The world is known at least African-wide, they know. So we cannot make mistake to be the first country to elect a known drug lord as a president. There are drug lords everywhere in the world, but they, they've never, they know they want to enjoy their billions. Okay, good. With their jet, everything, that is a trademark. They have jet, they have airport, they influence anything, but they can never say, I raise my hand up, vote for me, I want to be president. It's not done. Then, because they know it. So why should our own be different? That is the question. Why should Nigeria, why should Nigeria be the first country to elect a known drug lord as a president? Now they selected you by INEC as president select, yet you are nowhere to be found. Rather, you are even fighting the person you said you've defeated. Why? All this campaign of calumny digging up against P2B, those ones are for debate, TV debate, when they were, when you, now the elections are over. Why are you still telling us people to be did this? If it's true, okay, now INEC has said you won. By now, you should be talking about what you are, we should be seeing you around. You should be the person say, look, call me anyway. I show you the figures that made me to win. Rather, he's busy hiding from one uh, European capital, either in search of uh, to purchase her, a good a good healthcare service, service delivery, or maybe to hide from uh, either to be being apprehended, but whichever way it is, by the time FBI gives evidence in that case, the game Tinubu is finished. Thank God this calm down is starting today. F 15 days to go, he may not show up, he may claim that he's sick. And in that case, we walk him over, it will not be on technicality. So, all, all said and done, we shouldn't lose hope. The likes of Ken, the thing is that we gave him opportunity, a long group to tie himself, and which he did. So maybe he will be hearing from different people because nearly everybody, uh, you can't just threaten people on air openly for no just cause, just because of the fact that the person is uh, trying to counter what you are saying and then tell you that, look, the person you are supporting is not a, is you, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are supporting a, the wrong person. After all, of what use will it be in this day and age that people are supporting a drug pusher to be, to be the president of the country? What are we trying to say? Are we rewarding? Are we rewarding a bad bad behavior? That is why I posed this question and I keep reading it. Okay, I said, Mr. Sien. Yes, please. Sorry, sorry. Um, before I say what I want to say, I have somebody on the phone. Hello, sir. You are calling back. Please quickly talk to us. Now, I beg, uh, Mr. Mr. Elvis, before I leave, before, because my flight, my flight is uh, uh, three thirty. Uh, this uh, uh, tomorrow morning, because I'm in uh, Vienna now. I will be leaving to Italy tomorrow. Before I leave to Vienna, because I have a little thing to do. I'm, I just want to get that number now. Okay, I'll send, I'll send it to you now. I'll send it to you now. Okay. Right away. Okay, now, and this picture, I'll send it to you now. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, what I wanted to quickly say now is that, Kenneth, obviously you are watching us, but you are not responding. And, and the, you 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 think say you be key like you don't feel key many people for it for Nigeria before you enter abroad. So I want to post your picture, please. Everybody, if you want me to post this picture, let me see the people that will debate right yes. there right now. I, yes. I already have it here on the comment section. Should I post the picture? Yes or no? Just yes. say yes, yes or no. Put it there. Yes. Yes. The comment yes. section, please let us know. The, the eyes have it. Yes. Let us know. Let us know. I will say no, no. Uh, Who's the picture? Uh, yes, yes, to, yes, 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 yes. Yes, to so, somebody. Yes. Why yes. Can't you threaten somebody yes, so. be in the grave. Why can't you be in the? Why can't yes. the person be in the grave? You see, why? the problem okay. is for him. Out of the abundance of the heart, eh, very like, important. Oh, very that important. Is how, that is who he is. He could not help it. He's coming. Because they are talking about his colleague, his senior I colleague. I gave him room to apologize and he refused. Exactly. Um, let me hear from Mr. Tony. Mr. Tony, thanks for calling in. Please talk to us quickly, quickly. Very quickly, sir. Very quickly. I don't want to beg on behalf of that guy because people, yeah. black people live in Germany, you don't have to be 
the last wish, uh, sorry, the last wish is to be deported. Please forgive him because they did not allow the guy to just express his mind a little bit. I'm sorry to say that. And then Madam Richard has been too confrontational in the last days. She should have allowed you, you were trying to post her. Let the guy explain. Yeah, explain what? What are you saying, Tony? <laughs> somebody said he's going to bury somebody alive. I'm disappointed with you. Why? I'm not disappointed. You say that joke. It's a joke. You say that joke. Can you imagine you bury? You will bury somebody alive. What can you say about that? The submissions are always. No, no, no. It's very painful that you know it was. You know they didn't let him speak. You were trying to push somebody. You remember that you you tried to pull somebody. Everybody put yourself. Uh, hello, 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 Tony. Hello, hello, Tony. Hello, Tony. Hello, Tony. Tony, 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 Tony. Listen, you are, you are. He is living in Germany. Here in Germany, there are things you don't do. You don't threaten a woman if you really know the law. That's that, that's from me. That's from you where the, where the woman did not tell you first. Wait, that is number one and number two. And no, listen, please, listen, please, listen, please. listen, Tony. Listen, for him, wait, wait now, Tony. For him to say, it's for him to say, for him to say, Tony, Tony, no, 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 you should do hold on, Tony. You hold on, Tony. Tony, Tony, let me tell you something. If this guy, if this guy really knows what German law is all about, eh? Wait. But he said that. He said that. Tony, 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 listen now. You listen now. Tony, you listen to me. Just listen for one minute. Tony, you wait. No, 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 Tony, no, no. listen. You already used the word. You already the only person Tony. that will tell me now not to post it will be the same Madam Rita if she forgive him. If not, I will post it. Okay, thank you, Tony. Let me let you Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stay away from it. Hello, yeah, good evening to you, uh, Mr. Best. Please post it and I'll let the German police finish. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for calling. Talk to us. Yeah. This, uh, Mr. Tony, sorry, Mr. Tony, if you're being offended with what I I'm going to say, even on this WhatsApp group, all his um, voice notes and everything, I'll be refusing to listen because I know to he, the way he sounds, it sounds like a matured man, but his words are not mature. He don't speak maturely. Look at the way he's defending this man now, this, uh, the, the other uh, Kenneth of a person, Look at the way he's denying he's defending him as if they are maybe they are even living in the same house. How did he know the guy is air, You can imagine to that uh, 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 aspect of ignorance coming on air to be to treating a woman with dirt. Okay, huh? it doesn't make sense. Thank, thank it you. doesn't make sense. Let me get to someone. Post his picture. We are all here. Post his picture. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Thank post you, his picture. Hello, yeah, good evening to you. Your name and where you're calling us from. Turn down your device. Turn down your device, please. Oh, turn down your device, madam, please. What is all this now? You can't talk to me when your television is on. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, good evening to you. Your name and where you're calling from. If you know, I'll call for it. This man, this man, this Tony went and told us that he don't know anything. If you don't call those things, another person will see try this thing, this kind of war will be like say person see use and they treat people so okay. he don't know the law of Italy, he don't know the law of Germany. When be like say that woman get power for this country, okay. Why they treat woman That's for fine. this? Uh, Let me hear from Madam Rita. Let me hear from Madam Rita. When they treat Rita, Rita, when they talk better thing, you they treat person okay. because they make country better, you they treat her. Thank you. This Thank verse you. is not possible. Peace to another, another person will see trial for your for your plasma. Thank you. You Thank know you. good. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thanks for calling in. Uh Mother Rita, please write on the comment section. Should I post his picture and number or you are forgiving him? It's now up to you. You know, many people want to take action on your behalf. And I, I gave him the room to call in to apologize so that I can I will not post it. You know, so since he's not he's not uh responding so uh it's not left for madarita now so i'm waiting for the madarita's uh uh response so that i can know what to do from there if she want me to post it i'm pushing posting it not just this uh um 
his his phone number. I'm gonna post his picture as well. Can you I know? say something really quickly, Mr. Elvin? Yes. This is Omoye. Yeah, quickly, okay. go ahead. So number one, that guy that called in had absolutely no right to come on live and threaten. No, anybody. before you go ahead, Omoye's corner, should I post his picture or number? Or should I forgive? You should post it. Since I would say go ahead and post. Nigeria was, was please for security reasons you have to post it for and alert the German government. It's very important. Was so German police. I, this is how this to show that the guy had really is not thinking properly. You cannot come on like because whether you like it or not, let me tell you, Mr. Elvis, this is already recorded. There's no nothing you, you, the host of the platform, there's nothing you can do about this. Okay. If you don't call attention to this. It might come back on you. He had okay. no right to do okay. that at all. Tony, it was uh, totally unacceptable. Um, Kenneth, you still have... I'm giving you another 60 seconds. Call in and apologize. You know, 60 seconds. If you do not call in, I will post it this time. Everybody, even Madarita, everybody want to take a uh, lawsuit against you. No worry. No way you go hide. Could not be Nigeria. We could not go keep us. We not go hide for our... Uh, for you, Koryomo, no worry, they will find you. But call in, apologize so that we make this thing rest. If you don't call in in the next one minute, then I'm done. I'm putting the one minute on air. You know, I want to put it on air for you to know I'm very, very serious. Then we take it from there. You know, uh, I'm going to go ahead before this one minute runs out. Thank okay. You. So for him to now have so much boldness to call in into a show, he thinks he's in Nigeria where they get away with all manner of things and nobody holds them accountable. It's abhorrent. He needs to be taught a lesson. If you, Mr. Elvis, don't do anything about it as the, as the owner, as the host of the show, it, you don't want it to come back at you. He, this man has put himself out by himself. There's nothing you can do about it. When I even Sarita says I forgive him, he really is not, it's out of her hands right now because he put it on air by himself. It just goes to show you the psyche of these people, how damaged it is that you will see something ugly. You will see something that is vile and unacceptable in every uh, on every level and you still come up here with your full chest and defend it. Look at him. I listened to him when he was talking. You know, he's he's taking sides with the people that are the responsible for for him not even being able to leave his in, in his own country. He's talking about not being happy about the panelists. Are you serious? So, Mr. Elvis, you whether you like it or not, you have to take action. He's already put okay. it out on air by himself. So it's his fault. It's not your fault. Thank okay. you. That, the one minute is over now. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have to post this picture right now. Um, yes, you can come to Najawash. As you know, that our policy here, insult is totally prohibited. But I wish this one was even insult. We can just, yes. okay, yeah, and punish you, you so. yeah. and just move on. You it's said, life and if, death. let me repeat your word again. If now Nigeria, you fordor bury him alive. Yeah. That was your yeah. statement. And everybody will cut that part, add it to your number and your picture. <laughs> you think you were smart. You quickly remove a picture for, for from, from WhatsApp. Wait, me don't capture all this. All my, my software, they even work in advance before me. So don't worry about <laughs> those things. When we did here, I set everything before I press go live. My software, everything, they work in advance. So you can't... All these Agbado um, uh, ambassadors, they are ill-educated to even understand, to even follow up on any major news. The issue of Pandora, he wants to say people be put money. David Cameron, former UK Prime Minister, put his money there. He's a millionaire. He's not in prison. He's not in prison. He didn't go to you. Nobody queried him. What they want to know is the money you are putting there, how did you come about it? How did you come? And why are you putting it there? Because if you are going into public service, the way they do it here is if you want to go into public service, whatever business you are doing, you wind it down because you are no longer, a, you are nominal now. You can decide to take part of your profit or what, uh, what is ent entitlement and put somewhere to be making profit for you. You can put, I mean, making interest for you. You can, so far it's genuine. That's what they want. So it's not, a, the people have explained this before. I think, um, um, Niger Watch, you have to look for that interview in our eyes. People will be against Ruben. It was a...
explaining Pandora issue. He explained it openly. But people like Tony are too illiterate to even understand what is going on. And they're still making noise. If this Pandora is an issue, why hasn't Kayamo said it? All these things they are making noise. Even uh, the one will be fe feminist, uh, Fanny Kuku, um, uh, Kayode, de, you know, the, no, I didn't call some just feminist. That is the species. Feminist, Fanny Kuku, Kayode, de. if you give him food, he sing for you. So all those people, they should have made a, a career out of it. But when people come here, rather than try and then understand that it is their life and the future of their children that is at stake and they still want to carry on with the old rear guard battle we don't we don't need it we've gone beyond that all what we are trying to say is that thank god today is the starting day 15 day in 15 days time then this case will wind down because tinubu is nowhere to be found forget about a three seconds video when he's walking dressed like uh, you know one of those people that are supplied the thing from one street to the other all those things it's an old habit dies hard we can't afford to. Nigeria will be setting record to be the first country to willingly elect a drug baron. German paper wrote it. I think somebody confined it here. So why why should people? That is even a shame. On its own, it should have withdrawn quietly. And before you know, before FBI, but I mean, by the time FBI comes to Nigeria to pro, I mean to to provide witness, I mean that that says it all. This is a very big shame on Nigeria. My interaction with the Kenyan and the Burundian yesterday, I was surprised. When I had, when they were saying this, I was looking at them in amazement. They said, yes. Say, what is Nigeria doing up to? They are still talking of uh, electing a drug baron. Is that what they can, is that the best they could get? Say, in Kenya, we can't give this such, such person a chance. And that is true. But now in Nigeria, they are celebrating them. The people are, the, both the sniffers and the suppliers, they are going. Aso Rock will be another, another, another entry port. For, for trafficking for trafficking drugs because they know their man will cover them and they will be keeping his own share for it. So in fact, Nigeria is no longer business as usual. We want a clean break from the past. That's why people are converging towards obedient. Obi is somebody that with him, that, in fact, that is the man the, the world is waiting for without, with, without missing what. He is the person the world is looking up to. Can this man turn Nigeria around? Can this man you know, terrorism, insecurity, um, uh, poverty capital of the world, daily killing, hopelessness everywhere. So can the man do it? And he's sticking his neck, he wants to do it. And people are saying that it's very clean. So who is people, the likes of Tony, to come and be telling me we shouldn't be calling names? Tinubu is a drag. In a civilized society, you don't mention people like this. This is a thief. How can you go and uh, organize Alpha Beta? And be extorting money from people. What sort of what sort of human being are you? What sort of person? What record has he got to defend? Before you know it, they tell you Tinubu built Lagos. It's a lie. You never didn't do anything. I'm sorry that we have to say putting one or two things about this it's because of all these people. We've gone beyond. I think before the election, we've analyzed Tinubu beyond the analysis. So all this is just to recap. But then, uh, if he's sure of his onions, let him come. Let him. Uh, if he, uh, they give him dead, deadline. Of, uh, between and the next 14 days. Let us also remember that these are the people that said, go to court, go to court. Now and Peter B is in court and they are afraid again. Instead of instead of feeling happy, having a banquet everywhere that, oh, president-elect will soon get into power. Now they are still looking for something to put on Peter B. But you say you defeated him. So what are, what really are we talking about? By the time they finish with INEC and this case, a lot of a lot of heads we get we be I mean a lot of people we go to jails one way or the other. The other day I read an interview. I mean I listened to an interview by Patrick Tommy. He said they are compiling names. America has given him the contract. There are names they want, even Britain. So no more visa and all those things. And they have to deal with them. And by the time you get into their the, into their black book, for you to get out, you must have to know. I mean you must have it hot. So all in all. Once in a while, we have to we have a you know disruptions by people like Ken, who for one reason or the other they don't know their left from their right, or they are there just to be following. By the way, how can somebody abroad, a civilized country like Germany, be talking of Tinubu? Does the, that's why sometimes I I tend to I tend to agree that the problem with Nigeria is not really the people inside. Because the people inside are yet to know what happens, how the world look like. It is those of us that are outside. 
Maybe they feel that exploitation is the best form of, uh, is the best way to make progress. Why can somebody be living in a civilized world and then be recommending the likes of Tinubu to be president of their home country? It then means the person did not wish the country well. I remember recommending here that whoever calls in and want to make case for any other person. You uh, ask uh, Ongushi, uh, Ongushi, 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 yes. please, sorry, sir. Can I ask you one question? Oh, yeah. You are emphasizing on this guy living in Germany. Do you know what he runs daily here in Germany? Do you know his business, what he work, what he does? Um, how, if you ask me who I go ask. <laughs> <laughs> So please, no, Mister Mister Dwayne, Mister Dwayne, this is your opportunity for you to expose him. Just, just why don't you just why don't you just leave me and leave this issue now? It's over. Yeah, just forget about it. I, I don't know. I don't understand. I want to talk to you. Looking forward to hearing from Ingo, from you on Ingo your update. Okay, let, please let me around so that others will say, Edwin. So you go. They give us updates. Maybe every day you give us yes, update. So. Or, or like Nigerian police go, go talk. This is saying we don't they did, would, we, do not go we, we, apologize. No, it's okay. Now you know, I don't even have to public. I don't as, have anything as to Niger police, As Niger police, they talk. We don't detail Edwin to follow up this case. <laughs> Edwin, we don't detail you, you to follow up this case. You think you can be threatening everybody? <laughs> The people you are looking up to that have killed so many people in Nigeria before, many of them, they are in grave already. You think you can continue to live like this in a postmodern world? You know, they threaten everybody oh, with death everywhere. And oh, you are abroad, they are abroad where you're supposed to learn. The killing where you they do for Nigeria before, you don't manage it abroad. You know, beg God, may God forgive you. You see, they are abroad, see the people in Nigeria, for all their graves. You are proud of it. You don't have to deal with your satanic activities where you do for Nigeria. It's so painful. I hear I say education, education is free in Germany. I don't know whether <laughs> whether I never take advantage to educate himself. Anyway, well, this one that is go school forever. <laughs> the only two way you know how to key. Imagine, but but you see, you, do you know what surprises me? This is the way they start. He say he respect Mother Rita and I person way in love. I say when you come, you know now you come put fire. I can't say I love him. In a married woman, I can't say. These are the people, they attack tight. They can't explode. That's the way you <laughs> join. That's the way you be. If you get sense, if you know say people don't date the team before you can join them. Uh, and because you don't get sense. Uh, that uh, trick, the way you they pull. People don't pull them before. You don't get sense. Yeah, you they are abroad where you suppose learn. You they from abroad, they talk, say, person enter Niger. And this exactly. is what is happening. How it's come true. you people don't ask yourself, say, when people travel, go to Nigeria, many of them don't use gun, kill them. Many of it's them true. don't kidnap them. Many of it's them, true. they go poison them. Why? It's now, true. people it's like true. this, it's you true. and your neighbor go quarter for abroad. You don't go, you don't go answer you for abroad. They wait when you go back, take away, they go to Nigeria. These are the people. It's true. Uh -huh. It's true. It's true. Particularly if you tell them, then this more change where you carry on, they kill you, collect the change. That's all. You go there, Germany, they pose. Anyway, well, the thing is that uh, he has entered the uh, one chance boss. Thank God I'm the best. I was the person he took word out of my mouth. It, it interrupted. He has entered. We are not here for a joke. All of us here, we brainstorm every day and we know exactly where we are going. So, all this nonsense, he, he will be regretting wherever he is now. But then we have to set an example because you can't threaten somebody that you ended the person's life. Insult, insult is different. You can insult the person, call and different types of name, but when you say you end somebody's life, no, 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 because nobody gives life. Impossible. So he must have to go in for it. By the time he, uh, the German government uh, answers one or two questions and then it's not for me to see if he's going to be in Germany again. It's not for me to decide. So, but whatever it is, I think uh, he says uh, what what he what what he's getting is what he what he placed on order, so he will get it. But by the way, he's so he's so. Stu Let me just run, uh, end on this. I don't know why should somebody because that gives me concern. The way Nigeria is, and <clears throat> you are recommending Tinubu as a as a for as a president for what? That is, that is for even what? Me. That is the thing. So for what? So which means two hundred million people don't he, even if why not say you can that you want to do better? Why not present yourself? And then you are coming to say Tinubu of all people. Pe first, 1998. This is Guardian because I like putting things, referencing. Guardian newspaper, 1998. Said he is 52 years. 
between 98 and 2003 is 23 years. If you add 23, if you, I mean 25, if you add 25 years to 52, it can never give you 77. I mean, it can never give you 71. And Tinubu is celebrating 71. Can you imagine? All open right. this. Yeah, this is open. from the next person. Thank you. Know. So this is this is opening sword to Nigerians, falsifying the age before us. Forget about what happened for Chicago. This is Guardian newspaper of 98 saying it's 52. Thank you very much. Let on that. Let I yield here, please. Thank you. All right. We'll come back to you, Mr. CM. Uh, I, I would like us to hear from uh, a lot of people. Don't retire. Amo yes, Connor, please talk to us. Thank you. Good evening to you. All right. Good evening. Thank you very much. Um, Nigeria was you. here. You don't bypass me. Better Nigeria only talk again. Who they talk? <laughs> Better no, no, Nigeria. No, 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 no. Are you talk since that people when you come now they give chance. I'll okay. come back to you. Okay. Okay, thank you. Just thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So um I am I've already addressed the audio and I think that we should focus more on the scenes of uh, the Agbado party than any other thing. That audio to me, I don't think it's all it's okay for us to talk about it because we have to debunk whatever it is that they that's that their propaganda machine is rolling out. But we need to put our focus on the many, many ills of the Agbado party. This man, Tifnubu, has sacrificed a lot of his people. The Owo massacre, the ones that they kidnap, the Boko Haramis that have invaded their villages, taking, kidnapping people every day and snuffing out their lives. It's all on top of Agbado's head. Um, October 2022, NSAS. It's all on top of his head. Why has nobody, why has ESS not put attention or has not sought him out to ask him questions? There's a pandemic of drugs in Nigeria right now. We never had those issues. But since Agbado has been, since he says he built Lagos, he built it with the drugs that has littered the streets of Lagos. No, but how come DSS is not talking about that? Where else, which country, who owns th that warehouse that was opened up with those drugs that were being that the video you played, Mr. Niger Watch? Whose drugs are those? Who does it belong to? Has anybody answered to that? We know that Agbado is the drug lord, the drug baron. Why have they how why have DSS not called him to question him in recent times? MC Oluomo has threatened people on live television, on live recording. Why has DSS not shone their touch light on MC Oluomo? Why? They've increased taxes for the taxi drivers that are crying right now, right? Although most of them are part of the part, they're part of the Agbado party as well. Why has nobody answered? Why has nobody spoken to them? During the election, people were killed, slaughtered, maimed, on top of, say, I want B, I don't want A. People were killed. People went to their polling units that did not return home. Some returned home maimed. Some lost an eye. Are you kidding me? Why are we not busy talking up? Why are we, why are we not busy airing these people's laundry out for them to, for everybody to know how deep this goes? You have the likes of um, uh, uh, whiners like um, FFK and Ononuga and the rest of them whining like babies. I can't even read. I don't know who reads FFK's episode. I can't. The man, half the time, he's cursing himself and his generation. That's what he's doing. A man at that age that ought to have been creating jobs for young people being mentors for young people, he has turned himself into a nuisance, a global nuisance for the world to see. How come nobody is talking about that? Some of these people come on live television and threat, make threats. Nobody does anything to them. Nobody is saying anything to them. A, an audio tape that was clearly that was clearly put together from the propaganda machine of Agbado Party, Tifnobu Party. People are up in arms. Even if, it, okay, let's assume what he said. He really said it. What, there, there's nothing in the, there was nothing in that audio. All the imams in the north, 
that have been calling for um, their their followers to vote only Muslim party. Unko? How come those ones, there's no up in arms? How come nobody's talking about that? They are clearly telling their followers, vote only Muslim, Muslim party. We have them on recording. We have them even on live recording, talking about it. Tiff Nobo was, before new notes came out in circulation, he was already giving, he was already squeezing money into the arms of people. Why not? Why DSS? DSS not sit down. Where they're they? They're not seeing. When Deborah, they lynch Deborah on top of religious matter. What did DSS they do? They're not sit down. One. They, they were not fast enough to rescue the girl from the arms of those assailants. All the 300 Chibok girls when they're thief, Uncle. Not be a Bado party. Not be during their reign. Not be they take thief all those 300 girls. Where, where DSS day for that matter? Who is, who is speaking up? If they really cared about the Christians, really, would they consider a Muslim Muslim ticket? That's what people need to be talking about and shining the tight touch light on. Not irrelevant matters. Peter B has said he did not say it. Even if he said it, what was wrong in it? Let's roll the tape. These people are on record. They have declared a jihad on us. Are we going to fold our hand and be looking? Let's say it. Let's go there. Since they want to go there, let's go all the way there. They have declared a jihad on the Nigerian state, on the Nigerian people. Should we fold our hands and let them accomplish their purpose, what they started slowly? We should sit down, fold our hand, and let it happen. We're not going to let it happen. This, this is what we need to be talking about because this is what really is disturbing. You have their assailants going all over the place. In River State, somebody tried to go and bomb somebody's house. In the process, he, they, they, he got shot and he bled himself to death. Eh? Sent by their governor, so-called allegedly by their governor. What are we talking about? Mayhem everywhere. How come they're not talking about that? Not only when obedience or Peter will be matter. How many people run for election? How many people? Not be APC, uh, Agbado, Mikano, LP, many other parties now nah, run. How come say not only Peter will be oh, nah, they, they see pick? Why are they not busy with you? Should be they say now nah, they win the election. They claim that they have won. Why are they not busy celebrating? And putting things together to celebrate. Why is their can where is their candidate? Where is he? Where is Tiff Nobu, the drug lord? Where is he? France has surrounded Nigeria with their own military. Nobody's asking why France? Why is he going to France? Every time this man has been going to France, what contract, what conversation is he having with Macron? What are they talking about? We are surrounded by Francophone countries in case nobody has paid attention. These people are having meetings and literally deciding whether you live or whether you die in France because they're looking for France is on its knees now. People have been protesting for God knows how long. They're looking for ways to make money. Where do you think they're going to come to? Oh, some of the Francophone countries have driven France out of their countries. Where will not say they go touch lights? Where you have your supposed Agbado party going there, Agbado candidate going there to go and, go and seek a medical uh, uh, um, attention. Do you think they're not going to be approaching him and talking to him? That man is so greedy, he doesn't care. He's willing to sell parts of Nigeria just to satisfy his selfish needs. This is what we need to be talking about. Not some damn tape that was played, that was clearly put together. That's what the technology has evolved to the point where they can take your voice, add conversations from you, edit it, and put someone else, and you will think it is you really when you hear it because it's your voice. That's, they're even using pe people's faces on, on other people's faces, not a talk of uh, uh, voice recordings. And if the telecommunication company was indeed found guilty in any way, if that whole narrative that's playing out 
on social media is true that telecommunications uh, um, company needs to be held accountable we need to call them out if indeed they were part of this thing because it is a crime to record people's conversations it is a crime at least, of course, we know we're talking about Nigeria, where anything goes. But it starts with them. We have our voices. We have social media. Let's make good use of it. And then lastly, I'm just going to touch really lightly on the young man that called and was threatening Sister Rita's life. I didn't want to talk because everybody else was talking. It is abhorrent. That man had no right whatsoever. You don't come on... Treating a woman for that matter. Guy, you are in real trouble if you don't, in case you don't know. You already put your voice out there. Everybody knows your voice. Everybody remembers exactly what you have said. And let me tell you for free somebody has already screenshot this the part where you were threatening. Somebody has already screenshot it. It's not even, it is out of Mr. Elvis's hand right now. No matter how much you beg, you can't do anything about it. Because you guys think you're big and bad. In Nigeria, you can stop, you can, you can walk all over people and stamp the life out of them. And you carry the same attitude to the foreign countries that if Nigeria was so sweet and you cared so much about your, your thief nobu, your drug baron, why don't why are you not in Nigeria? Why are you not in Nigeria? But you come abroad, you want to reap the benefits of other people's sweat. You come abroad living the good life and having the audacity. You are clearly have not learned your lesson. Guess what? Your sins have caught up with you. You have misspoken. And there is no way you're going to get away with it. I hope you get the punishment that is coming to you. To teach other people, you do not in any way, shape, or form come on a live show and threaten people. Who the hell do you think you are? You think that you are the only one that is mad? I don't understand. You people think that you have, you only you can get so upset and get so angry that you take out people's life. Now you create them in the first place. What are the guarantees that the life that you think you have is going to remain yours? For too long. I hope you learn your lesson. I hope you're dealt a serious lesson so you, you, you do not. I hope you live to tell the experience you had. Let me just put it that way. And I hope that this sends a message to any caller who thinks that they can threaten any panelist or any commenter because you feel a type of way about it. If you care so much about your drug baron leader, go back to nigeria is simple he's a drug baron you deal with it now it will save you because it's all over social media there's nothing you can do ab about it he's if he forges do you know that also aside from being a drug baron he forges people's names and 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 age do you know that the name that he's using currently is not his own that his name his real name is Am amoda ogulere do you know that? How are we so sure that the man is Nigerian? He claims to be a part of Nigeria, but he may not be. Nobody knows your candidate. Nobody knows him. Nobody knows anything about him. Don't you find that suspicious? Aren't you even worried? About, well, you can't be worried about it because you've drunk from, from the same cup. So clearly you can't be worried about it. So please, let's focus on what is important. We don't have time for nonsense. If you people are so excited that your candidate won, why are you expending so much energy looking for things to pin on Peter? He's not the only one that ran for election, Abi. Abi, you know, no, no, so no, but he ran for election. Why him all the time? Because you know you guys did not win. Una no, say na thief. Now na agbado, drug lord thief. Natifi Tifa. So una, no peace for the wicked. Na restlessness syndrome. Now they worry you now. And una go restless till we collect our mandate. Whether una like, make una, make una Photoshop him on top or it, naked. We are certain like that. Now our candy, he's our daddy. He and Ahmed daddy, they are our daddies. So make anybody where you know like I mean they go hog transformer. 
Thank you very much. That's all I'm going to say for now. Mr. Elvis, are you there? Mr. Elvis. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Omo. Yes, Connor. Thank you very much. I would like us to hear from uh, the next person here quickly so that we can do the roundup. Uh, uh, okay. I think it's Ghost Power now. Uh, Ghost Power, please. I understand that you are still waiting to hear from us, some of you right there. Please hold on. Let me just give opportunity for the people that are just joining us right now. Ghost Power, are you there? Ghost Power is not saying ED, please talk to us. Good evening to you. Oh, good evening, sir. Um, thank you for having me. Thank it's you. been such um a passionate session today. Um I'll just quickly touch on some points. Um piggybacking on what um Omoye just submitted. There's a there's a there's a there's a picture of a supposed yearbook of Chicago State University. Um, that feature that features um Tinubu that's going um that's making the rounds in Twitter space or in on Twitter at the moment. And the name there is actually Bola A Thubi. That's T H U B Y or maybe T H U B V, I don't know. And APC stalwarts are using that as an evidence to prove that he went to that school. So some Labour Party supporters or obedience have also done their you know background check on other people that are featured on that and they found that some of them were dead there are people like that were born in the 19th century that's like 1880 something so there's no way technically that they could be Tinubu's classmates but even if they were like how come how many names does Tinubu have who really are we dealing with today you hear it a mother Tomorrow you hear Bola is a woman's name. The next day you hear it's Bola A T H U B V. So it's really hard to put a hand on the, the, the fellow that we are dealing with. You know, and every attempt that APC has made to sort of vindicate this guy has just turned out to be a disaster. It's like they are actually digging holes for him more and more. And then to the issue of the video recording that was made by Peter Obi, um, that's, that's alleged to be, actually the audio recording that's alleged to be the conversation between um, Peter Obi and um, Bishop Oyedipo. I honestly, I, I mean, I'm not, I, I know um, Bishop Oyedipo, I don't really know his voice, as in I know his voice, but it's not like I listen to him to that point where I can say this is actually definitively Bishop Oyedipo. Right. So, but I've been on Twitter and I've seen some people who attended Covenant who have been at, at close quarters with Bishop Edipo and they have said that's not their papa's voice. But even if it is, we really need to interrogate the issues that were raised. First, Peter B in that recording is alleged to have said this is a religious war. If we flip it to the other side, a religious war in Islam is jihad. And it's not even, there's no gain saying that part of APC's campaign in the Muslim North during this period has been that this is our jihad. This is a way for us to gain votes. So if it is good for the goose, how is it not good for, for the Ganga? As much as we don't want to like religiousize our politics, but APC has played this card. They are the ones who introduced religion into politics. You say that a people, that means, I mean, the, the, the Northern Christians, that they are not good enough to guarantee you votes. You've already, I mean, you've discriminated against them. You've belittled them. And then there's someone else who feels like, well, I want to give these people a voice. And then you start crying foul. You know, as I said yesterday, APC, they are not interested in government. All they are good at is politics and mostly propaganda-based politics. So yes, it is possible that this video was doctored. It's possible that this video was actually produced based on artificial intelligence 
it's also possible that this, I keep saying video, this audio was the actual conversation between Peter Obi and Bishop Wigbo. But if, even if these, all these possibilities are there, I don't see anything that Peter Obi said in that conversation that the APC is just having this hoopla about. You know, these are facts. These are things that are out there. Peter Obi is begging in that conversation, he's begging the bishop to help him reach out to his people in the Southwest. We know what happened in the Southwest during this last election cycle. We know the seeds that Tinubu sowed there. We know the ethnic dog whistling that happened. So if this man is saying, I want to reach out to your people and I'm not making inroads, help me with that. How is that a crime? It, the same thing goes for Quara. So I don't know, like this APC, they know how to make a mountain out of a molehill. They know how to, you know, as the Bible says, they know how to strain at a gnat. That's strain at a gnat, like, you know, you're, you're, you're straining a fly with, with a sieve when it's the opposite, when, when it's the opposite, as in the opposition. But in your own case, you swallow a camel. You know, you, there are bigger allegations that have been made against you that are actually out there. They are documented your drug case and all of these things. But you just wave them off. The other day, Bayo Nanuga came out and said that, uh, well, according to the law, if, this, if, if you've been accused of a crime and it's gone beyond 10 years, it shouldn't affect your presidential ambition. So that's, that's a subtle way of agreeing that this man we are dealing with was actually, actually had some, some running with the law with respect to his drug issues. But the case that Bayo Anoduga was making was a case of, well, it's beyond 10 years. You know, and that, that, that's supposed to be a big issue where the president of the biggest country in Africa is likely going to be a drug, uh, a drug lord. That's supposed to be a big issue. And they don't, make, they, don't, they don't make that so much of a big issue. But then they come and bring something as small as the Pandora case with Peter Obi, which this man has done a lot of work in trying to explain to us what really happened. There's a difference between tax evasion, which is outright, an outright case of you saying you won't pay, the, you won't pay your taxes. And there's a, there, there are actually methods of avoiding taxes legally, even in the United States. When, when Donald Trump was campaigning during one of his deba debates, the issue of his taxes came up. And this man actually turned it to his advantage and said, this, 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 what I did was, I was just being smart. The law gives us the allowance to be this smart. In short, these are the type of things that are making me run because I want to change things like this. And, and, and you can argue about the morality of the man, but he used that as part of his, his selling point to win votes in America, you know? I don't know how, you know, you using your own personal money, not money from the government, trying to make sure you, I mean, because according to Peter, I think he said it was part of his trust, his savings for his children, you know, and there's really no sense in paying taxes for money that's not working for you, right? So that was, I think that was the argument on Arise TV when he was interviewed by Ruben Abati. So this man has done a lot of work to explain whatever accusations have come his way. Your principal, Tinubu, has never even come to address the media. You know, so I, 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 I still don't understand the mindset behind this APC. As I said, all APC knows how to be propaganda politics. They don't know how to govern. There's nothing, there's, there's nothing that has in, there's nothing fanciful about APC. So for me, this is just making a mountain out of a molehill. It's just making a big case out of something that, that, that shouldn't be. I don't see anything really crazy or out of place that Mr. Peter will be said. Yes, it might not be a good look for him, considering the way Nigeria has been divided by this APC, but it is not for APC to be telling us that because they have done worse to us. They have done worse to, to, to engender division along, the, along religious lines in Nigeria. 
what Mr. Peter Obi has done is nothing, nothing compared to what the APC has done. Thank you. Mr. Elvis. All right. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you for calling in, uh, of, uh, my brother, ED, for your submission. I have um, uh, Kenneth, who just calling in now. Let me quickly pick his call. Uh, I would like us to listen to him and see what he wants to say. Okay, I've been calling in since, you know. Uh, hello, Kenneth, good evening uh, to you. You are calling back again. What do you have to say now? Yeah. I want to tell my sister Rita making obvious because I wanted you as more than obvious because now the way Rita T attacked me because I've been not come to the platform, come cause trouble, you know. Uh, I want to tell sister Rita say, She's still be my one of my secret and I still love her, so may not use. But she don't marry her. She don't marry her. That word with the juice too strong. Not, okay, make you know. I still I still love her. Despite that, she's still be my two sister. You know. No, but she one thing me not understand you know, about you. One thing we me not understand about you, Kenneth. Why you no fed your call yeah. since before we come to carry your picture? They come and make you apologize. Not be peace, good I pass. Go to, I go to, I just go to, I just go between that time and I just go between go is myself. Man. So when I come back, I see my picture already the platform, you know, and my brothers come start to call me for UK. See what did they happen, you know. You see now, so, people don't they show you love for comment session now. They say, you know, uh, you you for do this thing since eh? more than not the letting uh, school at first. You know, good. No, the reason I still, I never, I know the fiki fly. Who say, who know me, Richard? I know say, who know chicken? I know the fiki quick chicken for Christmas. You know, so not beside the first year, I say maybe I be uh, caught. I not be caught. This I be very good person. You know, people who know me go sit us. Ah, this guy not be like this. Who my pictures? See people who know the call me since they come out. Who my pastor does the call me since ah? Can I wait till they happen? So I don't know. Now you wait till I go. They say I trust. They say I trust the person for platform. Let me they send my picture to everywhere. That's the way. I don't get me cr any criminal. Record. Okay, I'll send send your message pastor. directly to my Rita now because she don't verse come on since now. You know. Make sure you and beg everybody Rita, with the platform. In case anybody want to talk to you, you might give the time. Rita, 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 no, my sister. Rita, no, go feed uh, auntie. Not feed auntie, brother. Rita, no, Rita, no, my brother, no. Uh, no, my sister, no. Who say I fight Rita? Yeah, there's no way you go feed take on personal, you know. Rita, no, still my sister, you know. I still love her. Well, okay. Despite who right. she's still the best, I still love her. Okay. But I want to beg uh, Edwin, Akim, or Akim, just carry the thing to for her. That one person, I did him with a bit of money. Don't worry. As well, let me still know your temper. We all know. Okay, make a year from a pie well, doing. A pie doing. I beg, get anything you want to talk for this matter. Uh, thank you very much, uh, my brother, uh, Karen. I beg. You see, my guy watch with all of us. They on that. Not being senior, everybody, you. but he because they respect himself. As the thing happen, me I listen. I not quit talk put. As I say, make you apologize. Always apologize. I be trouble finish. But you call it drag him. And you you do for Germany. I don't know how long you don't stay here. You know, you don't know, have how does it pursue this matter? I go, I go and scrap on me to cripple in the morning. Then I will give them the time and everything when I proceed the number. They can say go enter YouTube and they say they will go play him. And when they play him, they will just see the waiting way happen there. They go write you, make you come. If you deny, they did not charge you. They go only write me as a weakness. And they go ask me whether I want me to connect the owner of this uh, our, our a forum, join them as a witness. I have say copyright. It never finish. If we did here, that's how they play. I bet next time we don't let us they happen like that. Maybe Madame Nita forgive me and forget. You be my brother. Uh I mean, Madame Nita, my brother. Madame Nita, my brother, my uh, sister. So please, make, oh, if they forgive you, me, I don't get what I have to do with you, my brother. Yeah. I would like you right now, my okay. Right, now. Rita, 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 so no, for me, for me, Kenneth, for me, me, I don't forgive you. Alex did the platform. Alex did the platform. Alex, Alex, not the platform right now, but they listen to you. Okay, me, me, Alex, see lawyer I think, but Alex we still know me just the. He just the uh, he go beat him, he go beat that guy. He go, he go the, I beg go more than forgive on a brother. I know the, I be very quiet person. Just wait here to try the. But try one thing I want to quickly let you know, Kenneth. More, more low the tempo of Kenneth, each, towards each other, you know. Kenneth, Me, Kenneth, come for that country. Kenneth, you know? wait I go tell you, wait I go tell you before you go. If this for another platform, any other place for life, I beg any threatening words. 
don't use it against any humanity. I beg. The, the, we there for 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 technology world now, you know, which means that anybody can be traced. When you they talk, I know for sure, 100%, 100%, yeah, 100%. exactly. I beg you, they listen to yourself when you they talk. You know, even me, I give you a long room, me for quickly apologize for this, uh, because you don't respond. You know, but I read don't write back. I say, Kenneth, there's an indication about the drug and the uh, of Abado. Okay, yes. Now because he no know, you no know. But I read now they write say make you go understand me. Read the court paper concerning before you dismiss that. You know, and two, Madarita beg, right? Say so you don't that, forgive and beg. Madarita, uh, Madarita, I don't still understand me. I want to defend to him, but I say I be sure worried person. But which thing I try to move lower the table of hate. There's no hate the for this platform, my brother. Now be true to the so talk. So I try talk, you know. Yes. Okay. Brother, hold this. Can I talk to that young man? You know, making all this. Okay, hold on, hold on, Kenneth. Hold on, Kenneth. Uh, our elderly father here, Mr. Ike, want to talk to you. Go ahead. Uh, my brother Kenneth, let me advise you. First of all, before you started making your comment, you were telling us how many years you were. Nobody cares about your age. We cares about what is your in your skull, what is in your head is what we care about. And each and every one of us are living in a developed world. You understand the consequences of what you said. You see, one of the greatest problems we Nigerians have is pride. What, what was your problem at the initial time was pride. Brother Elvis gave you every every ample opportunity for you to apologize before your photo and your telephone number were displayed on this platform. But because of your pride, because you feel that nobody can do you anything, forgetting that you are not, we are not in Nigeria, you don't know anybody on this platform. You know Elvis that is from a, from, from a do state. And you know the other senior brother that is from a doctor, but you don't know nobody individually. You don't know who Rita is. So you don't come on a platform and begin to claim to be anything because you are not nothing. Because if Nigeria is good for you and me, we will never be in this platform talking about Nigeria. So please, you should be able to chew your language. You should mind what you say to people. Not only you have the, the, the power of you know, violent world, but you should understand, like Brother Evans told you, we are living in a technology world. Everybody can we, we look at your name, it's circulated everywhere in a matter of 10 minutes. You should Please, be very let's, careful. Let's forgive him, sir. Please. You have Please. to be very, very careful what you tell to people. People can fit you out from anywhere you are. Yes, so sir. in this postmodern world, they will trace you. Time. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, all right. Um, please, guys, um, I will beg on, on his behalf. Uh, I never wanted to do this, to be honest, but as long as waiting to the already the public space, I, you know, I even messaged him privately, which I not tell Luna for a year. I the confirm man now. I messaged him privately to call in and quickly apologize, or his picture will be exposed, but he, he, he did not respond to my message. So I even gave him time publicly, but now he's calling in and the old world, in fact, the, he say he phone, they don't bomb, he phone, they don't, they don't use, he phone, he phone don't catch fire. <laughs> he phone don't catch fire. The old world is calling him, but please, uh, I will join him to apologize. Please, Madarita, please forgive. And any, everybody that have copied the, his audio, uh, his statement, please just forgive and let's move on, please. Uh, I'm saying this on this platform in case you still further to persecute him for any possible prosecution. Uh, I, uh, my voice here on Niger Watch can testify that he have apologized. Please, thank you so much, uh, Madarita, for your forgiveness. I understand you so much that you certainly forgive, and I appreciate every one of you that forgiving, even uh, a pair doing who wanted to take this seriously. You know, he don't already forgive you. And then, uh, my brother, say your last uh, quickly word before I let you go. Yeah, I uh, I thank you, Mr. Elvis. God bless you, brother. So, I thank uh, uh, um, Edwin Akim Abi, something yes. like that. Yo. I thank uh, I thank everybody for the platform, General Lachisha. But may I just say, Muna, forgiven and brother, Sha. So, yeah. I don't think I'm pressing Nigeria. I know say, nobody will not defeat Nigeria, say Nigeria, the backward, the way it's deep, but 
my my emotions say more try a lot because I the fear me will not come to that country because you are the cities now because of the heat and my brother the way things they go so country, now the same you know, prayer and I need to pray you know most yeah because Thank me I want see I want go back to Nigeria I don't want to I don't want to be here forever you know exactly I want to be brother I want to stay forever so now you can fear because war oh. anything about war I need fear war so now you can get that the platform for the try talk see we could lower the way with the talk me things not go go out of hand you know all right. Forgive me, no problem, my brother. Forgive. No problem. Everything is sorted. Yeah. Everything is sorted. God bless yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. But, but Ivy, yeah. can, I, can I make a quick request? Can I make a quick request? I already, picked, I already picked a call. Just hold on. I'll come to you. Okay, no problem. No problem. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Please talk to us. Quickly. Uh, Mr. Naja, was up there. This boy, he called for pleading, Abi. Yes, sir. Please. Uh, please, can you go and Okay, because there is a thing that I that is why I'm calling since because I know when it comes for the pleading. And uh, there's one thing there is a paper is supposed to go aside now. If you go and sign that paper, because anything should happen to anybody in this in this platform, any 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 obedient no, people. I'm not sure you will go that far people. anymore. I'm not sure. I'm not you know no, some no, people. No, no, I don't already send message now. Nah. Hey. Go and that paper tomorrow. E? Just like that. And uh, that anything happen, we will take short tea there. Because I've already do, I've already do whatever I want to do. Because this thing, you know, Nigeria is a place where we all love. Now because of bad people that make us to go away from that country. Myself, I travel all, all over the Europe. My children are in London, but I, I get documents of it and I get passport, everything. I travel everywhere. Okay, sir. No problem. I'm, I beg, please send, send me the details of what you have uh, already submitted for his sake, so that I feel Dr. to are making, you know, more serious because want to go. Better. Obedient people that is in Germany, my ELO, I've talked to them, they said that they want to forward this thing immediately. As soon as they do it, and now it comes for the pleading. As soon as they do it this evening, tomorrow you have to go there. Okay, no problem. Uh, you know, okay, no problem, sir. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you privately. Thank okay, you, sir. Okay, tomorrow evening I will give you the feedback. Be better. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. Yes, sir. Come. You see, uh, this is one of the things I'm talking about, you know. Uh, apart from Kenneth, every one of us needs to learn from this. You know, pride sometimes is not helpful. You know, uh, go ahead, sir. You wanted to say something? Uh, yes, yeah, I, 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 I wanted to say, I wanted to quickly make a request right. that, um, and because, you know, this thing has really gone out of hands. A lot of people are already involved. A lot of eyes saw it. So, um, I don't know. This is just a request on his behalf. If it be possible, when you do upload this thing later, it's possible to just cut off that part because it might, it be, it might be like it's a already too late. It's already too late. That's okay. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how YouTube works. I wanted to like just prevent that because it's going to be can, a perpetual. There's nothing he can do. A there's nothing he can do. Him. Yeah. Okay. No problem. I, I just wanted to. No. No. Thank no. no. Sorry, I, I, I lost that last statement. Oh my yeah, what was he saying? He said he wanted you to cut off the part where he was making the threats. Uh, uh, for no, 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 no I'm doing it for, for better Nigeria. So, but as long as you already beg for forgiveness, um, yes, we can just move on from there. I, I wanted to avoid this. I called him. I, 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 I couldn't say this on air. I called him privately. He didn't pick. I sent him a message, which I have evidence here. I told him, please quickly call him and apologize. Your picture is going on air. But he didn't. So, you know, all this I, I would have been avoided, but... I just want everybody to learn from this. Pride can't take any of us anywhere. You understand? You, you know, um, yes, but let's just move on. You can see that he sincerely apologized. So let's accept that. And I thank you, Madam Rita, for accepting that. Thank you so much. Let's move on. Okay, let me hear from um, uh, uh, Ghost Power. Ghost Power, can yeah, you hear me? Yeah, I'm, I'm not here. yeah but your, your audio is yeah, not clear, Ghost Power. Yeah. Oh. 
right now. Okay, it's good now. It's good. Go ahead. Talk to us, Amen. Okay. Uh, good evening, everybody. The panelists, the commenters, and everybody, and uh, and the lover of the truth, the fighter of our dear Nigerian country. So, uh, first of all, I want to say, Mr. Evans, you are doing wonderful work. I just pray that God will continue to be upon you. It is right now because man. it's not easy. What you are doing, I don't go lie. I mean, I know. So it's not that I wonder myself. See. <laughs> Uh, out of 24 hours, I don't know how many hours you spend for yourself. I know the Lord is your strength. Um, <laughs> thank you. Let me go straight first of all. Let me go straight first of all. You know, the reason why all of us have been having a sleepless night towards this matter, you understand? I will come in prison, please. Permit me. I don't know if it's allowed. Um, you don't take uh, where people don't they suffer for this. Sometimes you ask yourself, is it a cost? To be a Nigerian? The answer is no. It's because of we have been led by all those shenanigans, all those evil crook leaders for long. Imagine, yeah, that I am in the Kuwait, that I am, Arab country, very small nation. Do you know that I don't even know how the electricity, I don't know how the cable enter their house, of which is something that has been fat. Nigeria, we are still using all those long wire or you know long cable on the road all these things you know you see development you come to a nation a country wherever you see development and what baffles me most of us in diaspora that we see this development and we're here sometimes you will not be seeing some of us in diaspora still defending all these evil people in in kuwait here yeah, some of some people are or oh, they are supporting uh, this uh, evil agbado sometimes i ask them so does it mean that that the schools you go or this uh, the development you see in this country, you don't like it for your people back home because if you are enjoying it here, you think of people back home, the only way to do that is to support the, 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 the right person, which is Peter Obi. You see, you said something. Most of those people that debunk that they, they are not for Obi. When you want to catch them, instead of that to come out and say they are for Tinubu, do you know what who they say they support this? They they they, they, they will mention so already. And clearly we can identify most of them. And one thing that we need to understand is that Nigeria cannot be like this forever. And this man, Peter Obi, I see him as a father of a great nation. Sometimes when I see his enthusiastic, the way he does things, sometimes I ask myself, did he even really have up to six hours for himself in a day. It only take a man that has a fear of God. And it take a man that wants to carry people along. It take a man that wants to take sacrifice. It, take, it takes a leader that wants to, because it's not easy to be a leader. A leader you have to carry body, you have to carry people along. And this man has seen the tear. In fact, it's like the, the measure of our time that God had created. There was a time. Yeah, I was talking to my children back home in Nigeria. So when we are talking now, they took off lights. And they took off light. They say, ah, daddy, they are taking light. Uh, they never ask me one question. They say, daddy, they used to take light. Hey, I say for me, yeah, you don't. I say, this is what I've been expressing, you know, before I gave back to you guys. You guys come and meet it again. I just pray that this thing will end. So, you know, this is, this is something that has to be strong. Nigeria has suffered for a long time. Which sometimes, you look at it, you don't have hope. And to be honest, a lot of Nigeria has given up. But God brought this man, it's a hobby. Because to be honest, somebody said something far back. He said, the only person that can turn Nigeria to become a great nation, that person will be like a lamb, a sacrificial lamb. And among all those evil people, politicians that they've been campaigning for us, all this why that they want to say they will do this, they will do that. All of them don't have that sacrificial heart like Mr. Peter Obi. To be honest, before I was supporting Chore. During the time of first turn of Buari, I was supporting Shore. But at the point, I think Shore started missing it in some area. Then he told me brought his own uh, agenda on the table. And I look at it, I say, wow, such a very intelligent man that asks what it takes to rule this our country. Because God bless us with every mineral resource. A lot of things. Sometimes when these people, these other people, when they ask you where you are from, when you mention country, Nigeria, they say, wow, and what are you doing here? You will just tell them that it's a result of bad governance. So what I want to say this night, 
Um, first of all, I think what happened to the young man, I just uh, let me use the word the spoke, should be a lesson to all of us. And let us know that this platform, in fact, is even more than AIT, NTA, or this uh, CDC back home. Everybody is watching. I can say all over the world. So whatever thing that we bring on this platform, we should not just come and bring it like it may be a... Uh, this platform is being watched all over the whole world. So when you are bringing an issue or when you are bringing a, 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 what, a, a, a presentation, know what you are bringing because this platform is for people that really want Nigeria to be great, that really want the software to end because imagine how long Nigeria has been this, 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 the, 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 the hand of these evil people. Like someone said something, you know, if you check it very well, if you make underground studies, very well. We will notice that most of all these people that are ruling this country, most of them are, is that they are bastards because, like they said, like the popular say, they said, nobody can use a left hand to point his father's house. You understand? So, when you check the lives of evil, evil rulers that have been leading us for long, those people don't even, they, they don't have the love for the place, they don't have the love for the people that they are leading. They are just there to rule. And there is even between ruler and leader. Who We've been having for long, we've been having rulers. And thank God that God brought this man to us. And what he's doing, his own life is asking me. Because it's not easy for you to be in the hands of all these evil people. But by the grace of God, I know that God is securing him and guiding him with his right hand. So we all have to do what? And keep the fight. Because to be honest, of Mr. Nigerian world, you see, what we are doing here is getting to them. So be honest. Oh, yeah, they, he's getting to them. They are also having his fight. I think one of them are showcased before this uh, man comes. One of them are showcased. So, and many of them like that, just like one of the uh, panelists are saying, there are some people they are sending all over the old platform to go and monitor what is happening there. So, to go and see what they can do, the damage control. And I want to indulge us. You see the issue of uh, maybe uh, the record that come out from uh, with uh, Pastor Uyedepo and the, uh, Mr. Pichaudi. I don't think that uh, issue needs to be too much of because what he said to me, if it's, if it's original, is the one. Because to me, I don't believe that that's, that's the voice of him. But if prevention is the one that speaks with him, I don't see anything that he said wrong. He was just doing a voice campaign, which they are home. Voice campaign, their own is not even voice campaign, their own is like a, a, a threat campaign. Grab it, take it, smash it. If in a country that works, that things work, or we are we are being governed by law, that day that that statement is being made by this like by law, if it is America, they won't arrest him. Because it's a statement of causing chaos. It's a statement of causing a what is it called kidnapping and threat to human life. So right now, I just want to indulge. The family of obedience that we should not relent. That whatever thing that we are doing is getting to them. No, because they will still do damage control. All what they are doing is damage control. All those things are not relevant. What they are bringing, they are not relevant. And somebody says something. Obedient family, they are like FBI because they 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 they, they, they know how to research. They know how to you know switch out whatever Thank thing that you are bringing. I just want us to continue this uh, uh, faith that we have together. I know that God will see us too. And our money will be given back to us by God's grace. Amen. Thank you, Hope. Thank you. Thank you very much, my brother, uh, Bishop. At least you, you, your network allow you to make you talk today. <laughs> because I noticed it when you come the other day. Your network don't allow you to make you talk. Thank you very much, my brother. Mr. Elvis, can you permit me to... Okay, okay, yes, go ahead. Okay, I just want to say this. Um, I understand what it means to forgive. I understand what it means to move on from something. But what I want us to take away from here as Nigerians is that we've had, we're very forgiving people as a race, as a black race. But we have to learn to differentiate between forgiveness and people learning from the, um, um, dealing with the consequences of their actions. If your child does something wrong, right, there's a time for you to spank that child if you need to. 
And there's a time for you to sit down and talk to that child and make them understand the consequences of their action. Now, we all know MC Oluomo came out, made a threat, came out again and apologized. But did it change anything? No. I'm not saying that this young man, uh, Mr. Kenneth or whatever, is going to do that. But I'm beginning to... Uh, rethink a lot of things as a people if we're going to move forward in order for us to have a decent nation we have to learn to hold people accountable mr kenneth needs to deal with the consequences of his action not because sister rita i'm sure is going to forgive him but because it is the consequence of what he said with his own lips nobody put a gun to his head now, I'm very glad that the caller called in and said I've already reported him. He needs to go and sign. That's a consequence. So we should get, we should start trying to differentiate between forgiveness and people learning to deal with the consequence of their own action. Whether or not by words, when you threaten someone's life, because that's what he did, he needs to understand how dangerous that is. Because if tomorrow, Sister Rita, for instance, come in and tell me, say, I have a headache. I guess they do me. I'm going to remember Kenneth. If, if she tell me, say, or oh, I hear say something, I'm going to think about him. So this is what I want him to hear it clearly. Because it's easy to say, I'm sorry. But pay at, be very, very careful. Understand there are consequences for actions. Go and sign that document tomorrow. Thank you, sir. That's all. All right. Uh, thank you, Omar Yeskona. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, let me go to top again. Uh, a lot of people have been here since. Um, okay. Um, according to what we have here before, Mr. Ike, the first person. Okay, Mr. Ike. Mr. Ike, please talk to us. Sir. Then I'll come to give us our mandate. Okay. Um, Brother Evans, I'm going to round up on a different note. And I okay, want sir. you to... I want you to make sure that what I'm going to say right now gets to the Labour Party headquarters. I am serious on what I'm going to say right now. There is going to be an election in Imo State about the governorship in Imo State. I am giving Labour Party a serious warning. The, lack, the greatest mistake that Labour Party will do in Imo State is to nominate anybody that is not the witches of the people of Imo State. If it's not a candidate that you will say, go and verify in Imo State, Labour Party should be very careful what they do in Imo State. Because Hope Zodima, who is the governor of Imo State right now, is not the governor of Imo State. We never ever elected Hope Zodima in Imo State. He came forth in an election. He became a Supreme Court governor. And he has turned the Imo State into a killing field. I don't want to know what they want to do. But the people of Imo State, I am speaking on behalf of the people of Imo State. The memory of our great hero, Dr. Samuel Mbakwe, will never forgive the Labour Party. If they ever do any, any kind of, any kind of I know man in Imo State, Brahma, if they give us any candidate that is not going to be go and verify the new state, they will suffer the consequences of their action. I don't want to know how many, what your contribution has been in Labour Party. I don't want to know how closely you are to P2P. I don't want to know how closely you are to the chairman or anybody. I don't want to know your financial contribution to Labour Party. Even people are not interested. We want Labour Party to take over Imo State. So I am speaking right now as a concerned Imo State citizen, living outside this country because of what is going on in Nigeria. Labour Party should not make any mistake of any kind to give us a candidate or to impose anybody on the citizens of Imo State. They should allow the people of Imo State to make their choice. And if that choice is not go and verify, that person should not be the governorship candidate of Labour Party in Imo State. 
We lost Enugu State because of carelessness. We have no candidate in Ebony State. And the Imo State is like Lagos State in the whole Eastern Nigeria. So I do not want the mistake that happened in Enugu State to happen in Imo State. Labour Party should, should consider Imo State as one of the biggest places that they need to control. If they ever give us any, any candidate that is not our choice, they should kiss goodbye to Labour Party in Imo State. So please, let what I am saying here get to Labour Party. If they give any candidate that is not go and verify in Imo State, they should forget Imo State as part of Labour Party. Because what Hope Zodima is doing in Imo State today, he has turned my state into a killing field. There is no more young men and women in Imo State. Everybody has run away from Imo State because of Hope Zodima and his killing squad. And this is what we don't want to continue. So please, I am begging Labour Party. They should know what they have to do to make sure that the primary election for governorship in Imo State is free and fair. The same thing in Bayesa State. But I am speaking more especially my state, Imo State. We are suffering in Imo State. There is no single security in Imo State. Election that was conducted in the governorship, in the, in the presidential election and senatorial Hello, sir. Of assembly. There Hello. was no election in Olu senatorial zone, my son. Hello, Mr. Ike. There was a vote. Can't Hello, Mr. FDC. Okay, Mr. Ike, this is a very important uh, uh, information you are passing right now. Uh, but unfortunately, we need to end this broadcast now. But I, I, I want you to pass it, let it be a continuation on the new broadcast because it's a very important message. I've created a new broadcast now uh, and the link is on the private chat. I want you certainly to be there. It's on the, it, just click on it and join the new broadcast. I'm ending this one now so that let's do at least uh, 30 minutes or one hour there, and let's pass that message right there. A lot of things happen to this particular broadcast so that would have allowed it to continue, but I cannot because of a lot of things that showcased on it. Please, guys, I prioritize everybody here. Join the new broadcast right now as I end this one, and let's quickly, uh, because it, uh, Mr. Ike will be the first to talk to us <clears throat> on that broadcast. I appreciate every one of you that joined us. Uh, I will I, I encourage everybody to join us on the new um, uh, broadcast. Let me post the the link. You know um, the new. Um, hold on, guys. Let me just quickly post the link. You know so that you can join us. Please use um, the link I've been posted. You know on the comment section. Join the new broadcast, guys, and let's um, do this. I'm ending the Mr. CM, please come home. I need you on this new broadcast. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Bye for now.